Hey guys, welcome to Zero Recorder. In this video, we are going to learn that how to build music player application from scratch. So let's see the first app demo. As you can see that on the home screen, we are having a category name like recommended song. Inside that category, we are having a multiple songs. Now we can horizontally scroll the songs and we can see a list of songs. Now in the songs, we are having a, the song image, the song title, along with that, the artist name. Now, if we further scroll to the bottom, we can see a different category name like new release songs, my playlist, MMA songs, and Ellen Walker songs. Now, if we horizontally scroll the songs, we can see a different songs. Now, when we click on the song, what's gonna happen? Let's see. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt. Now, when I click on any song, it is start playing in a floating prayer. Alright, now here we can see that we are having a, the song image on the bottom. After that, we are having a, the song title and below that, we are also having the song artist name. After that, we are having a previous button to go back to the previous song. After that, we are having a play pause button to play pause the song. After that, we are having a next button to went to the next song. Now let's click on the previous button. So if I click on previous button, it went to the previous song. All right. Now let's click on the next song. So when I click on next song, it went to the next song. All right. Now let's play the song. Now, as you can see that the all the button is working perfectly. Now we can also forward the song if you want by just clicking on this slider. Now let's play the song once more. Awesome. Now after that, what we're gonna do if we play a song like this, let's click on this. Now if you see that when I play a song where the title name is bigger, so what's gonna happen it is start showing a moving text like in a normal music player which we saw. So we also gonna learn that how to build a music uh, moving text as well. Now when I click on floating player, let's see. Now when we click on floating player, it's open to the player screen. Here we can see a back button icon. After that, we are also having a playing now text. After that, we are having a, the song image. Below that, we are having a, the song title and the artist name. After that, we are having a mute and mute functionality. Now let's play the song. Now when I click on mute, the song get mute. Now let me pause the song. After that, we are also having a repeat functionality. So if I click on repeat, so it's gonna be a repeat Q functionality. If I make it again, click on this, so it become repeat one. Okay. So this is the thing which we also gonna learn that after that we are having a shuffle functionality. So when we click on this shuffle button, it is start playing the song in a shuffle manner. So let's click on that. Alright, as you can see that when we click on shuffle icon, it's to start playing the song in a different order. Here we can see a like icon. If I click on this like icon, it the song get liked. After that, we are having uh, this, uh, you know, increase slider where we can move the song in a forward as well or backward, whatever we want. Alright, now also that you can see that we are showing, showing that how many seconds the song is had been played and how many song has been remained. So this is the thing which we also gonna build it up. Here we are having a previous uh, button icon. Now let's click on this. It went to the previous song. Now if I click on next button, it went to the next song. Alright, now let's click on the back button. After that, we also gonna see that how to implement a drawer navigation in a stack navigation like this as you can see that how good looking the drawer navigation is it here we are having a close button to close the drawer navigation after that we can also close the navigation by just you know tracking like this we can also open the drawer navigation just by tracking like this all right here we can see a, a dark mode and a light theme icon as well 
here we are in the in the drawer item we are having a profile light song language context us faqs setting now let's click on light song once we click on light song as you, here we can see the list of light song whatever we had liked now let's go back now after that again if you open the drawer here we can see the light icon now let's click on the light icon the app went to the light mode as you can see that the light mode is looking awesome now let's see the player skin as well so in the light mode this is the how our app looks like this is looking too good right what do you think guys it is looking good or not just let me know in the comment section all right now let's click on this drawer navigation as well now let's make this dark theme as it was now there's one more thing which i just want to show you guys that is called now let's go to the setting currently we are having the system theme as a dark theme now let's make it the light theme all right now let's go to the app now as you can see that when i back to the my app the app suddenly become to the light mode now again let's go back to the setting and let's make it dark theme now we make the system theme as a dark theme now let's open the app and see what theme is it as you can see that it is system theme now, now currently as you can see that on the system we are having a dark theme and our apps uh, suddenly sync up with the system theme so this is the thing which we are going to build it up from scratch so if you're someone who is beginner to react native or who is someone who is really passionate to build apps in react native so you are at the right path so in this video we are going to build this awesome beautiful looking react native music player from scratch along with the dark dark theme and the light theme as well at the last we are also going to see that how to deploy or how to publish your app on the play store as well okay for this all the songs how we can access these songs to for this all the songs we are going to use this ncsio.com website all right so we can we can download the songs from this website and we can use it all right now after that uh, downloading that we gonna store this all the songs on superbase so superbase has a one functionality called storage functionality where we can store our all the songs all right so we will also teach you guys uh, it's how to store the songs on superbase as well after that as you can see that we are having uh, this i will also uh, this figma link i will also provide this figma link so you guys can also build this music player from yourself as well so as you can see that this is the theme for the this is the all the screen for light theme here we are having a dark mode theme as well so i will provide this figma link in the description box as well so you can also check it out apart from that i will also provide this github link as well and before starting this tutorial please let me know guys how excited you are from on on out of 10 and please let me know from which country are you or from which state you are all right so let's get it started and let's do the project setup to set up the react native project we have to first open the browser and here search react native once you search react native you will see react native learns once right anywhere you have to open this website once you open this website you have to scroll down to the footer once you scroll down the footer you will see one command npx react native init my test app you have to copy this command after that you have to open your directory whatever place you want to create your project so i'm gonna create my project inside local directory youtube course and here i have to open my terminal all right now once you open your terminal you have to just paste the command just by uh, doing control plus v after that at the place of my test app you have to write your project name so my project name is gonna be ncs music after that you have to hit enter once you hit enter it will start uh, creating a react native project so first of all it will download the template and it's gonna took some time up to the your internet speed so it's gonna took more than like you know five minutes or two minutes it's totally up to internet so let's wait for some time to download or create the project as you can see that our react native project has been created so first of all we run this command once you run this command it's download the template after that it copy the template process the template and install the, all the dependency like react react native and other dev dependency after that it's also in a slicer git repository 
all right now after once the react native project has been created what you have to do you have to go inside that project directory to go to inside that project directory you have to press cd and you have to uh, press the tab it will suggest the fold, pro, folder whatever folder you have inside your directory and once you get suggested to that uh, folder you have to just press enter so as you can see that i'm inside the course in cs music i'm inside my the uh, project uh, directory now once you went to the project directory you have to type code space dot and hit enter so what is gonna do it will open the project in vs code so let me summarize once more for you guys quickly first we run this command after that we went to the inside our project directory after that we type code plus dot that went to the that open the project in a vs code all right now let's close the terminal and as you can see that our project has been opened inside a vs code this is how we open the project in vs code another way could be like this just drag and drop the project like this and it will also open the project in vs code all right once you uh, created your project you can see there is one file that is called app.tsx it is the main file or root component of your file as you can see that there is a lot of codes about the react native now first of all to run this project you have to open your terminal so let's open the terminal now once you open the terminal you have to type npm start so when you run the npm start command it will start the server it's gonna took some second and it will show a uh, three options as you can see that we can see a different option now i'm gonna press the e to open the app on android all right so as you can see that we are having a multiple options like to run on ios you have to press i to run on android you have to press a and to open the app in a dev menu you have to press the t and to reload the app while development you can use r all right so once what is gonna do first of all it's gonna open the terminal and once the uh, it's gonna first open the emulator after that it will install the application inside the emulator so it's gonna at the first time it's gonna took more time so let's wait for some minutes and let's see uh, how much time it's gonna took for uh, installing the app as you can see that our app has been installed on this react native emulate on this emulator all right now this is the root file this is the app.tsx file which is currently running on this app now if we do some changes here that changes will also reflect now let's do some changes and show you guys quickly so let's suppose there is called edit edit app.tsx now let me edit this with like this all right so as you can see that here we also get the dot so this is the file which is rendering right now so if you see guys here just uh, this code is written in typescript all right so we are supposed to use uh, uh you know for if you are guys you know figure friendly so we are going to use javascript and for that what we're gonna do this is the like you know uh, app component now what we're gonna do you guys can go through this code like this is the normal uh, functional component now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove this whole code for you guys quickly all right once i remove this code i have to also change the file from tsx to the java jsx because we are going to use javascript instead of typescript for this video all right now to create a, any kind of component in react native we have to write like this const app all right and we have to make an arrow function like this after that i'm going to return a view inside that view first of all also i have to import the view from the react native and inside that view we're going to have a text okay and i have to also import the text from the react native hello world all right now as you can see that we are currently rendering nothing because we have not export this app component so let's export default the app component as well now you can see that on the ui okay hello hello world all right so this is how we create a, a app component or any kind of component in react native there's one extension which i suggest you guys to install that extension the extension name is called es7 snippet all right so you have to just search es7 once you search es7 so you will see this website es this extension that is called es7 react redux graphql react native extension okay react native snippet so how it's gonna help us let's suppose i want to create an app component again so how we can create this component quickly with the help of this extension you have to just press react r stand for react and f e s so what that's gonna stand for react native default functional component with styles its component 
all right so as you can see that it's created one functional component along with the style sheet just by pressing that command r n f e yes all right now let's give one more sort r n f all right so if i just type r n f so let's see what is going to happen it will create a react native functional component like this and if you type r n f e s so it's going to create a, our component along with the style sheet all right now after that once you created your app component we have to uh, you know if you see on the figma we are having a multiple screens all right so we have to for that we have to set up the stack navigation or react native navigation because we are having a home screen playlist screen and player screen as well so we have to set up the react navigation as well so let's set up the react native navigation to set up the react native navigation first of all we have to open our browser and search react native navigation so let's type react native navigation once you search react native navigation you will see reactnavigation.org website you have to click on that once you click that you will see you have to click on read docs after that you have to scroll down and you can see one command npm install react navigation native you have to copy this command after that open your terminal and if you are running your server already so you have to stop your server by just pressing the control c just press the command whatever the command you had copy and press enter npm install react navigation native it will install this package once you install that package again you have to go back to the browser you have to scroll down after that you have to copy this command npm install react native screen react native safe area context if you are using expo for the developments uh, so you can use this one but we are using cli so you have to copy this command again and just paste that command and hit enter so it will install the react native screen and react native safe area context after that again go back to the browser and you have to click on react navigation as you can see that here we are having uh, another package that is called react navigation native stack copy this command open your terminal paste this command and hit enter so it will install the react navigation native stack okay now we have set up the stack like we have installed all the necessary package or all the necessary library for the react native navigation so let me summarize it what once more what we had done first we went to the react navigation website we click on this website after that we click on read docs once we click on read docs we have installed this package that is called react navigation native after that we install the package react native screen and react native safe area context after that we click on next and we install the react navigation native stack package to set up the react native stack navigation all right now how to set up the react native stack navigation so you can see that if you scroll below so you can see a reference code here what we are doing first of all here inside the root component we are returning a navigation container inside the navigation container we are having a stack navigator code all right and inside that stack navigation we are having a stack dot screen we are defined the screen name and the component all right now let's add now let's do in our code as well so first of all let's open the app on android okay now i'm gonna get rid of this whole code quickly okay now this inside the view i'm gonna get rid of this view and i'm gonna import navigation container navigation container from the react navigation native all right now let me make it much more smaller because you guys can see if now this is looking perfect and let me you know make it smaller as well now as you can see that we are returning a navigation container as they have mentioned on this uh, reference documentation after that we have to use stack.navigator to use the stack.navigator first of all we have to initialize a cons stack let's go back to the code and here we have to write cons stack stack is equal to create native stack navigator create native stack navigator all right so as you can see that we have imported the we have initialized a stack and the value uh, we are getting it from create native stack navigator all right now again if you go to the browser we have to use stack dot navigator all right now let's go back and here we have to write stack dot navigator like this and inside this we can define our screen so i'm going to write stack dot screen 
like this and it's gonna to take two props the first props is called name so i'm gonna name right name is called home screen all right and the, we have to pass the component so component will be name will be home screen so let's create a one component so first of all in the root directory i'm going to create another folder that is called source folder src inside the source folder i'm going to create another folder that is called screen inside the screen i'm going to create another file that is called home screen dot jsx dot jsx as you know we are using this es7 snippet code so we can just write r and f e s to create a react native functional default style set component all right now we have because you can see that it's first of all we had uh, created an arrow function inside that arrow function we are having a view and inside the text uh, we are having a home screen text and we are exporting default this component all right now we have to import this component here so first of all i'm going to paste the component name home screen once i uh, paste the component name we have to also import that home screen because you can see that property home screen doesn't exist so let's import this component so as you can see that we had imported the home screen component and we can see the home screen here all right so this is how we set up the stack navigator you can also follow this video you can just copy this code and you can just paste this code as well if you don't want to write this code but i write this code for you to make it much more beginner friendly to understand the whole code all right so let me summarize it once more quickly for you guys first of all we download we install the all the necessary library as we have seen that after that we had initialize the one variable that is called const stack and stack value is create native stack navigator we are calling a function that is called create native stack navigator and we had imported it from the react navigation native stack after that we had wrap our uh, root component with the navigation container basically we are returning a now navigation container inside the navigation container we have uh, defined a stack dot navigator like stack dot screen is home screen and we have defined the component as well all right and this is how we set up the stack navigation now i don't want to show this you know home screen header to get rid of this header what we can do inside the stack navigation we have one property that is called screen options and inside the screen options we have to again write another brackets another curly braces and it's uh, you have to open this brackets and you have to write header zone properties you can see the i guess suggestion header zone property and we have to make it false to be if you don't want to show the header all right so this is how we set up the react native stack navigation and react native navigation first of all we had set up the react native navigation after that we had set up the stack navigator all right now let's go to the home screen and after that what we gonna do we have to create this home screen this category so first of all we need some we need some data like this all right and we need some kind of ui so let's do that as you can see that on the home screen we are showing a text that is called home screen and if you do some changes here we will also do the, see the changes if i write hello and now you can see the hello text as well all right now let's go to the browser and see the figma so if you see on the figma we are having a you know home screen here on the home screen we are having a a different background color currently the background color is white all right so how we make this you know we have to make this background color and we are having a different color code for the text and so on so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one folder that is called constants folder constants like this inside of that folder i'm gonna create one file that is called color.js okay and after that i'm gonna write const colors is equal to an one empty object and inside that object i'm gonna add a, a property called background all right and after that i'm gonna go on the browser okay so this is the background this is the background which we want so as you can see that inside the colors we are having a background so you have to just click on this uh you know this, this square and once you click on that you will see the fill option inside that fill we are having a color code just copy the color code go back to the code and paste the color code like this okay now after the uh, color code you are having another thing that is called text color as well the text primary this is the text primary color and that is, this is the text secondary color all right so let's add another key as well the first key will be text uh, primary all right and we're gonna have another key will be text uh, secondary okay 
and we're gonna have a, a one more key that is called icon primary okay and we are having icon secondary okay now once you do that all created all the property let's add all the code color code so this is the our icon color text primary color so you have to just click on the text okay you have to click on the text, text and you can see inside the fill we are having a color code copy this color code and you have to paste the color code like this has use the hash and you have to just paste the color code now let's go back to the figma again and you have to select this color select the text okay once you select the text you have to copy this color code all right now let's add this color code as well now after that let's go back to the again to the browser if you see on the icon we are having an icon and this is the icon primary color so let's copy this icon primary color as well and let's add the icon primary as well like this okay now let's go back so we are having another icon color as well that is called icon secondary so this is the icon secondary color so select the this icon copy this color code okay and go back to the figma uh, go back to the code and paste the color code all right so as you can see that we had created one colors object where we are having a background text primary text secondary icon primary initially we are just focusing on to create a dark theme once we created the dark theme app we will you know let's you let you know how to implement a light theme as well all right so currently we are doing a static thing we will make it dynamic as well for light theme and the dark theme as well all right so we are created one object called colors object here we have defined the all the colors which we are going to use for our application for the dark mode all right now let's go back to the home screen here we have to change the color so first of all inside the view i'm gonna add style and style is equal to styles dot container container okay now let's copy this container and here what we're gonna do i'm gonna write container like this I'm, I'm gonna write background color the background color value will be colors so we have to import the colors from the colors as you can see that i imported the colors from the dot dot slash constant sl slash color i'm using one extension that is called auto import extension so you can also install this auto import extension and that will make make your life simpler all right as you can see that this is the extension which i'm using auto import let's go back now after that inside the background color we are having colors dot background as you can see that we get the suggestion of colors dot background now as you can see that it's just highlighting this hello text now here what we're gonna do i'm gonna write flex as a one so it will take the whole height and width of your application and it make the background color as a blue kind of color all right now as you can see that our text is not visible because the text color is black all right now we're gonna get rid of this text after that if you see on the home screen we are having a two icon all right the first uh, you know the hamburger icon the drawer icon and the search icon before that let's do one thing to show you guys quickly now if we write text uh, we write hello and if we make the color will be white so you can see the text as well just showing you guys so you don't feel we are not able to see something now if i make the color is a white and we can see the color you can see the text right all right now what we're gonna do we gonna we have to you know create this header component and we have to also use the uh, react native vectors icon all right to use this icon what we have to do first of all we have to install the react native vectors icon and after that we can use it all right so let's install the react uh, native vectors icon now let's do the setup of react native vectors icon because we need this all the icons all right to set up the react native vectors icon we have to search react native vector icons all right once you search react native vectors icon you will went to this, this website this npm website you have to click on this once you click on this you see one command npm i react native vectors icon copy this command open your vs code open your terminal and close the server if you are running and paste the command npm i react native vectors icons once you run this command after that you have to go back to the browser scroll down and once you scroll down you can see a uh, one code that is called apply code you have to copy this code code apply from node modulus code once you copy this code as you can see that you have to add this code inside the android app build.gradle 
all right not android build.gradle so first of all we have to go to the android app build.gradle now let's go so let's collapse this all the folder i'm gonna and go in, inside the android app build oh my bad we have to go inside android app build.gradle so let's go back again android app and we are having a build.gradle as you can see that android app build.gradle all right and we have to paste this command like this and we had set up the react native vectors icon now once you set up the react native vectors icon you have to again restart your server all right now it will start starting the server now let's wait for some second to show the option now i'm gonna press the a to start the server or to start the server on our emulator all right now how to use react native vectors icon to use the react native vectors icon we have to okay before that let me summarize once more what we had done first of all we had installed this package npmi react native vectors icon after that we had copy this command apply code apply from file and we went to the android app build.gradle and we had just paste this code all right and after that we are able to go to use the react native vectors icon okay now to use the react native vectors icon we have to write react native vectors icon directory inside this directory we'll see uh, this is the website joel something like that react native vectors icon directory you have to open this directory here we can see a list of icons so you can see that all the kind of icon like and design icon font awesome icon and many more others now we want this icon if you see on the figma we are have we need uh, this you know uh, menu icon and the search icon we have to search lines all right once you search line you can see that a griff lines are coming this is the icon which we want for our app all right now let's go back and we have to use it all right so how we can use it so we have to just copy this uh, you know a name of the icon and the from where it's it is from and after that you have to go to the home screen here we are adding one command that is called icons and here we have to write import and whatever the name is it so if we are defining font awesome 5 and we are importing it from react native react native vector icons slash font awesome 5 all right so this is how we import the react native vectors icon after that we have to copy this command font awesome 5 and here we have to paste this like this all right and here we have to type the name so whatever the name is it we have to just add it so let's go to the browser and see the name is grip line so i'm gonna copy this line name and we're gonna add the grip line now after this once you copy this uh, name you can see that we are not able to see anything now let's add the color as well so i'm gonna add colors color is equal to colors dot colors dot primary okay there's one more thing which i just want to add inside the constant i created one file name it's called color.js the file name will be colors.js instead of color.js so i make the colors.js all right now here we are importing we have to also correct this if you are using color so you have to make it colors.js all right now after that here we're gonna write colors dot colors dot icon primary all right now let's see we can see our icon size here of too much is smaller so let's make it size bigger so i'm gonna make it the size will be 30 for now so now you can see the icon size all right now first of all let me summarize this once more first of all what we had done first of all we went to the this react native vector icon directory here we are importing the, we are search for the line icon and once we search the line icon we get to this icon so we are using font awesome 5 and we are using grip lines after that we had import the font awesome 5 from the react native vectors icon slash font awesome 5 after that we had defined the font awesome 5 and we had defined the name okay and we are having a color will be colors dot primary and the size is 30 here we had passed the icon size as a 30 as a static value which is not a good practice but if you see what see for the color we had created one colors object inside the colors we are using the colors dot icon primary which is a good practice and it, it's a static value so what we gonna do we gonna do same thing for the size as well so what we are going to do we are going to create one object icon size and we are going to use that key and value for that all right so first of all what we are going to do we are, go we are going to inside source inside the source we are having a constants inside the constant i'm gonna create another file that is called 
dimensions dot js all right here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write create one object that is called icon sizes all right inside this we're gonna create one object like this okay now here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write icon size will be small if the icon size is small then what will be value the value will be 20 and if it's medium size the value should be 24 all right and if the icon size the icon size uh, if large the value will become 32 okay and if it's extra large it will become 40 okay so the icon size will if it's uh, small then it 20 medium will be 24 large will be 32 and extra large will become 40 all right and also we have to export the icon sizes so if you see that we had created one object the name of the object will be icon sizes and inside the icon sizes we had defined a value if the icon size is small then it will be 20 if it's medium then it will be 24 if it's large then 32 if it's extra large then it will have a 40 all right now let's copy the icon size of key and here we what we have to do okay before that make sure to also export this icon size as well now let's go back to the home screen here what we're gonna do I'm gonna write icon sizes and we have to import it so I'm gonna import it as well icon sizes from the this constants all right after that I'm gonna add the size will be icon size dot medium okay now let me open the app the app get crazed crashed so let me open the app quickly and now you can see that icon size it's medium right now and if we make it larger so let me make it larger and it will become the large all right so i'm gonna make it medium as it as it was all right awesome now after that uh, we're gonna have another icon that is called search icon so let's add a search icon as well to use the search icon we have to search search all right once you search the search icon you will get this a uh, different kind of icon now i'm gonna use this and design search one icon to use this icon what we have to do first of all we have to import this and design from the react native vectors icons all right i have to import and react native vectors icon slash and design once you import the and design icon like and design after that what we have to do we have to write like this and design okay and we have to define the name whatever the name is it so the name is search one if you see on the browser we have to again copy this name and i'm gonna add the name search one all right and the color as we know guys the color will be colors dot icon dot primary colors dot icon primary and we can see the icon as well and the size which i'm gonna give that is called icon sizes dot medium icon sizes dot medium awesome all right we can see the uh, search icon and the menu icon as well okay awesome now if you click on this it's not uh, looking well all right so what i'm gonna do guys uh, i'm gonna add a touchable opacity as well for here so let's add a touchable opacity quickly touchable opacity like this okay and same for the touchable opacity for the search icon as well touchable opacity tool feel like a button and let's see let's wait for this and now you can see that it's clickable now if you see that uh, we are here we are having uh, two things uh, like you know we are we are having just a two touchable opacity inside the touchable opacity we are having an icon all right so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one view inside this view i'm gonna name it okay before that i'm gonna you know cut this view and i'm gonna paste this view after this uh, after this touchable opacity all right so as you can see that our touchable opacity is wrapped inside a view so inside the view we are having a two touchable opacity all right so here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna name is like you know style is equal to style dot header okay and after that once you define the header now let's add a, a style this as well like header so if you see on the figma we are having a, this header and we are having a, some padding top and the horizontally as well and the you know direction is flex row and justify content space between all right so let's add this so we're gonna write header okay and the flex direction which i'm gonna make it flex uh, direction will become row okay now let me show you guys in the now you can see that awesome 
now I'm gonna write justify content will be space between like this awesome I think the icon size looking is too smaller so let's make the icon size instead of medium let's make it larger what do you think guys the larger will look much more better I think so large will look much more better we can you know adjust the icon size if you want as well now after that we also want some padding vertically all right so the padding top not vertically I'm gonna add a padding uh, padding padding uh, top will become uh, okay so for that spacing what we're gonna do we're gonna again create another object for padding top so we got we don't we are not going to declare a padding top like this we are also going to create another object that is called spacing so inside the dimension.js I'm gonna create uh, one object that is called export const spacing okay spacings and inside this spacing object we're gonna have a sim uh, you know this all the objects all the keys so I'm gonna just copy paste and we're gonna have a one more key that is called extra small all right and we're gonna define a value so the if it's extra small then it will be value will be 4 and if it's small then it will be 8 otherwise it will be 16 okay and otherwise it will be 24 otherwise it will be 32 like this so if it's extra small then the spacing will be 4 if it's small then small will be 8 medium will be 16 and large will be 24 and extra large will be 32 all right now we are able to use it so to use it you have to copy this and make sure to export this as well now to use this what we have to do I'm gonna write here I'm gonna import it like this spacing dot all right and I'm gonna use spacing dot large now as you can see that it's we had given some spacing uh, vertically like you know padding top and we're gonna have a padding horizontal as well so I'm gonna add is the same padding uh, you know padding horizontal will be spacing dot large all right I think the spacing padding top will uh, looks better if we make it medium instead of large yeah I think it looks better okay now after that what we're gonna do we're gonna have a one text that is called recommended for you so let's add that text as well but one thing I just forget to add that instead of having or giving the padding top I'm gonna give the padding vertical all right now as you can see that we had created the header all right now what we're gonna do we inside the source comp source directory we are going to create another directory that is called components all right so inside the components I'm gonna create another file that is called header.jsx all right inside the header.jsx jsx I'm gonna copy this whole code this whole code so I'm gonna just copy this whole code just got this code and I'm gonna just paste this code inside that before that I'm gonna type R and F E as react native functional export default style set component and I'm gonna paste this whole code like this and I'm gonna okay before that let's paste the code like this okay and I'm gonna import the touchable opacity from the react native and I'm have to also import this as well so I'm gonna cut this as well let's go to the header component and we have to import it like this all right now we have to also import the colors so let's import the color we have to also import the icon size as well all right now we can't see anything on this uh, UI all right so to make that look perfect what we have to do we have to here we have to import the header component all right so let's import the header component quickly now as you can see that we are able to see our header component but this style should be also get cut from here and we have to move to the header component now here we have to just paste this code all right and here we have to also import the spacing all right now you can see the header component so what we had done from we had removed the code from the home screen component home screen to the header component so first of all we had went to the source inside the source we had created another directory that is called components inside the components I created a file that is called header.jsx inside the header.jsx we had just copy paste the whole code and we had added the style all right so as you can see that we are able to see the icon now instead of having giving the padding vertical as a medium I'm gonna make it small all right and instead of giving the icon size as a large let's make it medium so make the medium what we're gonna do I'm gonna write the medium all right now after that if you see on the spacing file 
you can see that initially i was make it like you know it was xm so i make it i fix it by making it x, x, x s to make it extra small to make sure that you also correct this as well so this is how we had designed the header component all right now after that what we have to do we have to design this text recommended for you text a uh, heading text all right so first of all for that what we have to do we have to write a text like this and inside this text we're gonna have a one text that is called recommended for you all right recommended for you so th like this not in capital casing it should be a uh, like this recommended for you but we are not able to see the text right so how we can see the text first of all we have to add a style and a style is equal to styles dot uh, heading text all right and we have to copy this uh, you know name and after that we have to do like like this the font size the font size let's make it 60 all right and let's add the color all right the colors will be my bad color will be text dot primary colors dot text uh, primary all right now let's see now we can see the colors text dot primary and let's make it 25 all right but if you see the font family here we are having a different font family and here we are having a different font family all right so how we can use the font family uh, this one to use this font family first of all what we have to do we have to download a font family that is called Gilroy so first of all we have to search a font family that is called Gilroy Gilroy font family once you search Gilroy font family you will see a different website so let's open this website and see so I'm gonna click on this website after that I'm gonna scroll down and here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on downloads free download so let's click on free download so it will download the file and let's extract this so I'm gonna extract all this font family all right now as you can see that we can see a different font family here if I just see all right so which font family which I want for to use the font family whatever font family we want okay before that I will also provide this you know uh, this link in the repo as along with that I will also provide this uh, link in the description box to download this font family all right you can also type it like font fonts months something like that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna inside the readme.md file I'm gonna remove this whole code and I'm gonna write font family download link download link and you can download it from this website all right now after that to use the font family how we can use the font family in react native all right that's also a challenging thing not challenging it's straightforward thing so I will, I will guide you as well to use that font family what we have to do first of all inside the root directory inside the root directory like app.tsx it is a root directory so first of all we have to create one file that is called assets inside the assets we have to create another file that is called fonts all right inside the fonts directory we have to copy paste the font family whatever we want so I want this different kind of family like I want Gilroy black I want Gilroy bold and I want uh, light and I want medium and regular all right and we want semi bold as well all right so I'm gonna copy this this all the font family which I want all right and inside the fonts directory I'm gonna paste that all the font family so the font family which I want that is called I think I don't want black so I can get rid of this I would just want bold light medium regular and semi bold this is the all font family which which I want all right after that once you create one assets folder inside the assets folder we are created another directory that is called fonts directory and here we have done the all the font family now after that what we have to do you have to create another file in the root directory the file name will be react native dot config dot js like this have we have to write module dot module dot exports is equal to and inside will be it will be one object and inside the projects what we gonna do we gonna write android android like this and we gonna have a uh, another folder that is called ios like this after that we have to write assets like this okay and after that we have to define the path of the 
this font family so this will be dot slash uh, assets like this and slash fonts like this once you're done with that module dot exports project android and ios you have to open your terminal and run one command that is called npx npx react native react native assets all right once you run this command npx react native assets you can see that a linking for this font family has been completed linking to the set of android project so make sure to run this command npx react native assets so i will also provide this command in the description in the readme.md file you can also check it out all right so let me paste this command font family linking all right this is the command to link the font npx react native assets all right now let's close all the directory whatever we had open now to use the font family what we have to do let's go to the home screen again and here you can see that inside the heading text we are using this heading text here what we have to write here we have to write the font family the font family will be like this so whatever the font family we are going to use like we're going to use let's suppose i want to use gilroy regular so what we have to write we have to write gil uh, gilroy uh, medium or let's suppose if i want to use gilroy bold all right now you can see that nothing has been changed right now because we had not started the server so let's start the server by typing the npm start so it will start the server and it will bundle the project all right so let's wait for some second and just press the a all right now this is how we can use the font family by typing the like this but the best practice is that inside the constant so let's open the source and here we are having a constants and inside the constants i'm going to create another file that is called fonts.js all right now before that is you can see that this font family has been applied like if i comment this the font family get removed if i uncomment this you can see that all right now how we can use this font family in a much more better manner to use in a much more better manner what i'm going to do i'm going to write const all right and i'm going to write cons uh, fonts uh, font families all right and here we're going to define the all the font family which i'm going to use so if you open the you know assets inside the font we are having a different so first all i'm going to use the bold the bold name will be how okay so bold will be like this bold and the name will be gil uh, roy gil roy bold all right so this is the font families dot bold and you have to define a constant gil roy bold like this we're going to add all the font family so we're going to have a light all right and here we're going to write light all right here we also have a medium so let's write medium and we're going to have a medium as well medium and we are having a regular as well so let's write a regular and here we are having a leg regular and in the last we are having a semi bold and let's add a semi uh, bold all right so this is how we had created one font family all right and we are having a different kind of find font families font families and bold and we are just you know whatever the name is it like you know gilroy bold so we had added the bold light medium liberal semi bold and to use this we have to export this font families all right now let's copy this font families name and here if i want to use any kind of font family i have to use it like this we have to import the font families from the constant slash font and we have to use dot bold if i want to use bold and we don't have to write like that if you i want to use another let's suppose i want to use light and we can just write light all right this is how we can use different kind of font family so if you see for this text so which which font family is it so this is a bold font family so we can have a like this at the place of bold would we gonna use the bold gil font family bold all right so as you can see that this font family is looking awesome all right now after that what we are going to do uh, after this font family you can see the for the font size which we had passed that is a static like you know we have we gonna again create a file or font size object and we gonna use that so inside the dimension.js i'm gonna create another object that is called let me copy this again all the things like is uh, spacing object and we gonna have a another uh, object that is called font size all right 
so in the inside the font size we had copied this uh, we had uh, we are having a this all the all the keys and values and we're gonna change the value all right now update the value let's update the value so we don't want extra small font size so we're gonna start from the font size will be start from the smaller size the, the smaller size font family will be 12 and if the medium size will be 16 and the large font size will be 20 and extra large will be 24 all right now this is the font family which the, this is all the font size which we are going to use if it's small then use 12 medium 60 large will be 20 and extra large will be 24 all right now let's copy this font size and let's go back to the home screen.jsx okay now as you can see that we are having a font size as a 25 so at the place of 25 we're gonna import the font size all right and we're gonna write extra large now if you see that we can see this uh, awesome good looking recommended for you text and we can have a margin vertical text if you want spacing margin vertical will be spacing dot uh, large all right let's see awesome now we can have a give uh, you know some padding uh, horizontal and vertical as well but uh, instead of having margin i'm going to give them padding all right and we can give some you know um, uh, padding horizontally as well but we are not going to keep it right now now we have to design a song card component so if you see on the figma we have to design this song card here we are having the song image and after that the song title and the artist name all right so for this what i'm going to do i'm going to create one component that is called song card and inside that component we are going to have a one image title and the artist name so let's go on the code and what i'm going to do i'm going to collapse all the things and i'm going to close all the file all right now inside the source directory inside the components i'm going to create one another component that is called song card dot jsx all right now after that i'm going to type r n f e s react Na native functional default export style sheet component okay and we are exporting as well now let's go to the screen inside the screen we are having a home screen okay inside the home screen we are going to render this component song card component like this all right now we have we have also imported this song card component as well now let's go to the song card component and first of all what we gonna do if you see that we want a song image all right now let's add our one image so we went to the, this website ncs music now i'm gonna click on this image this song once i click on this song i can see this song details all right now let's go back again and i think if i click on here okay basically i want this image to get this image what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click on view background image so you know before that i'm using one extension that is called view background image extension so you guys can also install this extension view background image extension okay so with the with the help of this extension you can download it and with the help of this ext extension if the image in background so you can get the link of that image as well so you have to just click on view background image and it will give you the link all right now i'm gonna copy this link okay and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just you know create one url like image url is equal to like this okay and we're gonna have a one you know one image card one image component so i'm gonna imp import the image from the react native okay and after that i'm gonna define the source and the source will be uri okay like this source uri and we have to keep the path of the image like image url all right now after that we're gonna have a style and we're gonna name is style dot cover image cover image okay now let's style this as well so we're gonna define them height and width so let's suppose i'm gonna give the width as a 275 now let's see we are not able to see on the anything on the ui why so because it could be let's go to the home screen so we are having a song card component okay now if i give some height as well so let's tr try with the giving some height will be like 100 for now okay now we can see that that song card all right so if i make this container now let's make one container here style and styles dot styles dot container all right now in, inside the container what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write one con container like this and here i'm gonna define the height and the width of the container 
okay the height will of this container will be almost uh, 300 could be now if you see on the figma what could be height of this container so let's see on the figma so if you can see this the container height is almost 242 okay 242 so we can have a like uh, almost of 250 height now if i remove this height and let's see what is going to happen we can't see anything on the ui that's weird okay so we have also defined the uh, height of this image as well okay so we have to select the image and we can see that the height of the image is 190 and the width is uh, 190 as well so i'm gonna make it 200 75 width and the height will be almost uh, 200 now let's see how it's looking and after that we can do much more stuff so i'm gonna make it again 275 height and width and it's looking pretty well so um, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make it 250 instead of 275 yeah i think it's looking well and after that i'm gonna add some border radius of 10 as well okay to have some border radius all right you can see that we have added the border radius now after this we have a, you know the song title so let's add a song title so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have a one text like this okay and we're gonna have the song name like it could be a monster go home all right and we're gonna have a another text that is for the artist name so the artist will name will be alan walker for now okay and we're gonna have you know stylist as well so i'm gonna write style is equal to styles dot uh, title all right and i'm gonna copy this title and here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write the title like this okay so what the color gonna be the color will be colors dot colors dot uh, text primary all right now you can see that we can see the monster go home text after that we're gonna add some font size as well and the font uh, in a font family the font family is glory medium you can see that so let's add a font family as well so font family will be font families dot uh, medium all right like this and now we can see that that font family as well and here what i'm going to do i'm going to write text align as a center okay now if i write the text align center you can see that it went to the center of this 100 percent height and width so what i'm going to do i'm going to write width gonna be almost 270 okay now you can see that awesome now after that uh, once we define the text align center we're going to have a font size property as well so i'm going to import the font size as well and the font size will be i think large looks well yeah the large is looking well quite bit well after that we're going to have another text that is called before that let's see so we can see that we are added the, this title and we need some padding as well so let's add the padding as well so padding vertical will be uh, spacing spacing dot uh, small i think small looks well yeah after this uh, after this we have to design the style the author as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to add style is equal to styles dot order author styles dot author all right now not author it should be art artist my bad so now let's add one uh, again you know all the stuff so the color will be what uh, if you see on the figma the color is secondary uh, all right so first of all what i'm going to do colors dot text secondary okay my bad colors colors dot uh, colors dot text uh, secondary like this all right now you can see that ellen walker text as well now again we're gonna make this text align will be center okay now after that uh, we're gonna have a font size as well the font size uh, what the font size dot small font size it should be a small font size and after that uh, what i'm gonna do guys uh, if you see on the figma uh, we have to add the font family as well so if you see the font family it's a regular font family okay so let's add a font family the font family will be font families dot 
a regular now let's add the regular font family all right so we have designed this you know uh, this song card component now if you see that our artist uh, text is quite a bit smaller so what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna instead of using the small I'm gonna use a font size called medium by typing the medium all right now I think it's looking well quite a bit awesome okay so after this we can use it multiple times whatever place we want okay currently it's you know in a uh, in a you know column direction we're gonna use the flat list in a horizontal direction so we'll figure it out as well now there's one more thing which I just want to add guys that is called uh, basically what okay now if you see that what we had done thoroughly first of all uh, we went to the, this website ncs.io and we had imported this you know uh, use this image or you can search any image whatever image you are you want for this app okay now after that uh, I created one uh, variable that is called const image URL and here I added the image URL after that I created one component song card inside that we are having a container style sort container and here we are having image text and another text all right now instead of having a view we're gonna have a touchable opacity because we are going to use we are going to click on the song as well so that's why we are making its touchable opacity all right now as you can see that it's it's become touchable opacity okay and now let's go to the home screen component and after that we had you know given the container height and the width whatever the height and width we want and we define the width as a 250 percent okay and the height is 250 as well and the border radius of 10 okay so we can give uh, you know if you want we can give just you know 250 as well if you want that's up to you guys and after that we had defined the title color the color colors dot text primary font family is medium font family text line center and the font size is a uh, font size large and padding horizontal were also given and the text secondary as well all right now after this let's go to the home screen component if you see on the figma we are having the song like this in this direction in a horizontal direction so how we can make it let me show you guys quickly to make the song card component like this we're gonna use the flat list so we're gonna use flat list like this the flat list took uh, multiple props like the first props will be data so we're gonna pass the data so it could be uh, like you know one two three uh, comma four like we're gonna render the data five times all right now after that the second props which takes that is called render item here we have to pass the component so i'm gonna pass the song card component all right now after that we gonna define the direction so what i'm gonna write i'm gonna write horizontal as a true okay now once you type the horizontal as true you can see that the item went to the horizontal direction and we can comment this song as well okay now you can see that it's uh, almost scrollable to the right direction okay now we can give some item gap as well so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have one component that is called item separate component and here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a view and we're gonna style this view as well so whatever the you know margin horizontal you want margin horizontal of 20 okay so whatever space you want between the items you can define just by giving the margin just by having one property that is called item separator component and if you see on the figma what is mostly the uh, you know separate or width that is called almost 20 okay so we can in, uh, decrease if you want like we can give 15 as well uh, i think 10 will looks much more better yeah i think 10 will looks better now if you see on the figma uh, it's started from you know some spacing okay so first of all we're gonna you know uh, we're gonna use this spacing instead of like this spacing dot large okay now not large it should be a uh, small okay now after this uh, we're gonna give some padding as well so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write container content container style is equal to padding uh, horizontal will be my bad padding horizontal will be spacing dot uh, large all right now let's see you can see that we had given some spacing as well all right now after this you can see that our recommended for you text as well on the top okay now if we make it again this flat list 
so you can see that we are having this flat list again here on the bottom in the footer but if you see on the figma we are having a category name along with that we are having a song card okay so it means that this uh, this category name will be associated with this flat list item so how we can do it so first of all let me remove this you know this new code this new flat list so let me explain you before that what we had done we had created one component that is called song card component which you can see it quickly and we can have a link this is the style which we had applied all right now we went to the home screen we are using a flat list to render the data or to render the component to the multiple times so in the data we had just passing a static value for now for now like 1 2 3 4 5 inside that we are rendering a song card component okay and we are define the direction as a horizontal and true horizontal true and to give some space between this uh, uh, you know item so we had using the item separator component and have we have we define the spacing uh, you know margin horizontal will be spacing dot smaller size after that to give this you know the to give this space in a horizontal direction in our uh you know is a uh, horizontal is called view we had using content content style and here we define padding horizontal will be spacing dot large all right now if you see this uh, recommended for you text has not padding this this padding so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a one thing that is called list header component inside the list header component what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, render this component like this okay so to render this component what we are supposed to do guys if i make it like this you can't see like you know it's uh, it's looking too weird right so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this uh, here from here and we gonna do the undo as okay like this whatever the it was and after that uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the heading text and i'm going to give some padding horizontal padding horizontal spacing uh, padding horizontal and the value will be spacing dot large now let's see all right now we can see the recommended for you text as well awesome now after that uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to create one component for this okay and the component name will be called like you know a uh, song card with the title with the category all right so first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to create one another component so let's create uh, another component song card with category with uh, with category all right a flat list with category flat list okay i'm going to name it like you know song card with category category like this category dot jsx okay and after that i'm going to write r and f e s component uh that is stand for react native functional export default component all right so you can see that we had created one component that is called song card with category okay now let's go to the home screen as you can see that we are having a flat list and also we are having a this recommended for you text as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy cut this whole code okay so let's cut this code and inside this component i'm going to dump it all here so let's paste this code all all right now after this we going to import this flat list from the react native okay and we going to import the spacing like you know all the stuff as well is spacing from this constant okay and we all we also going to import the song card component as well all right now you can see that we are not able to see anything on the ui okay to see the on the ui what we going to do i'm going to go back to the home screen component and here i'm going to write song card with category now if you see on the figma we can see the song card with category but we are not able to see this you know uh, this header why so let's go to the here here we we can't see the heading text because we are not applying any styling to the heading text to apply the heading text styling we have to copy this styling from here so let cut this styling from here okay and let's go to the song card okay and after that i'm going to use it like this and we have to import the necessary requirement or necessary files so i'm going to import the font size from the fonts uh, from the constant and again i'm going to import the colors from the constant as well and the font family as well okay now if you see on the fig um, on the app we are able to create this recommended for you text as well now if you go back to the home screen and if you just repeat it multiple times you can see that we are able to see this 
uh, component in a multiple times but if you scroll down we are not able to scroll it okay so we're gonna also learn that how to make this scrollable as well but we can see that we are getting this awesome looking ui all right but there's one more thing which we can't see the song title name okay and one more thing that is called uh, the song title name and the artist name so how we can visible that as well so we're gonna see that as well so first let me undo this all the code whatever we had written it okay go to the song card component okay and we are not able to this see the song you know this uh, font size why so let me debug it as well so before that uh, what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna go to the uh, uh, home screen inside that home screen we are having a song card with category okay and inside that we are having a view okay and i'm gonna write view we got view gonna be style is equal to styles dot container okay and i'm gonna copy this container and here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add one style property that is called flex as a one okay now after this if you can see that we are able to see this text as well okay so this is the like you know we are not able to see this you know text because we had not defined a container and we are not defined the flexes of one so now let me summarize what we had done quickly so first of all we went to the home screen component okay inside this uh, we had created one component okay and after that we had created one other component that is called song card with category as you can see that we are having a category name that is called recommended for you now if you click on this song card with category heavy c all right now inside this component what we are having we are having a container and the, the container has flexes of one property and make sure to use this property flexes of one now inside this container we are having a heading text the heading text uh, could be like recommended for you text okay and after that we are having a flat list inside the flat list we are passing the statically five items one two three four five and inside the render item function we are rendering our song called component which we had created right now after that we had defined the direction as a horizontal is a true okay and item separator component we had defined to how much uh, distance or how many uh, space you want between this item so i'd define define the item uh, margin horizontal spacing dot small size okay now after that we had also defined this padding uh, cont content container style and the padding horizontal is spacing dot large it means that here we had defined this space as well all right now after that if you see further uh, we uh, make sure to you know contain inside the container make sure to add a flex as a one and here we are having a heading set text as well okay now if you go to the song card component this is how we created the song card component where there we are having an image url and inside the song card component we are having a touchable opacity after that we are having an image and we are having a title and the artist the container is like 250 250 and the cover image is height and width is also 250 250 and we are defined the border radius of 10 after that we are having a title the first uh, the title is like you know uh, the color is text primary font family is medium text line center and font size is large and padding horizontal will be spacing dot small same for the artist we had defined as well all right now if we go back to the home screen now what we gonna do we gonna create this you know like this like this kind of ui like we gonna have a recommended for you my playlist okay so we can make this like this as well like you know if you just loop it multiple times so we can see uh, this uh, category with multiple times but it's not visible perfectly on the ui all right so how we can tackle this as well so let's do this with the flat list so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create another flat list here okay and inside the data props what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pass a one data so it could be one two three four five okay we had created one object that is called data and here we are passing uh, here inside the array we are having a uh, five elements after that we're gonna have another props that is called render item inside this render item we are rendering this song card with category okay now you can see that we can see this uh, five times item as well song card with category okay and we can get rid of this like this all right now you can see that and this is how we had created this uh, 
ui as well now if we make it more so it becomes six seven now if we scroll down further we can see a multiple item so we can see the seven item as well so we this uh, view is like you scrollable to the horizontally as well as vertically as well now if you scroll down if you see that if you scroll down we can't see uh, much more so what we're gonna do i'm gonna add some uh, bottom padding as well so here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write one property that is called container style content uh, okay let's style the content container style okay so here what i'm gonna write content container style will be padding bottom will be almost 500 okay so if we scroll down now further so as you can see that we are able to scroll to the five you know more than 500 in from the bottom so i'm gonna make it 200 instead of 500 okay uh, i think let's make it uh, 400 okay user will be scrollable to the this height okay so this is how we had created this home screen which is looking awesome all right we'll see also how to make it dynamically as well in a future in in further videos now let me summarize this again because it's quite a bit complex stuff Okay, so first of all, we're gonna go to the app.jsx. Inside the app.jsx, we are having one comp comp we are running a home screen components. Now let's go to the home screen. Here, what we are having, we are having a header component. As you can see, that on the header we are having a uh, the search icon, sorry, the menu icon and the search icon. After that, we are having a flat list. Okay, inside this flat list, we are having a uh, multiple props. The first props is like data. Inside the data, we are passing a uh, array with the seven element after that we are having another props that is called render item all right the render item will just loop the item you know seven times like whatever the element size it it will loop loop that element so we are rendering looping the uh, this song card with category component now let's go to the song card with category inside this component we are having a uh, the first of all the category name the category name is like you know recommended for you after that we are having a, a flat list and it's again flat list and the, this flat list has direction of horizontally okay and the data is like one two three four five and here we are having rendering the song card component in a horizontally direction all right now after that we are having a define another component that is called item separator component props and which is you know just having a margin horizontal of small so it's having a some space between these two both items after that we have defined a content container style as a padding horizontal spacing dot large so you can see that there is some space space between this you know uh, here the first item that is possible with this padding horizontal property now after that we had created a song card component okay inside the song card component we where we are ha having a touchable opacity and we have defined the container as a height and width like this height is 250 width is 250 after that we are having a cover image inside the cover image we have defined the width and the height and the border radius after that we are having a title the title color we are defined colors dot text primary and again we can't see this uh, the title we will also figure it out right now so we can't see the colors dot text prime uh, sorry now let's go to the app dot jsx let's go to the home screen now we can see that the song card with category okay now we can see that we are having a container as well okay now uh, why it's not visible to us this category okay so now let's go to the song card with category again the song card okay and i'm gonna make the uh, height will become 300 instead of having a 250 now let me reload the app after giving the height now we can see that we are able to see this container now instead of having a 300 i'm gonna make it uh, a 3, 350 uh, almost and let's see again real by reloading the height and the width now you can see that we can see this perfectly looking awesome all right 
so i'm gonna make the height of this container 350 and now it's visible perfectly you can decrease the height if you want like you know you can make it 330 if you want so you can you know do practice or do can try with the height and the width all right so first of all uh, we go to the home screen we had defined a one flat list why am i repeating this multiple times because this is a one of the most crucial stuff in our application so first of all we are having a uh, header component after that we are having a flat list with uh you know column direct you know in a column direction like you know vertically direction and here we are having rendering a one component that is called song card with category okay inside the song card with category uh, we had defined the direction as a horizontally true okay and the first text which we are having that is called recommended for your text after that we are having a flat list inside the flat list we had passed the data one two three four five and here we are having a render item props and we are just rendering the song card okay and we have also defined the horizontal is a true direction okay and we are here we are having item separator component and we have defined the margin horizontal of small after that uh, in the content content style we are also define the padding horizontal as well okay now after that we had also created a song card component and in the container we had defined the container height as a, height as a 330 and width as a 250 and we had defined the cover image of 250 and the height is 250 as well after that we had defined the border radius and the color of this title and the artist all right so this is the, uh, this home screen this is how we had designed the home screen in our react native okay this is looking good all right now now after this if you open the figma so you can see that there is one floating player in the bottom right so we have to design this floating player as well so to design this uh, floating player what we're gonna do we're gonna create uh, one component and we're gonna use it all right so let's go on the code and i'm gonna close all the file okay and i'm gonna collapse this all the components and now after this i'm gonna inside the source directory inside the source we're gonna have a components and inside the component i'm gonna create one another component that is called floating player dot jsx like this okay and we're gonna name the component name as well by typing r and f e s all right so we had created a floating player component okay now if we go on the browser if you check the figma so we are having first of all this image and the song title and the artist name and after that we are having a three icon okay so first of all let's add the image to add the image what we gonna need we gonna need one image view okay so let's integrate a one image view so i'm gonna import the image from the uh, react native as you can see that and we're gonna need a source okay and source need a uri so i'm gonna create one here variable like currently static value const image url and we're gonna need an image so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go on this website and after this i'm gonna open this image so we are using this extension like you know a view background image extension which i'm using so you can click on this view background image and you can get the extension we can get the image so how you can get the extension as i already told you guys you have to search view background uh, view background image extension to get that image all right so you can install this extension once you install this extension you are able to get the background image as well so i got this background image url so i'm gonna copy this image url after that i'm gonna add this url here okay now once i add it here i have to uh, you know add this value to the uri okay and after that i'm gonna write style is equal to styles dot cover image okay let's add a cover image okay now after this i'm gonna add a one height of this image so for this cover image i'm gonna add a height of 40 for now and with gonna be 40 as well or uh, basically a one or uh, square now after that we gonna export this you know we're gonna use this floating player component to the home screen so let's go on the screen and inside the screen we are having a home screen here as you can see that we are having a one view inside the view we are having header and after that we are having a flat list okay now here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna import this my uh, floating player component like this so i just import the floating player as you can see that and after that i'm gonna render this on the ui okay now if you see on the ui we are not able to see we are able to see 
one image here on the bottom now if i reload it still i think you can see it a one girl image all right now let's go to the floating player again and let's go to the cover image so instead of having a 40 i'm gonna make it 60 by giving it let's give a sort okay now 16 looks looks better i think so uh, okay now after that if we go on the again figma so if we, if i just select the image so the image height and the width is 72 so we can increase the height as more so i'm gonna make it 70 instead of 60 all right uh, you can increase or decrease the height regarding your adjustment now after that we're gonna have one title you know the song title so we're gonna have one title like this so i'm gonna add one first of all if you see that uh, the song title how is it the song title in a road you know in a column direction okay and we are we are having already we are having three more buttons uh, like you know go back and previous pause button and the next button all right so first of all what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna create one text like this okay but that text will be inside the view and i'm gonna have a one text like this so let's add a text okay the text value will be what uh, i'm gonna make it like you know chop and dust i don't know which song is it but let's add chop and dust okay and after that i'm gonna add a you know author name as well so author name will be alan walker which i love it okay because i don't know but yeah i like the song of alan walker after that i'm gonna style this as well so style is equal to styles dot uh, title okay now to style the title what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write this title styling here so the color is what the color will be colors dot uh, primary colors dot text text primary like this uh, text primary okay now once we're done with the text primary as you, as you can see that we are getting the text primary at the below of this image which we don't want that okay so we'll also figure it out first of all we want like this okay how we want uh, let me do like that so first of all here we're gonna have a view okay and uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make you know flex is a one so i'm gonna write style is equal to uh, styles dot uh, title container all right now i'm gonna copy this title container and here i'm gonna add one style here so i'm gonna write flex is a one so whatever the height and width is left so it's gonna to that okay now if you see that text is has been uh, you know removed or uh, we can't see that text so let me add a font size the font size currently is gonna be static of 18 okay still i can't see that font size all right so for that what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna make this uh you know the uh, the title kind is a flex is a one all right now before that uh, what i'm gonna do one more thing that is called here the view the view i'm gonna make it style and i'm gonna write like you know styles dot container okay and this container is gonna be like this let's add that as well quickly a uh, flex direction as a row so let's see if you make it flex directions row we can see the text as well all right now if you see that uh, uh, the height of the image it's looking well well it's looking well okay and after that uh, we can added the chop and dust as well now the font size will be what I feel the font size dot large if i make it large let's see how it's looking looking well and the font family is like you know gold medium so let's add that medium font family as well so font family will be font families dot medium all right so i added the font family as a medium and after that we're gonna need another thing that is called uh, you know artist name so we're gonna write style is equal to uh, styles dot artist all right so let me copy this is artist as well after that let's paste air and after that we're gonna write the color will be gonna be what color my bad the color will be uh, colors dots colors dot text uh, secondary okay now if you see that we are able to see that text as well and uh, the font size if i talk about the font size so it will be font size 
font size dot oh my bad font size dot medium if i make it medium all right now we can see that awesome now after that uh, what we gonna do uh, if you see on the figma we had need some padding you know some spacing from here as well so let's add some padding as well so what i'm gonna do here to the title container i'm gonna add some padding horizontal will be 20 okay okay now i think it's looking well okay now inside the flex direction row what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write one more thing that is called align item center okay now if you see this you can see that the text is coming on the center all right now instead of having a padding horizontal is 20 i'm gonna make it 10 okay so we're gonna use this spacing dot uh medium and what is the value of medium if i check out it's uh 16 so i'm gonna make it uh small and what is the value of a small uh the small value is like almost eight and it's looking well pretty well now after this uh after this title after this image and the title and this uh, what we need uh what we need that is called uh this button previous button and play pause button and the next button all right for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create another component here inside this component directory the name of that component gonna be player controls player controls player uh, controls dot jsx all right now i'm gonna create first of all this uh, previous button okay so i'm gonna write here const uh, go to previous button go, uh, go okay let's write like this previous uh, button all right for this i'm gonna write like this okay and we're gonna have a return inside this return we're gonna have a touchable opacity inside the touchable opacity we need this kind of icon right this icon so how we can get this icon so we're gonna go on to the react native vector icon directory so i'm gonna search react native vector icon directory here uh, if you see on the figma this is called next button or uh, previous button not next it's it's a previous button all right so we went to the react native vector di directory and we are here we have to search previous okay and we can't okay we can see a uh, one icon of previous so it could not like previous uh, i think forward or uh, backward if i write backward okay so we can see that we are getting one icon that is called font awesome six and we're gonna use this backward icon okay so i'm gonna copy this backward icon okay but we need this kind of icon right so let's see again uh again it's not like this uh let's give a sort one more uh, backward or previous and if you see that that we can't get that outline uh, this we can get this outline icon skip to previous outline so i'm gonna use this material community icons so i'm gonna just copy this all right now after that i'm gonna use it like this skip material community icons okay now i have to also import this icon as well so i'm gonna write import material community icons from react native vectors icons okay so let's import that and after that we're gonna write material community icon material community icons all right now after that i'm gonna write name is equal to what is the name if i go on the browser again so the name is called skip previous outline okay so i'm gonna write skip previous outline like this okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write you know uh, i'm gonna make it like previous uh, button or like you know make it go to previous button go to previous button go to previous button and, and i'm gonna copy this component name and i'm also gonna export this as well so export const go to previous button all right now i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna go to the floating player okay inside this floating player uh, as we can see that we are having a title container so we're gonna have another container as well here and i'm gonna name is like you know before that i'm gonna just paste that go to previous button component here all right now after this i'm gonna name it like you know style is equal to st styles dot uh, player control uh, player control container okay 
so I'm gonna copy this again the name and player control container and here we gonna add this that as well all right before that uh, let's go to the code the previous button okay here we had not added the size so I'm gonna add a size by default uh, the by default size will be size like this okay and here what we're gonna do here we're gonna have a size prop and by default the size will be uh, sizes uh, okay icon size uh, dot lg if you see the lg size what is the lg size uh, it's 32 not a big deal okay and the color the color will be what let's add the color as well the color will be colors dot colors dot we have to import the colors as well from the constants colors dot icon primary now if you see on the figma we are able to see this icon as well all right now if we want to make it like you know much more excel so we can make it excel as well so if i just write it excel you can see that all right now if you see that uh, this icon is coming you know uh, on too much uh, right direction we want something on this center all right so for that what we're gonna need uh, we're gonna make another button as well that is called play pause button okay so for that i'm gonna search again uh, play play button so if you see the play button uh, all right so we need this kind of ui not two line uh, so let's search it so if we scroll down further further so i can't see a two line button or two line icon something like that okay so i'm gonna use uh, something uh, different so i'm gonna use this uh, font autumn awesome six icon that is called play icon so let's use this font autumn six okay and i'm gonna again go to the player control uh, component here i'm gonna create another component export const uh, play pause button okay and i'm gonna you know again make it like this i'm gonna i'm gonna return as well okay now once you return inside that i'm gonna have a touchable opacity so let's import the touchable opacity as well and here i'm gonna use the font awesome six icon okay like this so to use the font awesome six icon what we have to do supposed to do basically so first of all we have to import this font awesome six as well to import this what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write import font awesome six like this from react native vectors icon okay and slash font awesome six all right like this once you're done with that uh, to use that icon we are gonna again copy this name font awesome six i'm gonna you know add a name of this icon so i'm gonna name is what for now if you see on the figma uh, on the browser we need this kind of icon play so let's copy this icon and i'm gonna add this name as of play okay now if you see that we are not able to see anything on the ui all right not a big deal okay now after that we're gonna again need some you know make them uh, sizes are dynamic basically we can pass the size from the uh, you know component as well so we're gonna have a size and by default value what the by default will be uh, icon size icon size dot uh, uh, large okay like this and i'm gonna write like this size is equal to let's add a size as well so size is equal to size and the color let's add the color as well color will be colors dot uh, icon primary colors dot icon uh, primary now if you see that we are not able to see anything on the ui because we have to render that as well so i'm gonna copy this play pause button and let's go to the uh, this uh, floating play uh, let's go to the floating player inside the floating player if you see that uh, we are just rendering this uh, go to previous button now we have to render another uh, button on another component that is called uh, play pause button component okay before using that make sure to import this as well so let's see now we had imported the play pause button as well but if you see that the play pause button is coming in a column direction but we want in a row direction all right so to make this possible so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy this style uh, container name okay and let's style this so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make flex direction as a row okay once we make it the flex direction as a row i'm gonna make uh, again 
okay i'm gonna not gonna do anything else because all line item center is already applying from the top so we i'm not gonna do again but uh let me again write it as well so align items will be center okay now after that uh let's go back now once we go to the previous uh, previous button so here what we gonna do we gonna see that if uh, it's plays true okay let's suppose if some property is true so we gonna show the uh, pause button as we gonna show the uh, play button as well so i'm gonna write like that case as well so play is play and pause and here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write like this all right and if you see that we are getting some error okay so let's make it like this instead of having a single braces we're gonna need a double braces double curly braces and we're gonna add a one uh, you know one thing that is called true property if it's true then we're gonna have a pause button some kind of so it's gonna be a basically a one condition that will check that if song is playing then so the pause button else so the the player button okay now if you see that uh, we can get rid of this true question mark and if it's true then we're gonna render the pause button else if we're gonna show the play button okay now let's see on the figma all right now as you can see that we are able to see the play button or play icon all right now let's go to the again back so we had created the component go to previous button and go to uh, next now we have to create another button that is called go to next button to create that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy this component name all right so let me copy this component name okay now after that i'm gonna you know come to the below of this code and i'm gonna write go to uh, next button or go to next button go to next button all right and instead of having a previous i'm gonna name it forward i think so forward and now if you see that we are not able to see anything on the ui because we are not rendering something on the ui uh, like we are not rendering this component all right so now let's render this as well so we went to the we went to the floating player okay now inside the floating player what uh, we are having a one player control container and inside that we are having uh, now we are going to import this go to next button component as well like this now as you can see that we are able to see uh, three icon okay but this uh, this last icon is looking too weird so let's go to the go to next button okay now we're gonna search uh, this forward icon so instead of having a play i'm gonna search a forward or next icon so for the next i'm gonna use this icon uh, i'm gonna use a uh, forward icon all right so let me copy this again and let's go to the this here and i'm gonna use like this extension so let's use it as well forward icon oh uh, that's looking too weird so i'm gonna use the font awesome six instead of having a material community icons all right now if you see that it's still looking too weird which i don't prefer it okay so i'm gonna use this uh, forward step instead of having a forward so i'm gonna again make it zoom let's go you know zoom out and here i'm gonna write for a uh, forward step okay now let's check on the figma now as you can see that we are able to see this font awesome six icon all right but you know to let's make a consistency so i'm gonna use the font awesome six icon only so instead of having a material community icons we're gonna use font awesome six icon and here we are going to use uh, the place of name uh, we had passed up some pakistani name so i'm gonna pass some uh, you know indian name as well all right so let's do that as well so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to the react native vectors icons and i'm gonna search a uh, backward back backward okay now if you see the backward we are getting this stuff backward icon so i'm gonna use this icon as well so use that i'm gonna write replace it air okay now if you see on the figma we are able to see that all the icons but we can't see any gap the all the contents are overlapping to each other so let's go to the floating player we are having flare control container and here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write gap is a 25 if i write the cap as a 25 now you can see that there are some gap between this 
icon all right so i'm gonna make it instead of having 25 i'm gonna make it 20. you can you know uh, modify this height and width accordingly you okay now same for this uh, forward so i'm gonna use the same icon for the forward okay so i'm gonna use this uh, font awesome 6 a uh, forward icon font awesome 6 forward instead of having a forward step so let's use that as well so let's go to the flare controller here we are having a font awesome 6 okay and i'm having uh, this uh, forward icon okay so let's add this forward icon as well so quickly i'm i'm just added here okay now let me reload this now if you see that the font size or uh, the icon size looking too much bigger which is not good for me which i really feel all right so to define a height of this icon what we gonna do i'm gonna add one property that is called size okay so let's add a size property and here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write a property icon saw is dot medium okay now let's add the icon saw is medium and same for this uh go to the next button as well and we're gonna have a, a hair as well for this uh play ball button as well so i'm gonna make it uh, icon size dot a medium okay now if you see on the figma we are able to see that as well now let's go to the player control container instead of having a gap as a 20 i'm gonna make it a gap of 10 all right now after that we're gonna need some a march some padding a uh, vertical padding uh, right as well padding right will be a uh, spacing dot uh, large okay so it's gonna need some spacing as well now you can see that we are having both all three icons here like the previous icon play boss icon and this you know the next icon but we need some you know a padding right as well so we're gonna add that as well but uh, what i'm gonna do you know i'm gonna make the play boss icon is a larger size instead of having me smaller let's see how it's gonna look in the larger side i think play boss icon should be large will looks much more better what do you think guys i think so so now after that what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna you know the padding was uh, let's make the cap is a 20 at as it was already and after that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add some padding right okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add uh, spacings dot uh, small let's see how it's gonna look so i added the padding dot is small uh, it's not looking so good let me uh, make it large lg and now let's check it out yeah it's looking better but if you see that this floating player height is not looking too good so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make the height of this you know uh maybe 60 let's see yeah 60 is looking better what, what do you think guys and if you see that on the touchable opacity it's you know totally get height if we click on touchable opacity so what i'm gonna do whenever we click on touchable opacity it's not totally gonna uh you know zero the opacity becomes zero so with i'm not gonna make it totally zero so let's go to the touchable opacity and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write active opacity will be 0 0.085 all right now if you click on code to previous button you can see that it's only leaking uh, clickable but it's not totally hiding from the ui but if you see play ball it's like you know totally hiding so let's uh, you know add active opacity to all the buttons okay so i'm gonna add this here as well and in the next button as well all right now before that uh, what else we need we're gonna make this you know a clickable as well so whenever user click on floating player it should open a player screen so uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back to the floating player and instead of having a, a touchable uh, view i'm gonna make it touchable opacity like this uh, touchable opacity okay and here i'm gonna also make this touchable opacity in the bottom as well all right now if you click on this you can see that it's totally hiding so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna again here also applying active opacity active opacity as a 0 0.85 all right let's see yeah we can see awesome now if you see there uh, what else we can do for here let's open the figma quickly so if you if i open the figma so okay now all the button is working now let's me exp explain the whole code what is happening and how we had done that first of all we went to the home screen here after the flat list we are imported the floating player component and make sure to add a flex is a one to the container all right now after importing the fl floating player component let's go to the floating player inside the floating player we are having a touchable opacity 
inside the touchable opacity we are having our image as you can see this image okay now after the image we are having uh, this title container Insta inside the title container we are having a title and the artist uh, all right now after that we are having uh, another thing that is called go to previous button which we had created another component and here we are passing the size property with the help of size uh, it's uh, taking the height uh, taking the height of the icon so we went to the uh, go to previous button so by default if there is no size if you're not passing any size to it will took a excel size or uh, let's make this larger size if there is no size basically if you're just using this component go to previous button and we are not passing icon we are not passing the size so by default what is going to happen it will took the larger size of the icon all right now after this touchable opacity we are inside the touchable opacity we are having a font awesome six we are using this like we are just rendering this icon okay and we are passing the sizes dynamically so it could be a large or whatever the size we are passing and we added the class dot icon dot primary same for the play pause icon so here which what we had done inside the font awesome six uh, we are having checking that if if it's playing basically uh, there will be a boolean value so if it's playing like we can create a variable like this const is playing uh, like this uh, true if it's true then what are gonna do we gonna show the uh, pause button all right and if it's not uh, playing so we're gonna to show the uh, play button so i'm gonna also show you quickly so if i make it false so you can see that is playing is false though, and then we are showing the pause button all right so we will also implement this functionality all right now after that we are having a go to next button okay now you can see that just a forward icon nothing else and we are having a touchable opacity now let me open the figma and if you see on the floating player uh, first of all we have to add this slider you know this uh, slider as well and after that we're gonna have a you know this moving text as well so before uh, that let's add this you know slider okay to add the slider uh, the package which i'm gonna use that package name is called react native awesome slider all right so you have to search react native awesome slider and make sure to write npm as well so it went to the npm page okay so let me open this react native awesome slider why we are using react native awesome slider because we have to design this slider all right now as you can see that this is the react native awesome slider which is uh, an awesome react native slider component for by powered by react native reanimated v2 and react native gesture angular all right so first of all if you're installing this if you are going to use this awesome slider package so you have to first of all install the uh, awesome slider and after that you have to, okay before that you have to also install the reanimated to and react native gesture handler as well all right so first you have to follow ins uh, installation instruction of reanimated v2 and react native gesture handler all right so what we're gonna do first of all before installing this package react native awesome slider we are going to install this reanimated package and react native gesture handler all right so let's open the reanimated v2 uh, let's you have to click on this uh, link it, it will open this website react native reanimated or you can search, search google it react native reanimated after that you have to click on get started once you click on get, get started you have to scroll down here and we are using you know react native cli so you have to just copy this command npm install react native reanimated so let me copy this command after that you have to stop our emulator so i'm gonna stop my emulator and i'm gonna just paste this command after uh, once you install the react native reanimated if you see on the website so what we have to do add reanimated babel plugin okay so what we have to do we have to add this line of code react native reanimated plugin to your babel.config.js file okay so let me show you babel.config.js file so i'm gonna collapse all the file folder after that if you see that there is one file that is called babel.config.js click on that you can see that we are having module.exports presets and what he is telling you have to create another variable another key that is called plugin and inside the plugins you have to add this string okay so let's add that so i'm gonna create one string plugins and after that i'm gonna create one array okay now if you see on the browser so we have to copy this line of code okay or you can copy this line of code whatever you are comfortable okay now once you copy that you gonna add that as well here like this okay so what does people usually mistake 
people use you know people just copy this line of code and then paste it here so that's a long so please add a one key plugins and inside that keys the value will be react native reanimated plugin make sure that all right so this is how we install the react native reanimated and before once you install this uh, you know uh, server so make sure you start with the reset by by resetting your cache okay is they are suggesting okay now after that once you install this is how we install the react native reanimated let me summarize it once more first of all we have to install react native reanimated after that you have to go inside the babel.config.js file you have to create one key that is called plugins if there is not already and after that you have to add this key like you know after that inside the array you have to add the value like this as you can see that please don't mistake it all right after that uh, what you guys have to do whenever you start your server so you have to use this command npm start reset cache so if there is already some cache it will get removed now let's go back to the react native awesome slider npm website here first of all as they have told that first you have to follow installation instruction of reanimated we are done with the reanimated now we have to install the react native gesture handler let's click on this now we went to the react native gestural handler website declarative api exposing platform native touch and gestural system to react native okay now let's click on get it started once you click on get it started uh, you have to scroll down scroll down as you can see the some some of the code but we are not going to use you have to click on installation you can click the installation from here or you can also click the on the installation from the top okay that's up to you now once you're done with that after that you have to copy this command npm install react native gestural handler so i'm gonna copy this command okay as you can see that this is the command or if you're using yarn so you can use yarn but i'm using npm so i'm just gonna copy this command okay and i'm gonna paste this command in inside my emulator so let me show you again okay npm install save react native gestural handler and let's put let's press the enter so it will install this gestural handler package as well once you're done with that what they are suggesting that after installation wrap your entry point your gestural handler root u or gestural handler root high order component so what we have to do we have to import gestural handle root u inside the root app component like this and we have to wrap our content like this okay so first of all let's copy this line of code let's go to the app.jsx okay before that let me start my server as well so let me go to the this website this is the command to start the cache so let me type this as well so i'm gonna type npm start reset oh, my bad reset after that what we have uh, we are having also dash as well reset and after that a reset cache okay cache npm start reset cache so it will start the server by resetting the cache okay now what where where we are uh, if you see that you know we are here like installation of react native gestural handler so they are telling that we have to uh, wrap our app component like this so let me copy this line of code let's go to the app.jsx and also let me start the server as well so meanwhile it will it will start you know it will start the emulator as well like you know it will install the app with this all the stuff now let me make the terminal size smaller now let's go to the app.jsx as they have told me that first of all you have to import this gestural handle root you from the react native gestural handle after that you have to you know wrap this content so i'm gonna wrap this as well like gestural handle root view like this and let me close that as well like this after that i'm gonna copy this line of code and i'm gonna you know wrap this whole code like this gestural handle root view okay now if you see that we had imported from the react native gestural handler and after that here i have to add one property that is called style flex is a one so i'm gonna copy this and and let's add this style is equal to flex is a one okay so this is how we set up the react native gestural handler now let's see that is our react native reanimated working well and react native gestural handler has been set up successfully or not if it's had not successfully perfectly so it's gonna throw some error so let's see before that let me summarize that as well what we had done uh, first of all 
we went to the browser we search react native awesome slider npm so we went to the website of uh, react native awesome slide npm package so we went to open, open that now to install this package or to use this package we had to install some packages the first package name is called react reanimated and react native gesture handler to set up the reanimated what we had done we had click on get started after that uh, we got this command npm install react native reanimated we had copied this command after that we went to the babel.config.js file we had created one key a plugins key and inside the array we had just copied this string all right now once we st uh, after that whenever we start our server we start the server by resetting our cache all right and after that uh, to install the gestal handler we again click on this website after that we went to the some some website and we have to click on this installation once we click on installation we scroll down we copy this command npm install save react native gestal handler I had copied this command and after that we went to the app app component In, inside the app component we wrap our content with the gestural handle root view and we had also import the gestural handle root view from the react native gestural handler and we make the style is equal to flex is a one all right now if you see on the app our app is perf working perfectly well all right we are not getting error it means that our react native gestural handler and Re react native reanimated has been successfully completed now the next thing which we have to install and the major thing which why we had installed the reanimated and react native gestural handler that is for this package react native awesome slider so let me copy this uh, line of code and let me paste that react native uh, awesome slider okay before that let me summarize it once more guys why we are using you know why i installed the reanimated react native gestural handler because it required for this uh, this package okay but we are also gonna create this drawer navigator if you see on the figma we are having this drawer navigator all right for this drawer navigator we also need a uh, gestural handler so that package is gonna work for this as well so that's why we are using react native gestural handler and react native reanimate okay uh, are we gonna use any more uh, any more places for the react native reanimated yeah we are going to use react native reanimated for this moving text all right we want the moving text basically if the text size is larger than the content or like you know this is space so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make this content movable okay so we also gonna do that but before that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna you know create this uh, floating player like you know this slider let's create the slider now as you can see that our app is running perfectly now let's go to the source let's go to the component and let's go to the floating player inside the floating player we have to use this uh what we have to use awesome slider for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna you know uh, add cop cut this code completely and inside here i'm gonna add one view like this all right now paste this code again now after this view uh let me do one thing now if you go to the website react native awesome slider and if you scroll down so they are telling that to use this slider you gonna have this all the things so first of all uh, i'm gonna add you know const progress is equal to use shared value mean value and the max value so i'm gonna copy this code all right now after that i'm gonna paste that code as well okay and now i'm gonna import this use shared value from the react native reanimated all right i'm gonna you know i imported the react use shared value from the react native reanimated now once we're done with that we are having a slider so let me copy this line of code and again i'm gonna uh, having another view okay for the slider like this and i'm gonna paste that and make sure to import the slider from the react native awesome slider as well okay so let's see i imported the react native awesome slider i imported the react native slider from this uh, react native awesome slider now as you can see that we are able to see this slider on the top all right and this is looking quite bit well okay but if you see on this image uh, it's overlapping you know the image is on the top of this uh, height and width so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to the Im cover image and i'm gonna make this uh, height much more decreased now let's give a shot so i'm gonna make it 70 so still if you see that this uh, this is not looking well so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make it 50 and let's give a shot 
okay as you can see that this content is going inside that so first of all let's uh, do that all the things so first of all uh, I think do we have to increase the height as well yeah the height is like you know here it seems the height is quite bit smaller so we're gonna style that as well so it's style this uh, uh, you know this slider we gonna go to the this website react native awesome slider and here you can see that we are having a theme object and inside the theme object we can decide like you know we can change all the things whatever we want okay so you can use this color Let's, let me copy this color uh, theme object and after that i'm gonna paste that code okay now you can see that we are having we become the, the color has been changed all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove this uh quickly comment this whole code okay so first of all we need this color you know the minimum tint color okay the minimum tint color what is minimum tint color minimum tint color means like whatever the path ha whatever the is uh path or like you know whatever the uh, things uh, it has been played that is called minimum tint color so if i make minimum tint color as a black so it become this you know black all right so let's make this like this colors dot uh, colors dot minimum uh, do we have minimum tint color let's see on the colors object so i'm gonna open this colors no i had not added this minimum tint color key so i'm gonna add one key that is called minimum minimum uh, minimum tint uh, color all right and we're gonna have a uh, as well maximum tint color so maximum tint color max maximum tint color now if you open the figma what is the color of minimum and the maximum the maximum tint color is now almost white so if we can get this color by like this uh, sorry my minimum tint color is white so i just paste it out and if you see on the again figma the maximum tint color is this color okay now to get this what we gonna do i'm gonna create one square like this and how you can get this color to get this color you have to click on this object now click on this because and after that click on this okay again you can select this I uh, icon as well like if you want like this okay now once you're done with that you have to copy this color code and this is how we get get the color code but by default if you see that we are get the color code of this triple five bca so you can just use it as well so minimum maximum tint color is like this color now if you see on the figma if you see here uh, we are not able to see anything all right now let's go to the floating player so let's add this uh, colors dot minimum uh, minimum tint color okay and also we gonna have a uh, maximum tint color maximum uh, track tint color will be colors dot maximum tint color okay now as you can see that this looking well as we have defined on the figma now again let's go to the, this awesome slider oh uh, now what we want to do guys basically we want to increase the height okay so here you can see that here we are having a style property and here we can use that as well so let's copy this style property so i just copy this style property and uh, i'm gonna remove this whole code like we don't want else code right now okay uh, to increase the height of this you know slider i just found that on this website that is called one property that is called container style so let's see that so if you see that we are having a theme object theme property theme props border color minimum maximum sliding render thumb render mask bubble text okay and we are having a container style so let me copy this container style after that i'm gonna add a height so let's add a height of 20 if i want to make it 20 all right now as you can see that it becomes too much longer which i don't prefer it now let's make it uh, 10 i think 10 is also not looking well and if i make it by default uh, by default is looking well like i think so what do you think guys uh, i think by default is looking still good so i'm not gonna do any changes here so uh, if you see there uh, okay let me do like this undo this and if you see here like what the thing we are having here uh, this image this image is coming on the top of this slider which i don't prefer it okay so how we can override it so okay so what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna add any height because the height is looking well which i feel right now because after giving the height 
okay now uh, if you see this uh, container so this image we want the the this uh, slider to be should be on the top of image not below the image so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a one property style is equal to and z index z index gonna be one if i add one so as you can see that the image is like you know go to the top below of the this slider all right now after that uh, let's go to the this uh, you know this uh, image uh, this floating player and what else we gonna do uh, what else what else uh, okay so the cover image is like you know almost height is a 50 50 and i'm gonna make it if 70 70 so what's gonna happen uh, it's looking too weird which i don't like it so let's make it 60 60 and i'm gonna make this you know resize mode resize mode as a cover uh cover uh, cover 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 okay all right resize must a cover all right now okay before that let me also guys you teach you know how to this make is customizable if you want to make this customizable because one of the most crucial thing that is as well so yeah you know this is working well i'm i'm not telling that we're gonna modify this i'm gonna just you know before that i'm gonna commit this code as well so we're gonna come to the this stage as well so i'm gonna just you know commit this as well created a floating uh, player player created floating player all right and let's click on commit okay now if you see on this you know let's see try to you know how to make it much more customizable all the things whatever we want okay so if you see that uh, we don't want to show that you know bubble uh, text okay so if you see that uh, we are having this knee uh, theme style border color progress cache uh, minimum maximum on sliding start on value change render bubble okay render bubble means this is the component like if you want to change this bubble this is the bubble and if you want to make it something customizable so you can uh, definitely make a customizable component as well like uh, I think like this we have to pass a component like this if I'm not wrong and here we can whatever you want to make you can make it like that okay so that totally up to you render bubble is not a function and we have to pass a component here instead of ha having a this uh direct component so we can have a this like this and if i make it a view we can't see uh, we can see that the same thing okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna if i make it text uh something like this and if i click on this so we can't see the, you know this is a bubble on the top which we we are seeing so again let me show you this is bubble uh okay whatever the slider we are having so we don't if you don't want this bubble uh, you can get rid of this bubble by just uh returning the null so as you can see the currently we are seeing uh 57 64 78 29 so what i'm gonna do instead of having a 0 to 100 i'm gonna make it 0 to 1 if i make it 0 to 1 the value we're gonna change from you know let me reload this quickly now if i reload this uh if you see that on the top we are getting zero to you know on the top like this so if you if you don't want to show this bubble the top bubble you can get rid of this so i don't want to show this bubble so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna return the null to return the null what i'm gonna do i'm gonna like this uh, return null okay or like we can have a uh, what else we can do we can do like just like null let's see it's working or not yeah we my god let me reload this and let's check it out now you can see that still it's rendering the bubble so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just return a one view component which is quite bit uh weird but let's see now if you see we are get rid of this render bubble component okay now if you want to customize this thumb as well so you can customize that as well because we are having a one property that is called render thumb so if you want to you know do anything with the thumb like you want to add a custom thumb let's suppose if i want to make it custom thumb so how we can do it so like this uh we're gonna return a component all right and here i'm gonna add a view like this okay and inside this view i'm gonna add uh, some color like style is equal to background uh, color will be red this is just showing for you guys to make it much more customizable if you want now you can see that we are not getting anything uh, like the thumb is getting has been removed so we can add some height uh, okay like this we can add some height height like you know 25 uh, 
width will be also 25 like this okay now as you can see that still we are not able to see uh, because I done some mistake maybe okay so basically you can using this props render thumb you can customize this as well all right so i'm gonna get rid of this okay why we're not able to see this code because we have not added uh, this code translate x gonna be uh if i make it 10 let's see uh, still i can't see that it's not a big deal so basically using this prop render thumb prop uh, property you can make it customizable so that's totally up to you if you want to make it much more uh, customizable you can make it all right so let me summarize this what we had done uh, in this uh, floating player so first of all uh, we went to the this uh, let me close this again and let me explain you from the beginner so we are having uh, inside the floating player we are having a uh, one view inside this view we had a uh, create another view inside that view uh, we are given the style is a jet index is a one to make the content on the top of this you know this this content come on the top of the rest of the content okay after that we are having a slider uh, style dot container and we are having a, a container okay now let's add a container as well so slider a container if you want to make it like slider container that's totally up to you but i don't want to give any styling okay and after that we are we are having a progress so the, we are creating one state here like using the use state value why you, why you not using use state value why you're using use shared value the main reason behind uh, this is like you know i'm using a uh, use shared value instead of having a uh, uh, use state because use shared value will help us to make this thing animated and it will give a smooth transition kind of stuff and if i'm using react native uh, awesome slider so you have to use a uh, use shared value okay now after that we have defined a three state progress state minimum state and the maximum state inside the slider object we are having a a progress value minimum value and the maximum value we are having also a theme object inside the theme we are having maximum track tint color and minimum track tint color okay so minimum three track tint color is this color the first color which this is the man minimum tint color and the maximum tint color is this one uh, this uh, rest of the content okay after that we are having container style so if you want to you know uh, add some height like this height gonna be 10 so you can add the container style like this that totally up to you but we are not we don't need container style so you can make it container style we're gonna have another property that is called render bubble to so render the content on the top of this like you know how many second has been played using the render bubble we are having also another uh, props that is called render thumb to customize the thumb as well as you need okay and after that uh, we are having a one touchable opacity this is a touchable opacity here we had done uh, first of all we have already seen this right so we are having an image inside that title title and artist name and button container okay now if you see the text like chaff and dust if we increase the text size let's suppose if i'm gonna increase the title of the song and uh, and uh, ellen walker let's suppose so what's gonna happen if you see that it's gonna be you know went to the bottom but what we can do if you see on the real music player so they have a moving text okay so what we gonna do we gonna make a moving text component to create a moving text component what we are going to do first of all let me close all the files collapse all the folders after that i'm gonna go to the source inside the source we are having components inside here i'm gonna create another component that is called moving text.jsx all right now create a component to create a component we are going to use r n f e s command all right now after that uh, how we can do it so for that i'm gonna create uh, one here animated dot text so animated okay so for animated i'm gonna import animated from the react native reanimated as you can see that all right now after that i'm gonna add a animated dot uh, text because we're gonna use we're gonna use the animated dot text after that we're gonna define the number of lines number of uh, number of lines will be one okay and uh, we're gonna add some styling to the hair to make this animated all right so let's do like that as well so style gonna be uh, an array okay and the first style which we're gonna create we're gonna create animated style okay so we need an animated style object to create an animated style what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one uh, variable called animated style here we're gonna have use animated style 
use animated style hook so we had imported the use animated style from the react native reanimated and it's gonna be uh, one you know hook like this after that it's gonna took a one you know callback function so we're gonna pass the one callback function like this okay once you pass the callback function we're gonna return a uh, one object like this we're gonna return one object and here we are having a transform value okay and the transform value will be dynamic like this to so transform is gonna be uh, returning an array and inside the array we are having a, a basically a translate x okay because we are translating we are you know translating to the x direction you know in a horizontal direction that's why we are having a transform value is translate x and it could be what is gonna value be so we're gonna define the value like here so what we are going to do basically we're gonna create one state uh, the state will be const translate uh, translate uh, translate x and it's gonna be uh, use shared. I'm gonna use use shared value and by default the value will be zero all right so my bad trans uh, trans translate x okay and let's pass this value translate x to the this translate x okay so translate x dot value okay now first of all what we had done till here uh, we had created one component moving text component here we had created the one uh, animated view anime sorry animated dot text okay inside the anim animated dot text we have passed the number of lines as a one and another, another property which we are having that is called style property and style value is you know, an, an array where we are passing the animated style okay and after that uh, we gonna have uh, after that we gonna create our animated style object as you can see that we had created the use animated style because to make the you know animated style we have to use this hook use animated style okay inside that uh, we are ha we had passed one callback function as you can see that inside the callback function we are returning one uh, object where we are having a transform and inside the transform the value is like you know translate x and the translate x value is like that we had created one is variable const tran translate x and we are getting we are using the use z value and by default we had passed the value of zero okay and we are having a translate x dot value all right now after that uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna make this component dynamically dynamic all right to make the component dynamic what we are going to do first of all we gonna ask the text the text the text which we gonna need we gonna need from the component let's suppose whatever place we are going to use we gonna uh, ask the text so let's suppose i'm gonna take the text from this uh whatever whatever place we are using it all right now after the text we are also need animation trace animation threshold okay what is animation threshold i will explain you quickly as well so animation threshold and another thing is that con could be style okay so animation thread threshold means basically what is that means that uh, after the if the text dot length okay let's suppose i pass the animation threshold will be 10 so we'll check that okay let me show you guys quickly so first of all what i'm gonna do uh, as we have already up translate x value after that we're gonna check that should we animate or not okay should we uh, make this uh, text movable or not for that we are using animation threshold and text so basically how it's gonna be we're gonna check that if text dot length okay if text dot uh, length is greater than okay if it's greater than animation threshold it means uh, let's suppose I'm I'm having a text okay the text size is 20 or 20 let's suppose the text size is 25 and if I pass the animation threshold as a 10 means animation threshold means the this uh, this view can only took 10 tags okay so we are passing that if text dot length is greater than animation threshold it means that then only you have to animate otherwise you don't have to animate you don't have to move this text make sense we'll also you know tell you guys one more two times so it will much become much more clear after that uh, i'm gonna write i'm gonna take the text width text width uh, how we can text the text width we're gonna write text dot length okay into three to get the text width like this and why we are using the text width we we gonna use it somewhere else so first of all after that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one use effect hook okay inside the use effect hook i'm gonna you know create uh, like this this is a use effect hook 
so when, when, whenever the component mount on the ui so use effect will get execute or will will, will get called after that inside the use effect hook i will check that if should animate if should animate is false all right if should animate is false okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna return this component i'm gonna return this i'm not gonna do anything further okay basically we don't want to make this movable movable text so we gonna return this like this all right now if it's not if we have to make animation now we have to make animation we have to make animation if should animate is false means we don't have to animate this now else otherwise we have to animate this to animate this what we gonna need we gonna need translate x translate uh, x translate x dot value we gonna uh, set the translate x dot value how we can set the you know how we can set the value basically i'm gonna use one uh, function that is called with uh, delay uh, with delay that is coming from this react native reanimated with delay okay so after some certain delay like the delay will could be a thousand millisecond basically after one second you have to repeat you have to repeat so i'm using another function or another hook that is called with repeat okay inside the with repeat i'm gonna passing of one another uh, function that is called with timing with timing all right so inside the uh, okay first of all with relay function took the first of all seconds and after that we are passing a uh, with repeat function and inside the with repeat i'm passing the with timing function okay and here what i'm gonna do after the text width whatever the text width is that that is the timing okay and after that i'm gonna another object inside the object i'm gonna pass the duration the duration could be 5000 millisecond one two three okay 5000 milliseconds and easy so i'm gonna pass another uh, key that is called easing and i'm gonna pass that easing dot uh, easing dot linear okay using dot uh, linear like this okay and after that after this object after this you know function i'm passing that it should be uh, you know you can, you can see that the number of reps okay reverse so basically it should be reverse okay and after that i'm gonna pass another object that is called true so this is the you know uh, with repeat animation so if you understand that it's telling that it's reverse or not okay my bad so here minus one is stand for this infinite time infinite time so basically this will uh, animate this infinite time and another prop this is true prop it means that do you want a uh, should reverse or not should reverse or not okay so if i understand you guys let me ex explain you whole things quickly so first of all we had created this component moving text component here we are uh, getting the text animation threshold and style okay now after that uh, we had created one state that is called translate x using the use shared value because why you are using use shared value because we are going to animate that after the use shared value we had created another state another variable that is called should animate it could be a boolean value so we are checking that if text dot length is greater than the animation threshold okay basically if the text length is 25 and we had passed the animation threshold as a 20 so it should animate otherwise if uh, if text dot length is 10 and anim animation threshold is 15 so it should not animate all right now after this we are having another uh, property another uh, uh, variable that is called const text suite all right here we are checking that text dot length is greater than uh, we are you know creating one state variable text dot length into three okay and after that we had created the one hook use effect hook here we are checking that if should animate is uh, false then return do nothing otherwise you have to go you know what you have to do you have to write like this translate x dot value translate x dot value we have to uh, set the value here so what we gonna do we gonna uh, i use a function called with delay function here we are passing a milliseconds like after what delay so we are passing a after one second delay you have to repeat this you have to repeat this at what timing this is the timing text read whatever the timing you have to repeat this uh, uh like with the timing of this whatever the timing it could be like it could be 12 or 13 whatever and duration the duration is 5000 milliseconds so it could be a 5000 millisecond and after that the animation type is like easing easing dot linear okay and till what time it should run it should run to the infinite time 
and it should be reversed like you know if the text will be chop like it went to the like this and again it's like this okay now after that we had created a uh, animated style okay and use animated style we are using use animated style hook uh, to style this uh, to pass this styling like this after that we are returning one object the transform uh, as a key and the value is translate x translate x dot value whatever the translate x dot value so it will uh, automatically get changed like you know so first of all when we are calling this function we are calling this function uh, uh, we are calling we are, whenever, uh, we are calling this uh, use effect hook so whenever the translate x value get changed uh, the text value get changed and animation threshold value get changed or if the text would get changed all right so at that all the point we are calling we are you know calling the use effect we had passed a dependency element so whenever the tra tra translate x value get changed so we are calling this whenever the text value get changed you are calling this okay let me add one more thing if you guys don't understand this you know uh, once you go so what you have to do you have to watch this video one more time otherwise you have to just copy this code paste that on chat gpt and tell him to explain this code line by line it will explain that as well all right now after this uh, let's do one thing uh, after this animated dot text we are having a style right and after that we what we gonna do we gonna pass the style as well if there we are having any style if you are passing any extra style for the text text we have to also add that as well now after that we gonna check that if should animate is true okay if should animate is true so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, add one another style that is called width width will be you know triple line like infinite time like the total width it's gonna take the total width of the screen and after that we gonna have a padding left padding left will be almost 16 so it will have a uh, some padding left from the 16 okay now to use this component what we have to do we have to copy this component let's go to the floating player component here we are having a this text all right so i'm gonna comment this code i'm gonna comment this title after that uh, let me you know import this moving text component so i just imported it moving text component as, as you can see that i had imported the moving text component from this moving text after that let's go here so if you see that cannot reach property of length all right so we have to pass the first thing that is called text the text could be a uh, chop and dust and ellen walker ellen let's suppose like that and after that you can see that we are not able to see any text because we had not applied a style so let me copy this style so i'm gonna copy this style and paste that style as well okay now let's see so as you can see that now we are able to see this moving text but it's not moving right now let's go to the again moving text component now we have we are having a text let me copy this text and here you can see that we are passing we had just passed this uh, this value so i'm gonna remove this uh, text component and here we have to pass like this text okay now as you can see that we are getting this value but it's not movable all right so how we can make this movable so for that we gonna uh, need another property that is called animation threshold the animation threshold if it could be 15 if i make it 15 let's see what gonna happen okay reanimated the easing function is not worklet please make sure you import easing from react native reanimated okay so basically i am using this easing but i had not imported it so let me import this easing uh, dot linear okay so basically what mistake i has done i had imported the easing from the react native that was that's why it's throwing error so we have to remove this easing from the react native all right and again let me import it from the react native reanimated okay so make sure to also import these things in a right manner all right now if you see this what is going to happen what is happening uh, this text is coming on the top of this image okay so i just figured it out like you know why the text is going on the top of this image basically inside the title container we have to use one property so if i show you guys let me explain you guys once more so we are having a this you know title container inside the title container we are having a moving text okay so inside the title container what we have to do we have to add a property that is called overflow property and due to that uh, we had not added the overflow property that's why it's coming on the top of the image so we had added the overflow hidden property now if you see this uh, uh, this you know uh, this is going inside the image this is not looking well so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add this you know margin uh, 
basically margin left property and here it will be spacing dot uh, large spacing dot if I make it small spacing dot small let's see spacing dot small okay now you can see that all right after that uh, if you see that this content is also not we want some margin uh, right direction as well so let's add uh, some margin so first of all I'm gonna remove this padding right because it's not working it's not expected uh, because I was doing in wrong right manner all right so I'm gonna add uh, this margin right and margin right will be spacing dot uh, large if I'm gonna make it large let's see okay so now you can see that it's looking well all right so this is how we create this uh, moving text component in react native all right this is looking awesome all right if I make the text smaller let's suppose if I'm if I'm gonna make the text uh, smaller let's suppose I'm gonna just make it cheap and just okay still it's uh, you know it's uh, uh, movable because we're gonna make this you know animation threshold as a 10 okay and now basically uh, okay let's do like this if animation threshold will be 20 if the uh, okay we had to make the animation threshold as 20 but if you see that the text went to the this uh, this is looking well all right so if the text size is more than 20 so it will only animate so you can adjust the size or adjust the things accordingly uh, you but uh, i think it's looking well for now okay so if you want to increase that uh, to 20 or 70 that's totally up to you you can increase or decrease it so ideally i'm gonna make it 15 okay okay all right so let me explain this code uh, all the things whatever we had done till it from floating player to you know this uh, slider and this all the things so first of all let me okay why am i revising the things in uh, imp like maximum like you know more times because it will help to understand the code okay and if you uh, go through that like that will be really great so please uh, listen this trick carefully once again so first of all we went to the home screen inside the home screen we are having a flat list as you can see that we are rendering this another fl uh, flat list inside that but at least we are having a flat list where we are looping the items okay after that we are having a floating player this is the floating player let's go to the floating player inside that we are having a three state uh, using the progress mean max using the use shared value the uh, mean value like you know uh, the progress is like you know 0 0.2 so we had defined the progress value as 0 0.2 mean value is 0 and max value is 1 all right now after that we are having a view inside the view we are having a slider view where we have passed the z index as a one after that we are having a slider and we have uh, uh, you know we have i mean a style style is equal to style dot slider container here we don't have any style because it's already it's looking well okay now after that we had passed a progress value mean value and the max value we had passed the theme the mini main thin color and the max thin color and we have also having a bubble color so this is the bubble you know on the top is you can see that okay I'm sorry the bubble we are not showing the bubble and this is the thumb if you want to customize it you can customize it as well after that we are having a touchable opposite this is a touchable opacity where we are having a image the first the first image okay and after that we are having a artist name okay like basically the title no sorry the title and where we have defined the title and also we are having a movable uh, title if the text size is greater than the this uh, 15 okay if the text size is 15 then it will become animated let's let's add it and ellen walker okay and ellen walker it should it will start animating all right now after that we are having a artist name as well so as you can see that ellen walker all right now after that uh, we are having a three button go to previous button play boss button and go to next button now we are having a moving text component here we are passing a three props text animation threshold and style property now let's go to the moving text component so first of all we are reading the text animation threshold and style whatever the custom style of text after that we had created the translate x value is equal to use said value is equal to zero should animate text dot length okay and after that text width is equal to like this and if should animate is false then we are just returning it like this all right now after that we are checking that we are uh, no, uh, updating the value of translate x dot value using the width delay function so we are with use, we are using a width delay function here we are passing a thousand millisecond after thousand millisecond you have to repeat this okay you have to repeat this and with the timing of this text width 
okay with that this uh, you're gonna took this time basically you're gonna to you have to took this uh, 5000 milliseconds or like you know whatever that this is the millisecond you have to took this time and duration is like you know 5000 milliseconds okay and after that you are passing a easing property easing dot linear and we are passing minus one that it would move till the infinite time and we are having another property that is called true uh, it should reverse or not basically if we have passed through then it will reverse that all right now after that we have passing the translate x text animation threshold and text width but here we have after that uh, here we had forget one thing that is called to add a cleaner function okay add a cleaner function okay so let add a cleaner function as well to add a cleaner function what we have to do we have to write like this return okay like this and after that here we have to write uh, cancel animation and we have to import it from the react native reanimated cancel animation all right now after that uh, what we have to do we have to pass a translate x value okay and after that we have to pass translate x dot value will become zero basically whenever the component get mount it will start animating value okay that will prevent the memory leak that's why we use cleanup function and it's one of the most important interview question as well basically if the this floating player get unmount from the ui the animation should stop that's why we are passing this uh, value or we are using we are written this function all right after the cleanup function we are having a translate we are passing this uh, values basically whenever this value get changed you have to uh, run this use effect as again here we are having a const animated style using the use animated style which is returning one object by having a transform value and translate x is like translate x dot value after that we are having a animated dot text and we had passed the number of lines as a one we had passed the style is equal to animated dot style whatever that is translate x value is coming and we are having a style and should animate okay if it should animate true then we gonna make the width as the uh, triple like nine 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 like infinite size of this screen and padding left will be 16 all right okay after that let's go to the floating player once again and uh, if you see this uh, we are passing this style dot style text style so it's also applying that so this is a uh, this is how we build floating player as you can see that's looking too good what do you think guys it's looking well please let me know how do you rate this ui out of 10 all right and also guys there's one thing i just want to add if you are watching this video till it please add anything comment like if you like my videos so if, if you add any comment anything like if you can write your name anything so it will boost my video so please add a one comment please 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 so we had designed this home screen along with this floating player along with that we had also created this moving text component okay so as you can see that how it's looking great right so let me summarize this once again and after that once we're done with that we are going to create this light screen screen like song screen all right so let me summarize this once more guys what we had done first of all inside the app.jsx uh, we are having a gestural handle root view inside the gestural handle root view we are having a navigation container like this inside the navigation container we have set up the stack navigator and inside that we are having a home screen component which we are showing here inside the home screen we are having first of all header component which we are rendering and after that we are having a, a one flat list and we are just looping this song card with category this is a one component like song card with category we are looping it multiple times using this flat list all right now if you saw the if you saw you guys song card with category quickly so here we are having a category name like recommended for you inside that we are having a flat list that flat list item is like you know in a horizontal direction like horizontally true as you can see that all right and we have also added the item separator component and if we talk about the song called component inside that song called component uh, here here we are having this you know a container inside the container we are having height and width and the cover image which is looking too simple title and the artist name all right now after that uh, uh, after this we had also created this uh, floating player so if i talk about the floating player here we are having a 
वन व्यू एंड लाइक टू व्यू लाइक इन साइड वन व्यू वी आर हैविंग अ टू व्यू द फर्स्ट व्यू इज फॉर स्लाइडर कॉम्पोनेंट दिस इज स्लाइडर कॉम्पोनेंट एंड हैव यू डिफाइन द जेड इंडेक्स इज वन बिकॉज वॉट आर गोना हैपन नो द इमेज द स्लाइडर वॉज यू नो कमिंग ऑन द बिलो ऑफ द इमेज बट वी वॉन्ट द स्लाइडर ऑन द टॉप ऑफ इमेज दैट्स वाई वी आर यूजिंग जेड इंडेक्स प्रॉपर्टी आफ्टर दैट वी आर हैविंग अ स्लाइडर कॉम्पोनेंट एज यू कैन सी दैट एंड वी हैड यूजिंग यू नो स्टाइल दिस स्लाइडर कॉन्टेंट लाइक आई मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग इज लाइक ऑलरेडी स्टाइल्ड सो वी हैड नॉट वर्क लॉट ऑफ वर्क ऑन दैट but yeah we had defined this minimum track tint color and maximum tint color and we had also add this uh, color as well on this color object okay now after that uh, once we design the title we are having another uh, touchable opacity inside that we are first of all rendering the image like this and which is looking quite bit good like not so bad i think looking well what do you think guys it's looking well uh, if you're not looking well you can also you know adjust the image size accordingly your but yeah it's well now after that we are having another view the title container inside that we are having the uh, title the song title as you can see that in the, in a moving text component and after that we are having artist name after that and after that we are having a three component previous button play button and the next button if i show you guys quickly so we are just having a touchable opacity inside that we are use we are just rendering one icon okay and after that if i talk about the moving text component here we are using the use said value you know some kind of animation which is quite bit simpler but let me explain you once more because it's quite be maybe challenging for the first time if you are doing so we are taking you know taking the this uh, all the props the first like you know text props animation threshold value and the style value after that we are having a translate uh, translate x and we are defining use said value is equal to 0 and const should animate we are checking that we have already animate if the text length is greater than the animation threshold value after that we are checking that const tex text width is equal to text dot length into 3 and after that we are having a use effect hook here we here we are checking that if should animate is false then we are just returning that uh, you know we are just returning we are not doing anything else else if it's like you no know, should animate is true then we are just you know updating the translate x value with the some delay after the delay is like you know 1 second and we are repeating that uh, you know that animation with the timing of that text feed and we are having to define a duration as well and we have defined the animation like in easing dot linear to infinite time and should should reverse it as well all right and after that we had a cleanup function so whenever the component get mount so we are calling a cleanup function uh, we are like you know canceling the animation and translate x dot value is become zero we had pass the dependency inside the dependency we have pass some item so basically whenever this item will change our this use effect will run again after that we had created a one object like a variable called animated style which uh, we are here we are using the hook use animated style and it's returning a callback function here we are having transform translate x and translate x dot value after that we are having an animated dot text we have defined the number of lines is a one and we have defined the style is equal to animated style this is the style and style after this style we are passing the text style whatever the style is is coming and if should animated is true basically if uh, we are going to animate that we are passing the width as uh, 999 and padding left is 16 and we are just running the text all right so this is the all things which we had done till at so if you guys have any doubts on this stuff or anything which is not clear or if you facing any issue so we are also attach a uh, you know whatsapp group description link so you can also ask the question here as well all right or you can just ping us anywhere all right now if you talk about uh, another skin that which we are going to design that is called liked screen this is a skin which we are going to design this all right so how we can design this screen to design this screen first of all what i'm going to do uh, so basically to open this component you know if you want to open this like this screen how we can open this you can only open this by clicking on this drawer so if i show you guys how can you open this so inside the drawer you have to click on like zone and that's how it open this screen all right so first of all now for now what we are going to do we are just going to design this screen statically we are not going to create drawer navigator for now we will create the drawer navigator after the player screen okay so first of all let's design this like screen using uh, another method so first of all let's go to the app.jsx as you can see that we are having a stack dot screen for the home screen and we are going to design another uh, screen for the like screen so my bad i'm going to make it like okay let me make it capital uh, right now capital cash like screen okay i created one stack called like screen now 
inside the source app to go and inside the screen we have to create another screen that is called uh, like screen like screen dot jsx like this and after that we have to type r n f e s react native default export style set component okay now let's go to the app dot jsx here we have to import this component like screen all right now if you see that uh, we are still rendering the home screen but i want to work on this like screen and i want to see on the ui is there any way i can see that yeah you can see that screen by you know uh, like this we have to copy this name after that after the screen options object you have to create one uh, you know to add one key that is called initial route name so i'm gonna in add initial route name as a like screen now after that if i reload this app so it will render the like screen component as you can see that all right now let's go to the like screen okay and after that uh, once we go to the like screen if you see that here we have to design this header component here we are having a back icon and here we are having a this equalizer icon okay so for that what i'm gonna do first of all i'm gonna add the background color so i'm gonna add a style is equal to styles dot container container and for the container let's add some property so flex is a one okay so let me add a flex as a one okay and the background color which i want it's you know guys the colors dot background okay now as you can see that we had created this uh, background color all right now after this what else we have to do uh, we have to design this header component to design the header component what else we can do here i'm gonna remove this code and here i'm gonna add a one view and i'm gonna name this style is equal to styles dot header container all right inside the header container we're gonna have a two icon if i show you guys the first icon is back icon and the this uh, equalizer icon so i'm gonna use a touchable opacity okay and here i'm gonna use the icon so uh, let's search the icon for this back icon so i'm gonna so open the react native vectors icon website i already opened that now i'm gonna search uh, arrow icon arrow arrow okay now once i search arrow here you can see that we are having an icon arrow left of and design so i'm gonna use it so let's go on the code and here i'm gonna write and design i'm gonna write the name as well and the name is you know that arrow left all right and make sure to import the and design icon as well so i'm gonna add one key here i i'm gonna add one comments icons and i'm gonna import the and design like this and design from react native vectors icon slash and design all right once you import the and design you had defined the name let's define the color as well so the color will be what color will be colors dot colors dot icon primary okay and we have to also define the height of the icon so i'm going to define the icon height will be size is equal to icon size dot what my bad icon sizes dot uh let's make it medium what do you think guys okay let's open this app app again and now let's check it out how it's looking so you can see that we are able to see this icon icon primary left okay now we want another icon as well so this is the icon if i show you guys uh, this kind of equalizer kind of so let's search for the equalizer icon uh, equalizer equalizer okay so we are having a same you know different kind of icon so i'm gonna use this simple line icons equalizer because we are just have this icon so i'm gonna use simple line icons equalizer okay so you to use that uh, first of all we have to you know uh first of all we have this is the constants okay let me move this constant to the below here like this okay and now we gonna import this uh, simple line icons my bad simple line icons from react native vector vectors icon slash simple line icons all right once you imported the simple line icons you have to do it like this so you know again i'm gonna again copy this whole line of code like this and at the place of the icon in design i'm gonna use simple line icons and at the place of arrow left i'm gonna use equalizer okay now as you can see that we are able to get the both icon as we need 
okay i know it's like you know it's it's uh, on the horizontal diagon and we are having this vertical direction but yeah it's well all right now after that uh, let's go to the below container here we are having container here we are having a con header container what i'm gonna do right now that is called i'm gonna define flex direction as a row okay once you define the uh, flex direction as a row i'm gonna make a justify content as a space uh, between okay now once we add a space between i'm gonna add another property that is called align items uh, align items center okay so once you add the line item centers you can see the item in the center okay but uh, what else we want uh, we want uh, uh, basically we want some padding horizontal as well so let's add a padding horizontally as well so how we can add a padding horizontal so let's add a padding horizontal will be spacing uh, dot uh, spacing dot large or medium i think if okay let's add a padding uh, vertical i think so oh uh, it should be not large it should be medium i think medium will looks better yeah medium is looking better and let's add a padding horizontally as well padding horizontal as well uh i think so looks well looks looking well now we are having a light song uh comp like you know light song header as well so let's add uh, that as well the title so how we can add the title so first of all let me close this header component this is uh, our header component okay let me summarize it once more first of all uh, we had created one component called like a screen okay before that let's go to the hair so first of all here we define initial router name is a like a screen and after that we had created one screen that is called stack dot screen we had defined the name as a like a screen and have it here we are having a component as a like a screen we went to the like a screen first of all we had importing the one view and we had defined the container inside the container we had having a flex as a one background color will be colors dot background okay and after that we are having a header container inside the header container we had defined the flex direction as a row as you can see that and inside that we are having a two touchable opacity and inside that we are having our icons okay icon size is like medium size and the colors is primary okay and we had defined this you know justify contents uh, space between align item center padding vertical padding horizontally okay now once we're done with that what else uh, what next we gonna do uh, let me close this uh, what next we need that is called this uh, song card component like first we need this title like song so let's add this title so i'm gonna add a one text like this okay and here we're gonna need like you no know, liked song so let's add uh, liked songs okay liked songs okay and we're gonna have a style is equal to styles dot uh heading or uh, text okay so if you see that you know in the in the home screen we have all already this design this kind of this is the already you know this is the title screen okay this is the title component the same component we are using here as well so for that what we gonna do i'm gonna you know add the copy the heading text style and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just paste it here and let's uh, see what else what we had add the all the properties so let's go to song card with category here you can see the heading text so let me copy this all the property here but yeah let's see the font size is like you know large size color is text primary font family so let's uh, like write by ourselves again so the font size is what uh, font uh, size dot large okay and the color the color will be what color is like colors dot uh, text primary text uh, primary okay and after that uh, what else we need we want font family the font family is like you know font families dot uh, i think it's bold let's see which is uh, we had yeah we had used bold and we had used the padding horizontal padding vertical as well so let add padding uh, as well and spacing dot uh, large spacing dot large okay so you can see that uh, but uh, still the font size is looking it's quite a bit smaller yeah so we have to use as a place of lg i'm going to use excel okay now uh, you know the padding horizontal instead of having a padding horizontal for the header i'm going to use this padding top oh my bad uh, padding vertically at the place of padding vertically i'm going to use padding top all right now we can see that we are able to see this like song 
text as well so let me explain you once more so we are having a text inside that we are having a heading text so we have defined a font size is equal to font size dot excel color is colors dot text primary font family is dot bold and padding is spacing dot large all right now let's go back again no so what we have to do we have to again like we can we are going to reuse the song called components we have already we have so let's use that quickly uh, to, to use that song card component what I'm gonna do guys so song card like this let's see uh, we are able to see in this uh, kind of view but you know we have to adjust the height and the width of this song card okay so let's do so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a one flat list so let's uh, do like this so flat list I'm, I just uh, create a flat list and we have to create it from uh, react native not from react native gestural handler so first of all I'm gonna get rid of this uh, whole import because I import it from the wrong place so first of all we have to import the touchable opacity from the react native not from the gestural handler and another thing which I was just importing that is called flat list so I also import the flat list from the react native once you import the flat list from the react native here we have to pass the data and here inside the data I'm gonna pass 1 2 3 4 5 uh, five six uh, seven eight nine components right now and after that um, we have to pass another item that is called render item so render item will be you know for now I'm gonna use the song card like this you can directly pass the component like this as well song card and we can pass the song card component in a different way as well but you know it's uh, it's a column direction but you want we want number of columns would be two okay so to make that number of columns two so let's do number of columns will be two now i added the number of columns to two and if i reload it so as you can see that we are getting the you know uh, content but it's not scrollable first of all that thing so let me comment this code okay now if you see uh, furthermore and it, it is scrollable wrong it's, it's still it's not scrollable that's okay uh, not a big deal so i'm gonna close the app and our emulator started hanging oh my gosh let's wait for some seconds now as you can see that we are running our app and it's, it's almost as callable so i'm again you know, doing this undo and we're gonna have a flex of one and it's still it's, it's callable all right so what we had done we had you know created one flat list and we have here we are passing one array one two like almost nine items okay so 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 for what we had done we had like you know having a one flat list inside the flat list we are having a data like this okay and after that we are having a render item which is rendering on the ui and we have defined the number of columns as a two all right but if you see that the item you know the song card is not looking it's looking too much weird the height and the weight okay so let's adjust that how we can adjust this uh, we also gonna so see that and uh, let's do that so first of all i'm gonna do like this i'm gonna cut this uh, like remove this from here and after that i'm gonna render this component like this song card all right now after that let's go to the song card component and here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna first of all pass the container style container style is equal to and i'm gonna define the width uh width will be like what width will be almost uh 47 percent let's keep a short 47 percent so basically what uh, currently you can see that the width is more than 40 50 50 percent okay of the container so let's go to the song card component and i'm gonna copy this key let's go to the song card component here we have to destructure the container style all right now here i'm gonna make you know make this uh, wrap this like this inside an array and here we have to pass this container style okay now once i pass the container style as you can see that uh, the you know the this item come up here okay now if we have to also decrease the image size okay so how we can image uh, so i'm gonna add another key uh, that is called image style okay image style will be like you know let's uh, add image style quickly so the height the height will be 160 so let's add a uh, height h e i g s t height will be 160 and the width as well 160 160 all right now uh, let me copy this again image style let's go to the song style component and here we are having again image style and uh, you can see that here we are having a style dot cover image so i'm gonna again make it an array by selecting like this okay and after that i'm gonna just uh, paste that props value 
okay now as you can see that we are able to see this uh, kind of ui but again let's go to the container here we are having a height and width so i'm gonna get rid of this height and width for now okay so once i remove this height and width you can see that uh, this is the kind of ui we are getting and which is looking quite bit weird for me okay so let's adjust this height and width as well so let's go back this uh, like this screen and let's see how we can customize this more so first of all uh, i'm gonna add you know column wrapper style column wrapper style and here i'm gonna add some styling as well so i'm gonna you know uh, write justify content justify content will be space uh, space uh, between let's add justify content style space between all right now once i just added the justify content space between you can see this is looking like this okay and i'm gonna add a margin vertical as well margin vertical will be spacing and dot large okay uh, okay awesome it's looking well well now again after that i'm gonna add some property as well container content container style as well so let's add that as well so for that i'm gonna add margin top will be uh, not margin top that we can get rid of this i'm gonna add some padding bottom padding bottom will be like uh, 500 basically the padding bottom is you know that we need this kind of a space like you know on the bottom that's why you we are using padding bottom okay now uh, after that uh, if you see that uh, this item is still looking too weird all right so what we can do let's go to the song card component okay and inside the song card component what i'm supposed to do right now to fix this issue uh, i think we can have a, a container so let's add a container width as well so container width will be almost 270 if i make it so still it doesn't look, look well okay so what i'm gonna think uh, what i'm gonna do that guys for you so let's go here like a screen and i'm gonna add some padding horizontal as a 200 let's suppose i'm gonna add a padding horizontal 200 or 20 okay and now it's looking pretty well what do you think it's looking well so we had just need to pass this padding horizontal so i'm gonna add a spacing dot uh, large instead of having a yeah the largest value almost 24 it's looking pretty well okay now let's go to the again song card component uh, let's go to the song card component and here we are having a title monster go home so let's suppose if i'm add something more content so what gonna happen if i add one more you know more content so as you can see that this is how looking this component so if you want number of lines you can increase or decrease as well so i'm gonna make a number of lines as a one okay so it will not exceed a you know number of one lines all right so i'm gonna remove get rid of this rest of content okay now this is looking pretty well what do you think it's looking well yeah i think so now let's go back to the like screen and here if you see that when we scroll down like the screen is like not scrollable like it's not moving so what i'm gonna do to make it scrollable so i'm gonna add one prop that is called list header component list header component and i'm inside the list header component i'm gonna render pass this text okay now as you can see that we are able to see this as well now once i pass the list header component you can see that the extra padding has been applied of the content as well so let's go to the heading text and i'm gonna get rid of this padding of this heading text because uh, the parent has already a uh, padding text okay now that's why after that once we're done with that I i'm gonna you know apply some uh if you see that like there is no space between this uh top so what i'm gonna do guys for you so i'm gonna add padding vertical instead of having a, a horizontal uh okay now as you can see this is looking pretty well what do you think guys looking pretty well and let me zoom out all right now we had designed this uh, like the screen now let's check that our uh, home screen is looking pretty well or not or is there any issue with that because we are using that uh, you know uh, song card now once we you can see that this is also pretty looking pretty well it, it doesn't have any problem and yeah it's looking well
so let's go to that again uh, um, let's make it like a screen and let's check it out once more and let's revisit you know let's revise all the things so if you want to you know let's suppose if you want to increase the image height and width so you can image increase the image height and width just by passing here like 200 if you want to make it 200 and which is not looking well so if you want to make so i'm gonna just make it 168 as it as it was okay and now let me reload it and now let me explain the whole content whatever we had done at okay so first of all uh let me close this all this stuff and let's go to the collapse this all let's go to the starting from let's go to the app.jsx inside the app.jsx we are having initial router name and we are currently rendering the like screen we are having a stack dot screen like a screen and we are having a like a screen let's go to the like a screen component and here we are having a container the container we had defined flex is a one background color is a colors dot background all right so whatever the color background color is it so that background color is rendering okay now let's go back after that we are rendering the header and rendering the list uh, render the list okay so here we are having a header and uh, inside the header container we are defined the flex direction as a row justify content space between to have a just space between space align item center to have a horizontal you know to have a vertically aligned together okay uh, what or oh, sorry to horizontally style together okay now after that we are having padding horizontally padding horizontal like you can see the spacing dot medium and padding dot horizontal as well okay and we can make you know just uh, instead of having padding horizontal padding vertical we can just make it uh, padding instead of having a padding horizontal and padding vertical because all right now after that we are having a heading text where we are defined the font size dot excel this is excel size and color is like colors dot text primary and uh, we have defined the font families of one families dot bold all right now after that we are having a uh, you know uh, you can see that inside the head uh, inside the header we are having just a anti -car. after that we are having a list inside the list we are having a flat list inside the flat list we are having list header component and we are having a text heading text all right and we are having we have passed the text inside the list header component so it's also scrollable all right if you want to also make this scrollable this header you can move this component inside this list header component okay now after that we are having a data like i'm just passing one array static array for now dummy array because we want to loop it this array length time after that we are having a render item function and here we are having a song card okay and we are trying to just reuse this reuse the song card instead of creating a new song card component and first of all i'm passing this you know container style is with 47 percent so if you want to make it 49 you can make it 49 if i just make it 49 you can see that it's become 49 which is not looking well so i'm gonna make it 47 okay now after that uh, container style we are also defining the passing the image style as well we are defined the number of columns as a two content container style basically padding bottom you know from the below so as you can see that it's uh, giving the padding bottom from the below it's like we can make it 400 if you want 300 that's up to you like basically what how many uh, you know padding you want from the bottom padding horizontal is like spacing dot large so we had given the large uh, padding from the left to the right or okay after that column wrapper style so we had uh, given the justify content space between and we had given the margin vertically so from the top to bottom we had different given the margin vertically as a uh, you know large so that's why you can see some space if i in decrease the space let's suppose if i decrease the space to the medium uh, so it decreased that space so i think large will looking better all right now if i explain the song card again we are, we are passing two props the container style and the image style props so let's go to the song card so here we're getting the container style and the image style so here we are having a you know existing container style and we are passing the our new container style and same for the image here we are having a cover image and we are passing the our new image style like basically here we are having a height and width all right so we had this is how we created the like screen but if you notice that here one thing is missed on the if you see on the figma on the like screen we are having the floating player as well so let's import the floating player as well so we're gonna collapse this all let's collapse this uh, flat list and after that i'm gonna import the uh, floating uh, floating player all right so i imported the floating player and now if i see that we are able to see the floating player as well all right so this is the thing which we had done so far we had completed the like screen and the home screen and the like screen as you can see that we had added the song card and the floating player as well
now if you go on the figma so we had completed this home screen like this we had also completed this like screen as well and now we have to design this player screen so how we can design this player screen so let's see so first of all i'm going to collapse this all the folder after that i'm going to close all the files and i'm going to inside my app.jsx as you can see that currently we are you know the initial route name is like a screen so i'm going to get rid of this route name all right now if i reload the app now we can see the home screen okay as you can see that we are seeing a home screen now what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, create a player screen so i'm just copy paste this screen code and at the place of like i'm going to make it player screen so let's make right player screen okay now i'm going to create another screen for the player screen okay so for that i'm going to inside my source inside the source we are having a screen and inside the screen i'm going to create another file the file name is uh, player screen player screen uh, dot jsx all right now uh, i'm going to create a component by typing r and f e s and it will create a component it create the component because we are using es7 snippet extension i think i've already told you guys so you can also use it all right now let's go to the app.jsx here at the place of like screen i'm going to import the player screen all right now if we can see uh, we can't see player screen so let's see let's do one thing so basically whenever user click on this floating player it will open the player screen so how we can do this so let's go to the fl uh, floating player okay so to go to the flat to floating player you have to click on components let's go to the floating player okay here you can see that we had added a touchable opacity this container so i'm gonna like you know uh, add a one press on impress and handle or uh, handle open a player handle open player screen handle open player screen okay so i had created one component handle op i had created one function handle open player screen let me type it again handle open player screen all right now i'm gonna create this function as well on this floating player component okay so const handle open player screen and this is gonna be like this okay and we are going to use one hook that is called const navigation is equal to navigation is equal to use navigation all right and after that once you get the navigation i'm gonna write navigation dot navigate okay and you have to write the screen name whatever screen you want to navigate so i want to navigate to the user to the player screen so i'm just copy this name let's go to the floating player and paste the name and basically what we had done if you see on that after the slider view this is the slider view of the slider view we are having a touchable opacity here i added on press event okay and whenever user cl uh, click on that we are calling this function handle open player screen okay here we are using uh, const navigation is equal to use navigation navigation hook use is a hook that help us to navigate from one screen to another screen so it will navigate to the player screen now let's click on this screen and let's see so as you can see that when i click on that floating player it went to the player screen all right now let's style the player screen as you can see on the figma so first of all we need this arrow back icon and playing now text okay and let's style the background color as well so to style that background color what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write style is equal to okay uh, style is equal to styles dot container container okay i'm just copy this container and add a key like this okay and i'm gonna write flex as a flex as a one it will take the whole height and is height and width of the screen after that i'm gonna write background color background color is colors dot background okay now it's become the background color as like you know the color as we had defined now as you can see that we are not able to see this text because uh, it's black it's black text so we can get rid of this text after that we need a you know back icon right to get the icon what we gonna need so basically on the header we are having a uh, this back icon and the playing down text so how we can design this so first of all i'm gonna create one header okay so for the header uh, we are going to add, add one view and we're gonna name it like you know style is equal to styles dot header header container 
all right after this inside the view i'm gonna add a touchable op i'm gonna add a touchable opacity okay because you, as you can see that we want this arrow back icon so let's go to the react native vector icon, icon directory here we have to search arrow back let's search only arrow arrow my bad i just type three times so we want this arrow left icon so i just copy this and design name and we have to import it as well okay so i'm gonna import okay before that if you see that there's one mistake i has done that the touchable opacity is imported from the react native gestural handler it should be import from the react native so i just remove that line of code and i'm gonna import the touchable opacity from the react native okay now let's add the import icons so i'm gonna import the icons so i'm gonna import import and design from react native as you can see that we are getting some suggestion react native vectors icons slash and design we get the and design icon now after that we're gonna name like this how we can do it let's do that and design okay we have to pass the name whatever the component whatever the icon we want to use we want to use uh, arrow back icon so let me copy the name arrow left icon i copy the name i added the name and let's define the color color will be icons dot okay color will be colors dot uh, icon primary icon primary now let's see uh, let's click on this pair screen now we can see the icon primary as well now after that we are gonna add a size as well the size will be icon sizes dot uh, large how does large look let me load the app okay now we have to again click on this floating player so you know what is happening right now so whenever we are reloading the app the app uh, come to the home screen so we have to again click on this floating player so to save our time what i can do let's go to the app.jsx and here i'm going to define the initial router name as a, a player screen so we don't whenever we reload it will went to the player screen for now for just for the development purpose it will save our time okay now let's go back to the player screen again i think large looks too much big so i'm gonna make it medium size now after the touch touchable opacity i'm going to use another text component import the text from the react native as you can see that and here we're gonna add a text called playing now okay and i'm gonna style this as well so style is equal to uh, styles dot header text styles dot header text like this i'm gonna copy this okay let's go to the header let's go to the bottom container and before that let's import the header container as well like let's in declare the header container as well after that we're gonna header text as well okay so let's uh, write the styling for header text okay to style write the styling for header text we have to uh, i think color will be white okay so let's add a color uh, color will be what uh, colors dot uh, colors dot my bad colors dot uh, text primary okay now after that uh, once we define the color we can see that text as well but if you see that that header container text like you know the icon this is the icon and the text are coming in a column direction but we want in a row direction okay so how we can do it we're gonna write flex direction as a row okay and after that uh, after that what we are going to do uh, i'm gonna write uh, basically align item center okay so this is how align item center okay now after that uh, this is the header text okay and if you see that we want some padding as well all right so let's give some padding as well so i'm gonna give the uh, container as a padding of uh, uh, top padding top will be you know almost spacing dot large okay so we can give to the header container or like you know you can give like this as well that's totally up to you okay so i just give the padding top to the you know header container after that uh, i'm gonna give some padding horizontally as well so let's go to padding horizontal to this uh, container main container and it will be spacing dot large spacing uh, spacing spacing dot large all right as you can see that it's looking well okay now let's style the text primary the playing now text so first of all the color will be text primary after that 
वी आर गना बी टेक्सट अलाइंस सेंटर ओके लेट्स सी टेक्सट अलाइंस सेंटर ओके इट्स नॉट अलाइनिंग ऑन सेंटर बिकॉज वी हैव टू डिफाइन द विथ ऑफ द कंटेनर विल बी हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके नाउ लेट्स सी स्टिल हेड एड टेक्स इज नॉट टेक्सट अलाइंस सेंटर बिकॉज वट आई एम गना डू गा इज वट एल्स अलाइन आइटम सेंटर ओके विथ हंड्रेड परसेंट इज नॉट वर्किंग वाई लेट्स वी आर हैविंग अ टचेबल ऑपरचुनिटी हेर वी हैविंग हेड ए कंटेनर ओके एंड टेक्सट अलाइन सेंटर विथ हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके इफ आई मेक इट फ्लैक्स इज अ वन ओके देन लेट्स सी वॉट इज गना हैपन ओ दैट्स वी यर्ड ओके Uh, I'm gonna see that. Okay, now after the header text, uh, let's do like this. Padding top. Okay, flex direction is a row. Align item center with hundred percent header text will text primary text align center is not working. Okay, no problem. Now after that, let's add a font size as well. So the font size uh, will be what? Let's add a, a, a font sizes. Font size. Uh, font. Size dot medium. If I make it medium, let's see. Uh, let's make it larger. LG. Oh, I think it's looking well. And after that, let's add a font family will as well. Font families dot um, medium. Okay. Now, if I make it font family medium, it's looking pretty well. But uh, if you see that uh, inside the header container, this is the header container. This is the container as a flex is a one background color padding horizontal is a large padding top header container flex text as a row with hundred percent okay and uh, text align is not working I'm pretty sure what's not okay no problem so what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna write flex is a one that's why it's not working because uh, now it's gonna work text align center because I was not giving this property flex as a one, and that's why text align center was not working. All right, so it's totally up to you know if you want to give this padding top, padding horizontal to here, you can give. Uh, if you want to give padding top here, you can give or like you can just give them padding as well. So we don't. I'm gonna remove this whole code. I'm I'm just adding a padding of spacing dot large. All right. Now we had designed the header component of our music player. Now if we go on the Figma and check that. Now after that we have to render this image, basically the song image. So how we can do that? Let's do that quickly. So after this header component, let me collapse this, and here we I'm gonna add a image, okay? And I'm gonna import image from the React Native, not from the React Native Reanimated. So let me remove this, import, and I'm gonna import image from the React Native like this, okay? And I'm gonna add a source, and here I'm gonna add a URI. Okay, so we want the image URL as well to const image URL, and we have to add the image URL. So I want the image, so I can took the image from this website if I want. But I have already you know selected one image, so I'm gonna use copy this image link. Okay, so let me again tell you guys, I'm using one extension that is called View Background Image Extension. So you can download that extension. Once you download that extension, you have to click on right click on the image, and you can see that view background image. You have to click on that; it will open that image. Okay. So I have already copied that image. Okay. So I'm gonna add image URL. Okay. And I'm gonna pa pass this image URL like this. Okay. Now after that, let's style this image as well. So I'm gonna write style is equal to style is equal to styles dot cover cover image all right so let me copy this style and let's add the styling to the cover image so for the cover image like it's going to be like this and i'm going to add a height of 300 okay and with going to be again 300 okay and now if you see that we are able to see that image okay i'm going to add a border radius of uh, border radius border uh, radius of 10 let me add a border radius as well after that uh, If you see that this item is not in the center, right? And it's uh, it's also need some kind of margin margin of padding as well. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add a one wrapper here. So I'm gonna add a one view like this, and I'm gonna call this uh, style is equal to styles dot uh, cover image container. Okay, 
and let me copy this uh, code and let's go to the here and bef uh, after that I'm gonna add a one style layer so basically what the style gonna be I'm gonna tell that align item center okay and this is justify content center okay now if you see that it's uh, it went to the center all right now we want some par margin vertical as well so I'm gonna give the margin vertical will be spacing dot large okay now let's see now you can see that we got some spacing okay now if if you want to give some more spacing you guys can give but uh, i think it's looking pretty well okay so we're gonna give some spacing dot extra large as well so if you want to give all right now once you're done with this uh, uh image we gonna show the title and the art and the artist name okay so let's do that as well so if i click on this what the image height and size like it's almost so 61 okay we can give you know decrease the height and width as well if you want to give like 270 as well if you want to give yeah it's looking pretty well but yeah let's do 300 we will adjust if, if there is need more okay now after the image uh, we gonna render the title and artist name along with the this you know along with this uh, uh, hot icon as well so first of all I'm gonna create one view like this inside this view we're gonna have a text the first text will be a uh, title so it could be a believer a believer song and uh, it's gonna be style is equal to styles dot styles dot title okay styles dot title all right now after that we're gonna have uh, another text that is for author or whatever the uh, art you know artist artist name is that so it's gonna be imagine dragon so I'm gonna write imagine uh, imagine dragon imagine dragon dragon all right and let me add author instead of having a okay, artist okay now let me copy this title and the artist okay now let's go to the bottom here and I'm gonna add our title and the font size will be what so I'm gonna make the font size dot large let's see now oh, before that let me add a color as well so color will be colors dot text primary okay now after that uh, what else we gonna be uh, font size looking weird, cool now the font family the font family I'm gonna add that is called uh, font family will be font families dot medium okay now let's see yeah it's looking pretty well and uh, I think we can make the title more uh, you know more bigger if you want but let's give a shot now I'm gonna style the artist as well so it's gonna be artist and the font size will be uh, font sizes font size dot uh, medium I'm gonna make this medium okay and the color will be what let's add the color of this so the color will be colors dot uh, secondary text uh, secondary okay because this is a secondary text and we are able to see it as well okay uh, if we want to make this stuff uh, it's looking well like not bad but I'm thinking if you can make it extra large so how it's gonna be look yeah extra large is looking uh, quite bit well which I feel and we can make this large if you want no medium will looks better for this okay now after this uh, what we else we gonna do we gonna have a title image container so we gonna call this style is equal to styles dot title uh, container all right now uh, we gonna have uh, another view as well so that view gonna be pretty simple the main task of this uh, we gonna call this style is equal to styles dot uh, title uh, title row uh, hot uh, container title row hot uh, container because why I'm calling this title row hot container because we are having inside this is a one row here we are having the title and the hot icon as well that's why I'm calling this title row hot container and inside this view I'm gonna you know uh, basically I'm gonna collapse this uh, title container view all right and I'm gonna cut this code I'm, I'm gonna paste this code so it went to the title container went to the title row hot container code all right so uh, here also i'm gonna after this view i'm gonna add one you know one component here it's gonna be a 
basically one component which the task is too simple basically to like the icon okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one uh you know uh, okay let's do like here i'm gonna add one touchable opacity quickly okay inside the touchable opacity i'm gonna use uh you know uh, uh, basically icon I, I want one icon so how we can use it so let's see on the figma quickly so i'm gonna went to the react Native vectors icon and i'm gonna search hot okay so i'm gonna use the and design icon hot okay so let's do like this i'm gonna import and design name will be what name will be almost uh it could be uh you know hot icon if it's liked basically like this and basically if it's not liked then it will be like basically i'm gonna create one state here const uh, const is liked basically if it's liked true if it's liked then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna is liked if it's true then i'm gonna show the filled hot icon hot icon okay if it's like this true then i'm gonna show the hot icon if it's not fill it then i'm gonna show this outline hot icon this hotto icon okay so let's add like this all right now after this i'm gonna add the color the color will be what colors dot uh, icon primary okay now as you can see that we are able to see this uh, icon primary color okay but which i supposed to it should be icon secondary not icon primary so let's icon secondary color switch to the icon secondary icon secondary now we are able to see this light icon but if we you know make it false then we will see the outline icon pretty well yeah pretty well after that let's add a size so that's the size will be icon size uh, dot medium if i make it medium let's see uh, i think medium looking well well not bad not bad okay now if you see that uh, we want this you know title row hot container and this touchable opacity in a row direction instead of have, instead of having a you know in a column direction so as you can see that we are having this uh, title row container okay and here we are having uh, this icon container okay and this is the main container title row hot container is our main container so i'm gonna apply uh, flex direction as a row so let's uh, scroll down so i went to the this here okay and i'm gonna add title row hot container as a flex direction as a row okay now let's see uh, if you apply flex direction as row now you can see that the item went to the row direction okay now i'm also gonna add align item center okay the item went to the center and if i apply uh okay now after that if i apply justify content center what gonna happen let's see okay so when you apply justify content the whole item went to the center which i don't want i just want uh this uh um, which what i want let me explain you the title container so the title let's go to the title container and it, it's gonna be like this after the title row, uh, title row hot container i'm gonna add the styling for this i'm gonna tell that flex is a one okay take the whole height and width okay and make the align items as a center okay all right and if you want to make a justify content center as well so you can make it as well all right now if you see that it's looking pretty well okay mm, what do you think guys it's pretty looking well i think so it is on the center and we are also having this uh hot icon as well okay and if you want to decrease the fonts no it's looking pretty well guys okay now if you talk about this you know cover image container uh the height you know the margin yeah margin is also looking pretty well and this icon is also looking well all right now after this you know title row hot container we are going to add this you know uh, icon as well uh sound icon volume icon and repeat icon and the shuffle icon as well okay before that let me explain you all the things guys whatever we had done till at so first of all we had created a one player screen inside that we had created a header container okay inside the header container we are having a arrow left icon and the playing now text okay now let me collapse this after that we are having a cover image container uh, you can see that we had using a uh, you know st uh, inside the view we are having an image and we are having a title row hot container and we are having a title container and we are having a this icon container as well this is the icon okay 
and let's go to the title row hot container now if we scroll down so we have to type contains a flex is a one background color is equal to colors dot background padding top padding is spacing dot large all right now after that uh, we are having a header container and here we have defined the width 100 percent flex direction row align item center we are having a header text uh, colors dot text primary font size large font family medium flex is a one text align center and for the cover image container we are doing this height uh, 300 title artist row hot container title container all right now we had done pretty well progress now we have to add this icon so let's uh, create another view for this all so after this you know uh, after this title row hot container i'm gonna uh, create one another queue uh, that is called player control container player, player control player control because they have we are having a most of the player control uh, like you know that's why so i'm gonna name this uh, view i'm gonna have a view in view uh okay and we're gonna style this as like this style is equal to style dot player uh player control container container all right now after this view uh, we're gonna need a touchable opacity inside the touchable opacity we are gonna be three icons the uh, the first like you know sound icon all right so for the sound what i'm gonna search on this uh, browser basically i'm gonna search uh let's search on the react native vectors icon uh this is a react native and i'm gonna search volume okay so i'm gonna search for the volume and let's see that okay so we're gonna use this icon volume one and volume x okay so let's import the feather icon as well so i'm gonna you know uh you know after this uh, and design i'm gonna import this uh, uh feather icon as well Im import import a uh, feather from react native uh, vectors icon okay slash feather all right now after importing the feather icon let's copy this and inside the touchable opacity we are having feather okay and we're gonna add a name the name will be what the name will be much more simpler uh, let me copy the name whatever the name it was the name is volume one okay uh, yeah volume one I'm gonna use the name as a volume one okay mm, and color color will be what uh, colors dot uh, icon secondary okay now we are able to see this uh, icon but the size is pretty small so I'm gonna add the icon size uh, dot LG if I make it large uh, it's looking pretty well pretty well pretty well and after this touchable opacity we are having okay there's one more thing when the user click on mute okay so we're gonna set, set that you know if mute is equal to if it's true then we're gonna render this icon volume X else I'm gonna show that uh, uh, another icon that is called volume icon like this all right basically if it's mute then so the uh, you know uh, okay let's create one state here const is mute okay and by default it's gonna be a false so if it's mute it false okay so if it's mute is true then uh, okay currently it's mute is false then we are rendering this volume one icon and if it's mute is true then I'm showing this uh, mute icon all right now after this volume icon if you see on the figma we have to design this both icon the repeat icon and the shuffle icon all right so for that what i'm gonna do after this touchable opacity i'm going to add one view like this inside this view we're gonna have a uh, one you know repeat icon for that i'm gonna create another component inside the component directory the component name gonna be player repeat uh, repeat toggle dot jsx okay and i'm gonna create one component quickly here by typing r and f e s all right now after this i'm gonna import this component to the player screen so let's import that as well okay now as you can see that we can't see anything here because this text is also on a black color okay so first of all what we need we are going to have a one touchable opacity instead of having a view so let's import the touchable touchable opacity from the react native like this after that here i'm gonna use a, a you know repeat icon for now 
so let's go on the browser and let's go on the react native vectors icon uh, here and i'm going to search for icon name called repeat okay so if i search repeat so we can get this uh, some icons so i'm going to use this uh, material community icons uh, repeat all right so it's you can see that repeat uh, repeat mode on repeat off and repeat phones okay so um, i'm just copy this material community icons and we're going to use it so for that uh, i'm going to you know write import uh, material community icons from this react native vector icons slash material community icons all right but if you see there is one mistake again i had done the touchable opposite should be import from the react native and i import from this gestural handle so i'm gonna get rid of this line and i'm gonna add it here all right so we, after that we had imported the material community icons inside the touchable opacity i'm gonna add this material community icons and here i'm gonna add a name name will be if you see on the uh, react native vectors icon directory here we have a name called repeat so we are going to use repeat ext repeat icon name and i'm gonna just add it here okay and here i'm gonna add a property like color will be uh, if i add color so colors dot icon primary icon primary or uh, it should be icon secondary i think it should be icon secondary instead of icon uh, primary all right now after this uh, let's add a size as well the size will be what the size will be icon size dot large okay now as you can see that we are able to see this icon as well all right now after this uh, we can handle this you know once we start the working on the functionality we will handle this all functionality like, you know when user click on repeat all functionality so it will be repeat op if it's user click on repeat one so it will be repeat one so we will also work on that as well but let me currently we are just adding the icons okay now let's go back okay once you go back here if you see that we have added the player repeat toggle icon we're gonna add also uh, another icon that is called shuffle icon okay so let's add a shuffle icon as well so for the shuffle icon we're gonna search uh, at the react native vectors icon direct s h u double f l e shuffle and we are getting this icon shuffle icon of uh, material community icon so i'm gonna use a shuffle icon okay and again i'm gonna create another component for this as well so let's create uh, another component here so inside the comment component directory i'm gonna create another com uh, a component that is called player uh, shuffle s h u uh s h u shuffle s h u right i'm right s h u double f l player shuffle uh toggle dot jsx okay so i had created one comp i had created one component that is called player shuffle toggle player shuffle toggle dot jsx and i'm gonna create r and f e s all right so it has created one component player shuffle toggle and let's go to the player screen and here we are going to import that component as well okay but we have to you know add the icon as well here so again i'm gonna get rid of view and i'm gonna use a touchable opacity from the react native okay so and after that we're gonna have an icon as well so the icon is uh, which icon material community icons we are going to use so let's import the material community icons import material community icons from react native vectors icon slash material community icons okay and after that uh, we are going to use uh, this uh, material community icons like this and we're going to define the name name will be what uh, if i see the name the name is shuffle let me copy the name and add it here as well all right now after this name uh, what i'm going to do guys i'm going to add the size the size will be icon size dot uh, large lg all right now after this uh, i'm going to add the color as well so the color it's uh will be what the color will be uh, colors dot icon secondary colors dot icon secondary all right now as you can see that we are able to see all three icons now we have to align them like this okay so how we can align this quickly uh, quickly let me show you guys so let's go to the player screen here you can see that we are having a one view okay and here we are having a touchable opacity or uh, like you know sound wrapper uh, you can see uh, sound container as well so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add one thing here basically on the player control container i'm gonna copy this player control container and after that i'm gonna go to the bottom and i'm gonna add a, a style 
okay so player control uh, container gonna be like this flex direction will be become a uh, row okay now if i make it row now you can see that we are the all the items you know these items you know comes in the row direction okay now if I, I have to again go here and this is a you know touchable opacity for the volume so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write is like like this styles dot uh, volume wrapper volume wrapper okay so what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna go to the bottom again and i'm gonna add a volume wrapper okay and i'm gonna give flex as a one so what is gonna took it will took the whole id whole width of this component whatever the has been left and also i'm gonna add here one property that is called align items center so it will be the center okay now let's go back again and here we are having a view another view inside the view i'm gonna write here uh, this uh, name will be styles dot uh, uh, styles dot my bad so here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write styles dot shuffle uh, shuffle container or like repeat container repeat uh, repeat shuffle wrapper repeat uh, shuffle wrapper all right i'm gonna copy this name repeat shuffle wrapper and let's go to the bottom and once we go to the bottom here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write flex direction as a row okay now once we make the flex direction as a row you can see that it went to the row direction all right but we also need some gapping as you can see that here the i between the items are very less gap if you see on the figma they have some gaps you know so let's add some gap as well so i'm gonna add the cap will be almost uh, spacing dot uh spacing spacing dot uh, uh large okay let's see uh i think it's pretty well you can make it like medium if you want medium let's keep it short to medium how it's looking uh it's looking pretty well all right now after this uh player control control container this is our player control container okay i think we are supposed to give some uh, margin as well so let's give some margin uh, vertical as well margin vertical will be a spacing dot large all right like this okay now this uh, item come to the bottom as well this looks pretty well all right now after this uh, this uh, this icons we have to work for this uh, you know this slider and along with this you know uh, this uh, slider first of all so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create another component uh, for this player progress bar F okay so let's create one another component for the player progress bar before that let me explain you guys what we had done till it before creating the player progress bar so it become easier to understand for you as well okay so now if you see that on the player screen first of all we are having a container uh, for the container we had defined the flexes of one background color and we had also given the padding okay padding is a large from the top and the bottom and this you know from all the direction okay now after that after the uh, uh, container we are having a heading container as well so with his 100 percent flex tax and row align item center as well okay now after that uh, after the header container if you see on the header container, we are having a touchable opacity on the first touchable opacity we are having an icon and in the second we are having a playing now text okay now let's collapse this header component now after that we are having an image okay like this image so we are having an image and we had like a couple image container align item center justify content center and we are given them given some margin vertically as well okay now after this cover image container we are having a title row heart container this is a title row heart container and here we had defined you know title container and like we are inside the title container we are having the title and we are having the artist name as well okay and after that uh, we are also having uh, this hot icon if it's like this true then we are showing the filled icon otherwise we are just showing this hot hot to icon basically hot outline icon all right and we define the color as well and the size now after that uh, we are having uh, this player control container inside this we are having a touchable opacity inside the volume wrapper we are showing the volume icon if it's mute then we are showing the volume x basically mute icon else we are showing the uh, normal volume icon okay and after that we are having a repeat supple wrapper as you can see that uh, inside this we had created two components separate player repeat toggle and players shuffle toggle so if i go to the player repeat toggle okay so if you see guys here so we are having just a one touchable opacity inside that we are having a, a material community icons as name as a repeat okay and inside this shuffle icon we are having a shuffle icon simple 
it's straightforward why had separate this component because the logic is gonna be uh, divided into chunks and it become easier to understand that's why i created a separate component for you guys all right now after that as you can see there are some styling uh, you can also take a quick look if you want and let's uh, now after this what i'm gonna do guys i'm to design this player progress bar along with this time duration for that uh, first of all i'm gonna create one separate component the name of the component gonna be like this so let me close all the directory let's go on the source let's go on the component and i'm gonna create one component uh, called player uh, player progress progress bar dot jsx all right and i'm gonna write r and f e s react native functional default export style sheet component all right now let's go to the screen component and here we go to the player screen okay now after this you know after this player repeat software like, you know after this uh player con play player control container uh we gonna have another view uh that is for uh you know a, pl a player progress bar player progress uh, bar we're gonna have like that so first of all i'm gonna import this player progress bar like this all right now we can't see anything because we have to add some things and this text color is you know black that's why we are not able to see anything so i'm gonna remove this code okay and now i'm gonna add this you know player progress bar so first of all what we're gonna have inside this uh we, we need a time row right so if you see on this figma uh we have to show this uh, time row inside the time row we are having a time okay so let's do that quickly so first of all i'm gonna add one view and inside view i'm gonna add style is equal to styles dot time row styles dot time row all right now after this we're gonna have a start time so let's add a text and inside that we're gonna have like you know maybe a dummy data for now let's add zero zero uh, colon 50 all right and i'm gonna add a style style is equal to styles dot time text okay now after this we're gonna have another text as well that is called uh, you know end date basically and we're gonna add a uh, you know one string as well so i'm gonna add quickly one string like this okay and we're gonna have this uh, end time i think so Z four, zero four like this so i'm gonna add zero four zero zero like this for now just for ui purpose okay now we can't see anything on this ui right so let's style this as well so the time row gonna be uh, like this so we can't i'm not adding any style for now let's style the time text first of all so what the color gonna be uh first of all let's add the color so we can know the color so the color will be colors dot uh colors dot what colors dot text primary okay and after that uh I, yeah we are able to see that as well now after that uh what uh what is the font family if i click on this so the font family is regular font family so let's add a font family as well font family font uh, families dot regular all right now we are able to see a regular font family like that okay now uh, what else we can do we're gonna add a font size as well so font size will be font size dot uh, medium if i add medium let's see how it's looking um, font size medium is looking not so great okay mm, okay i'm gonna add like you know font size if i make it small let's see how it's looking uh, small is looking too much uh you know smaller so i think so we're gonna have uh you know small it looks pretty well not so bad and after that we're gonna have you know let's decrease the opposite opacity so the opacity will be like you know 0.75 to looks much more cooler as you know on the figma we have all right now after this uh if you see that uh, we want in a row direction okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write flex direction as a row okay and justify content gonna be space between space between like this and after this we're gonna have align item center as well align items center all right now after that uh we're gonna have uh some some else what else what i think it's looking but font size is looking too much small so i'm gonna add medium okay uh medium looks uh, too much hard for me small looks pretty well okay let's do uh 
a test what is the font family here so if you see that the font family is almost uh, 12 and what is our font family for now 12 uh, yeah it's pretty well I think so okay now after this time text what we are gonna do basically guys we have to import a slider all right so here we're gonna have a slider for the slider I'm gonna search react native awesome slider and again I'm gonna copy this whole code uh, let's copy this quickly and I'm gonna add it here as well okay now we have to import this slider from the react native awesome slider after that we have to al also assign this progress mean max value as well so I'm gonna just copy this all the value okay and I'm gonna add this as well here okay now once we add it uh, I'm gonna make it like 0 to 1 instead of having 100 and let's add you shared value and instead of having a 0 30 I'm gonna make it uh, 0 0.25 uh, something like that all right now if you reload it we can't say anything okay 0 0.25 awesome now if you see this uh, we are able to you know uh, having some padding as well like here that's pretty well okay now uh, what else we gonna do I'm gonna add a container style container style and the container style will be like you know uh, height I'm gonna increase the height as the same one okay now let's check it out yeah pretty well and after that I'm gonna add border radius of uh, basically spacing dot uh, uh, is small size all right so let's see uh, small yeah. yeah the border radius looking pretty well and after this uh, what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna add a theme as well so you know this uh, color is not looking weird like you know if you see on the figma we are having this color uh, you know black and white combination so again I'm gonna go to the, this uh, react native awesome slider I'm gonna copy this uh, theme object quickly and add it here as well after this object and we just want to play with mean max thin color so we're gonna get rid of this color hole and here I'm gonna add like you know colors dot uh, maximum tint color and here as well colors dot uh, colors dot uh, minimum uh, tint color minimum track tint color okay and we are getting some kind of error so again I'm gonna fix it up colors dot uh, minimum tint color like this all right now after that we can see this uh, you know this icon okay this uh, uh, you know uh, what you can say uh, this slider but if you see that we need some you know uh, padding or margin vertically between the time slot okay so what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna add some margin top okay uh, but before that let's uh, do one more thing that is called uh, uh, we're gonna add some margin to the hair as well so slider container so I'm gonna copy this container here and we're gonna name it slight slider container okay and let me copy this slider container and we're gonna add some you know uh, margin vertical or margin let's add just margin vertical right now okay let's give a short margin vertical will be spacing dot uh, extra large if I make it is extra large let's see mm, we can't see anything let me reload it once more oh uh, it's pretty well not so bad uh, but uh, you know let's check it on the figma how it's looking yeah uh, pretty well pretty well so you can see that the same uh, height which we are supposed to give that's perfect now if you see on the figma uh, between these icons uh, you know between this and this there are a lot of gaps but we had given very less gaps so let's add some gap as well from the time row so margin top will be spacing dot extra large so if I make it extra large now let's see uh, it's looking pretty well now after this if you go on this you know our slider here we have to add some property as well like thumb width so the thumb width like you know uh, it seems to be smaller so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a thumb width uh, gonna be almost 18 all right now let's check it out if we make it thumb width 18 it's looking pretty well and I'm gonna I'm not gonna render the bubble so I'm gonna render bubble will become like this and we're gonna just return null or normal view whatever you want okay now it's not rendering the bubble as well and yeah I think it's pretty well and we had completed this slider as well and we will add this functionality later but yeah uh, it's pretty looking well and if you want this increase the text as well like if you want to make it medium so you can make it medium as well uh, that's totally up to you uh, 
yeah i think medium looks also pretty not bad now let's go to the player figma now we want to design this uh, three icon a uh, three button all right so let's go to the player screen and after this player progress bar we're gonna have a uh, play balls control play pause uh, you know style is equal to styles styles dot play uh, pause uh, container uh, all right and here what we're gonna do i'm gonna first of all i'm gonna import this you know previous component like you know uh, back to the component which i created like let's go to the player control so we had created some uh, component go to previous button so we are going to import it on the player screen so i'm gonna import go to previous button like this now after importing the previous button icon we are going to import this play pause icon as well so play pause uh, play pause button as well so i'm gonna import that as well now after this i'm gonna also import this play uh, go to next button next go to uh, next button icon as well all right so let import go to next button icon as well like this now we can see that we are having uh, all the three icons go to previous button play pause button and the next button but it's not looking good right so i'm gonna you know make up i'm gonna copy this play pause container and after that i'm gonna scroll down here and i'm gonna add hit here basically flex direction as a row all right and i'm gonna add a justify content will be center so let's add a center okay and align items will be also in the center okay and once i make it center it's pretty looking weird but let's add a gap as well so spacing dot large okay so if i see make the spacing is a large it's looking pretty well but uh, the icon size is not uh, looking uh, you know a consistent for me so so let's go to the player next button and icon size dot like you know we have to also make this large as we are having more large as well now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add the icon size icon size okay so we have to pass one prop that is called size so whatever the size you want to pass so i'm gonna pass the size as a large not extra extra large okay now i'm passing the size as a extra large and i'm gonna copy this all the I size and i'm gonna pass this size as well on the all the icons okay now you can see that it's looking pretty well okay but if you go on the figma it's uh in the it's added some margin as well so i'm gonna add this you know uh, margin as well so i'm gonna add some margin top spacing dot uh, large all right now if you see on the figma uh it's looking pretty well and if i make it extra large now yeah it's looking well okay so this is how we had finally we had designed this player screen and it's looking pretty well guys what do you think it's looking well how many uh, how many ratings you want to give this player screen out of 10 so now after that we have to just add the functionality and it's looking too good like you know awesome it's feeling too good right now man like i just build it up okay now i think we need we can give some more pair you know gap between these icons what do you think so let's add some more gap so i'm gonna add spacing dot extra large instead of having a small and yeah we had build it up bro so let me summarize all the stuff whatever we had done on this player screen so i'm gonna collapse this all let's go to the source let's go to the app.jsx here we had created one component that is called player screen and inside that we are rendering a player screen component okay before that like why why am i explaining the things a lot of times because you know uh, we people learn by you know if i repeat something you guys learn that and that's one of the most important things so please again listen to me carefully so first of all we are having one container and inside the container uh, we had defined flexes of one background color is a colors or background padding as a spacing dot large all right and after that we are having a you know this header container and we have to define the heading uh, content as a with 100 percent flex tax and row align item center all right now as you can see that here we are having a touchable opacity the first for the arrow left icon and after that we are having a text a playing now text after that we are having a this cover image container and title row hot container where we are having a uh, basically we have made this one row direction low and after that we are having a title container and after that we are having a touchable opposite as well so how we design this title to hot container first of all we make flex tags and row and align them center okay and after that we had make the title container as a flex as a one so it will took the whole height and width of this okay and after that we make this in the center 
unjustified content center so it becomes center and after that uh, this uh, heart icon will take the rest of the height and width okay now after that we are having a player control container here we are having a, a multiple icons for the like you know play pause icon uh, all right this icon and this we are having also uh, what you can call this uh, we are having this uh, repeat uh, repeat icon shuffle icon as well and after that we are having player repeat toggle player shuffle toggle we had created a separate component just we are having a touchable opacity inside have we are having a, a icons okay and we are having a shuffle light toggle like, as well after that one of the most important things or uh, one of the most uh, straightforward thing that is called player progress bar inside the player progress bar we are having a const progress and we we are using use shared value currently so i'm defining the progress as a 0.25 percent if i make it you know um, if i make it uh 5 0.5 so it will take the almost 50 percent of this if i make it 7 so it will take the 7 percent like let me load it and if you see that it's almost it to the 70 percent all right and we are defined the mean value max value and here we are having our time row time text uh, the start time end time and it's the slider here we have the slider slider container i just given the margin vertically uh, spacing dot extra large and after that we are having a slider and we had to pass the theme and we are having a progress mean value max value this thumb width if you want to make it much more longer so i'm gonna add this spacing dot extra large uh, okay so it's become much more larger <laughs> but i'm not making it large so i'm gonna make it like large and it's looking okay let's make it, it it was whatever the size it was that was looking pretty well and we are gonna having a render bubble so we also remove the render bubble after that we as we have already built this you know previous button and the play boss button and go to next button we are just having we are just passing the size and according to the size it is adjusting so if i go to the go to previous button so here we are just having a touchable opacity inside that we are having a our icon and we are passing the size dynamically as a props and we are just setting that size and by default the size is large 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 all right and this is how guys we had designed this player screen how are you feeling guys please let me know and there's one more thing F just comment me guys where are you from and how many parts you have completed this video and do you like your videos or not so just comment you know comment if you guys are already comment please comment one more okay now let's uh, go to the app.jsx now once you go to the app.jsx i'm gonna remove this initial router name and now if i reload the app and if i show you guys how it's looking so this is how it's looking and if i click on this it opens the player screen if i click on go back so we'll also add this all the functionality also uh, slowly slowly uh, but now if you see on the figma we had completed most of the screen like we had completed the home screen we had completed the like the screen and player screen as well but now we have to just work on this drawboard navigator custom drawboard navigator so basically let's build this drawboard navigator to build the drawboard navigator what we have to do uh, let's do let's see uh, first of all before that what i'm gonna do guys if you see uh, let me close that all the file let me collapse the file as well so if you see on the app.jsx so we are having a just you know a stack navigator all right and at the place of a stack navigator we're gonna replace the with the drawboard navigator all right so before that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do some cleanup code okay so let's do the cleanup code for you guys so i'm gonna create one source directory inside the source i'm gonna create one folder that is called navigation okay so let's create one navigation folder inside that i'm gonna name uh, i'm gonna create one component that is called stack navigation stack stack navigation dot uh, jsx okay and i'm gonna write rnfe okay it will create a one default export stack navigation after that i'm gonna copy this whole code stack navigator code and let's cut this code and i'm gonna dump this code here like this okay now when, when you dump this code here so we have to you know copy this code as well so i'm gonna copy this code stack code and i'm gonna you know in slice this stack so to initialize this stack we have to import this create native stack navigator so i import the create native stack navigator all right now we have to also import this all the components so let me import home screen uh, like a screen and the player screen as well all right now if you go on the home is home.jsx uh, okay so basically we had created one component called stack navigation inside that stack navigation first of all we 
a declare a variable variable called const stack and we had also in slides create native stack navigator after that we had created a stack dot navigator and we had defined all the screen okay we had defined all the screen like a stack dot screen after that let's go to the app.jsx here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna import this stack navigation like this and i'm gonna render this on the ui okay now if i reload this we can see that we are getting this stack navigation all right now let me reload it once more okay so we have make make some clean code cleanup right now now uh, if we go on this browser now we have to set up this drawer navigator basically whenever the user click on this drawer it should open this drawer navigator okay so let's do set up as well so what i'm going to search i'm going to search react native drawer navigator navigation okay once you search this website you're gonna went to the, this website drawer navigator react navigation you have to click on this once you click on this you went to the here and what you have to do uh okay before that uh, this wrap uh, okay drawer navigator renders the navigation drawer on the side of the screen which can be opened and closed via gesture as well so you can open with the gesture and close with the gesture as well and whenever you click on sidebar okay so this wrap react native drawer loud if you want to use drawer drawer without react navigation integration using library instead okay uh, basically if you talk about the installation what we have to do we have to inst copy this command npm install react navigation drawer so let's copy this command let me open my terminal or uh, let me stop my emulator or server and i'm gonna paste this command once i paste that command let's wait for some seconds and it get installed in some seconds and you can see that it get installed after that i'm gonna run a command npm start to start my server meanwhile it's starting and if you see on the browser so once you install the react navigation drawer okay let me press the a as well so it will install the app so if you see on the browser so we had installed this command okay npm install npm uh, na sorry npm install react navigation drawer then you need to install and configure the library that you are required by the drawer navigator okay so basically react navigation drawer required two other library uh, which is called react native gestural handler and react native reanimated okay so we had already set up the react native gestural handler and react native reanimated so in future if you guys using the react native drawer layout so whenever you uh, use so you have to you know uh, install the react native gesture handler and react native reanimated but we have already installed this we have already installed this and set up that but let me explain you guys once more how to set up that first of all you have to copy this command and run on the terminal to install the react native gestural handler and react native reanimated once you install that what you have to do uh, you have to went to the babel.config.js file uh, and you have to add this plugin react native reanimated plugin my bad react native reanimated plugin and inside the root app component uh, for the gestural handle root view you have to wrap our uh, you know you have to wrap your whole content inside the gestural handle root view all right so this is how we set up the you know uh, basically uh, react native reanimated and react native gestural handle now let's talk about how to set up the drawer navigator all right so for that what guys i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, go to the here okay now as you can see that currently we are having a uh, we had we had not changed anything right we had just installed the drawer navigator right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna close all the file again and inside the stack navigation like as you can see the inside the navigation directory uh, uh, we are having a stack navigation i'm gonna create another file that is called drawer navigator drawer navigator dot uh, jsx okay we can create right simple and i'm gonna write rnfe it will create a component as well like this you can type it manually it's up to you now after that you have to you know how to set up the drawer navigator if you see that first of all we have to declare a variable const drawer so let me declare a variable const drawer and you have to also import this create drawer navigator from the react navigation drawer okay uh, and after that you have to copy this line of code drawer dot navigator and drawer dot screen so i'm gonna copy this screen and you can you know guys you can take a reference from this website you have to just scroll down at the bottom and you guys can copy the line of code or you can just pause the video and you can write the as well so i'm gonna copy this line of code and after that i'm gonna you know add it here drawer dot navigator now i'm gonna remove this whole code okay and i'm gonna name this you know i'm gonna name this you know drawer 
drawer home okay and it require a component so our component will be stack navigation okay this is the component i'm going to pass so before that uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to pass the stack uh, navigator navigation here okay so our component is like you know i'm passing the component as a stack navigation here okay now let's go to the app.jsx component quickly so if if i go to the app.jsx so what we are going to do here inside the app. Uh, you know inside the navigation content currently we are rendering what currently we are rendering, rendering the stack navigation i'm commenting this code and now i'm going to render this drawer navigator drawer drawer navigation okay so i'm importing the drawer navigator from the source slash navigation dot slash drawer navigator all right so what i done initially i was running this stack navigation i removed this code and currently we are just uh, rendering another component that is called drawer navigator now if i go to the drawer navigator what we have so we are having a drawer dot navigator and inside that we are having a drawer dot screen we have defined the name and we are passing the component now the component we are rendering uh, we are rendering at the uh, app js that was stack navigation now here we are rendering the drawer home and the component we are passing that is called stack navigation this is the stack which we are passing here all right pretty well okay let me once more let me explain you guys once more maybe it could be challenging for you so first of all what we had done we had copy this command npm install react navigation drawer once we copy this command once we install that drawer package we went to the app.jsx and here we are having a some stack code so we had created one directory called navigation inside the navigation we had created a file called stack navigation.jsx here we had declare a variable called const stack and stack value is like coming from the react native stack navigator and after that we had just copy this whole line of code whatever we are having inside the app and just replace it here awesome now after that we are just running the here is stack navigator but we had created another component that is called drawer navigator and inside the drawer navigator first of all we had declare a const drawer is equal to create drawer navigator and inside that uh, uh, we are having drawer dot navigator and inside the screen we are define a you know component name called drawer home and the component right now we are passing the component as stack navigation okay and inside the app dot jsx instead of rendering the stack navigation now we are rendering rendering the drawer navigator right now if we click on this icon you can see that we are getting the drawer right awesome pretty well sounds good okay now if i go to the drawer navigator and this is how we have set up the drawer navigator it's too simple guys like you know you have to just watch the video or you can take a reference from this as well okay but make sure before that your you know react native reanimated and react native gestural handle has been already set up and we had already set up while we are working on this you know uh, Uh, this track player you know on the awesome slider right now if i uh, go back so we don't want this you know we don't want to show this header right so how we can uh, you know get rid of this header so for that we are having one props that is called screen options and inside that we are having make this header shown as a false and it will get removed from the ui awesome now what we want now now whenever user click on this uh, Uh, basically whenever you just click on this menu on this uh, hamburger icon or menu icon the drawer should get opened right because we had hide the header and now uh, now we had uh, when the like currently we are whenever the this header is there so whenever we click on this the drawer is opening now we, what we want when the user click on this at that point of time drawer should get opened right and we have to work on that right so let's do that as well so i'm going to go to the is inside the home screen component and here we are having a header component let's go to the header component and if you go on the browser how we there is there was on article that is called uh, basically if i scroll down more further further and uh, where is the code guys somewhere i saw the code and uh, let me make it much more uh, you know down 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 uh, yeah we have options called navigation dot open drawer okay so this is the code to open the drawer okay so let me copy this okay so let's go to the header component and i'm going to create one function called handle uh, toggle okay toggle drawer let's create one function called toggle uh, uh, drawer okay so let's create a function quickly and like this and after that i'm going to create one 
variable called const navigation is equal to use navigation like this okay and here i'm gonna write navigation dot uh, toggle drawable okay awesome now uh, currently we had just created function but we had not bind this function so let's bind this function as well so on this touchable opacity on the on press event i'm gonna call this function function on toggle drawable okay all right now let's click on this function and now you can see that our toggle drawable is working awesome now you can also open this toggle drawable by just you know using this thumb as well okay all right now there's one more thing which i want to add uh, that is called okay so if you see on this you know, uh, in this website here you can see that there's a lot of things like you know navigation.open drawer navigation.toggle close drawer and uh, you know you can pass this like this uh, check you can check that if drawer is open or not okay you can read further about that as well okay now after this uh, you can see that if you scroll down uh, you can open the drawer in a different manner currently uh, we are opening the drawer in a uh, like this let me show you guys so there is one property which i was discussing that uh, uh, you know this one like overlay color and drawer style so drawer type uh, what could be the drawer type whenever user click on this so what could be drawer type let's uh, go on the drawer navigator and here i'm gonna add drawer type okay now if you see on this uh, side so inside the screen options we have to use drawer type and here i'm gonna add drawer type will be like this what could be it could be back front or slide so if i click on front so you can see that the drawer is like you know coming as a front by default and if i write uh, back so let's see if i write back so as you can see that whenever you make this back so it's making the content like a back and it's looking pretty well what do you think guys and if i make it sl like slide okay now let's click on this now you can see that it's coming like a slide all right okay now if you want to make this uh, you know uh, travel style is like you know always open you can make it open as well overlay color all the things and default status you can make it as like if i want to you know let me reload this and now what i want now like the drawer should by default open so we can have one property called default state open now if i reload it let me reload it and now you can see that by default the drawer navigator is open all right now uh, what i'm gonna do guys i have to you know style this drawer navigator so how we can just style the drawer navigator to style the drawer navigator we have one props okay so if you see on the here uh on the this website where we are having called custom drawer content okay let me show you guys custom uh, custom drawer content okay uh, i think yeah here we are having custom drawer content basically if you want to make a custom drawer content so you can also make it basically uh, currently we are having a this kind of icon but we want this customizable drawer like this so to make this uh, we have uh, this uh, property here uh, so if I make it scroll down further, further, further. So what we have to do, we have to use drawer content like this and we can use it like this. Okay. So first of all, uh, let's do that. How we can do it. Okay. Yeah, we got it. So as you can see that we are having a drawer content. Okay. So this is how we can make it. Let, let me explain you guys. Let me explain you by doing this. Okay. So inside the drawer.navigator, we're going to have this uh, drawer content like this. So let's write there, uh, here drawer uh, content okay and inside the drawer content uh, i'm gonna you know get the props and after that i'm gonna pass this props to the another component custom drawer content so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create uh, one component inside this navigation folder inside the navigation folder i'm gonna create one component called custom drawer content okay dot jsx uh, from where i get the name custom drawer content so if you see on this website there's uh, the component which we are renting that is called custom drawer content all right so i just copy this name custom drawer content and we created a one file custom drawer content dot jsx okay after that i'm gonna create one component called r and f e s all right and after that let's go to the this here and we're gonna get the props here we get the props and after that we're gonna uh, render we're gonna return this custom drawer content like this and let's go to the browser and we have to pass the props like this we have to just spread the props perfect so let's spread the props like this awesome now we are able to see this you know drawer only right
now let's go to the custom drawer content now we have to make it customizable right so for that uh, i'm gonna go to the custom drawer content and first of all uh, here instead of having a view if you see on this website we have to use like this uh, where is that drawer content is called view okay so i'm gonna copy this code uh, instead let me remove this whole code and i'm gonna write drawer uh, content is called view okay and after that let me close this okay now if you go on the browser we are having drawer content uh, is called view and uh, we are having a drawer item we can use the drawer item to render the item okay so before that uh, we're gonna have my bad let's suppose uh, if we have already some default item like you know inside that we can use this drawer item list props so let me show you guys what do you mean by that i'm not gonna use it i'm just showing you for you guys example so if i'm using drawer item list and let's uh, read the props as well like this and yeah uh, it should be like this not like this we don't have to destructure because we are reading the props okay now as you can see that we are having a by default drawer home that's the by default list item is showing we don't need this so i'm gonna get rid of this so first of all uh, what i need uh, if i show you on the figma uh, we need uh, this kind of uh, you know one view the cross button and this uh, moon icon all right so let's add this quickly let's uh, draw this quickly uh, before that let me you know uh, make this style the container so i'm gonna write style is equal to styles dot uh, head style dot container okay so i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna add it here like this okay and uh, we're gonna add a background color so background color will be colors dot uh, background okay now after that what i'm gonna do guys uh, we are able to see this container perfectly right so we're gonna add some padding as well so padding uh, padding we're gonna have a padding vertical will be what uh, we can give padding vertical will be spacing dot large okay and okay let's do like this we're gonna just add a padding okay padding large so it's going to be padding from the vertically and the horizontally as well okay now after this uh, uh, let's go to custom drawer content and here let me close others file and inside the drawer content uh, we are going to have this uh, this icon all right uh, so for that i'm gonna add i'm gonna create one view all right so it's gonna be view and inside this view i'm gonna have a touchable opacity touchable opacity we have to import it from the react native make sure that and inside the touchable opacity we want to show this close icon okay so for that let's go into the react native vectors icon directory and i'm gonna search close icon okay so we got the, this close icon so i'm gonna use this and design close icon so first of all we have to import uh, i'm gonna write icons and we're gonna write import and design from react native uh, vectors uh, vector icon slash and design okay and let's use it so we're gonna have and design and we're gonna have a name and the name value will be what name will be a uh, close okay and color the color will be what color will be colors dot i colors dot icon primary icon icon primary all right and what could be size the size will be almost i'm gonna define as a icon size dot large okay now if we see that we are able to see this icon looking perfect yeah better i feel better it's looking better and after that let me copy this touchable opacity again and paste it here and i'm gonna make this you know uh, view name as a style is equal to uh, styles dot header container header uh, header icon container you can make it header icon icon uh, container all right let me copy this and let's go to the browser now we want this moon icon okay so let's search for a moon icon uh, this website and i'm gonna search moon and i'm gonna use this uh, moon icon of uh, which one which one which one looking pretty well uh, i think which i can prefer it bro okay i think uh, uh, which is looking pretty well. okay i can use octo icons because it is on the right direction on this direction which i want so i'm gonna use octo icons so let's import this octo icons as well so i'm gonna copy this 
again i'm going to replace with the octo icons and i'm going to replace octo icons and i'm going to use moon icon okay now we can see the see the moon icon now here what i'm going to do i'm going to create one variable okay uh, we're going to check that is uh, dark mood if it's dark mood is true then i'm going to show this uh, basically this moon icon okay if it's dark mood is true then i'm going to show the moon i no if it's uh, dark mood then i'm going to show this uh, sun sun icon and if it's uh, you know if it's uh, light mode then i'm going to show the moon icon okay pretty well and if you search on this here for the sun icon so let's see which sun icon is looking pretty well so we can change it as well so currently we are using this octo icons and which is pr looking pretty awesome all right now after that let's copy this header icon container let's go to the container and here i'm going to add one property that is called flex direction as a row okay and uh, pretty well justify content space between space uh, between and align items gonna be in the center all right and yeah we had done this component what do you think yeah now after that we had to add this kind of uh, you know menu so how we can add it so let's add that menu as well so we gonna have uh, after this you know after this header icon container we gonna have a menu item container all right and let's add this as well so for that uh, i'm gonna have one view like this and inside this view we're gonna have a, a style is equal to style gonna be styles dot drawer item container drawer item container and inside this view i'm gonna have a one drawer item okay which i'm gonna import it from this uh, drawer item from the react navigation drawer and uh, after that uh, if you see on the drawer item for the react navigation drawer so if i just search uh, drawer item so as you can see that we are having a label and the on press event okay and we can have an icon as well so as you can see these are the all properties like if you want to pass label icon focused active tint color inactive active background color and active background color label style all the things you can handle that as well okay now i'm gonna go here and on the drawer item i'm gonna pass the label so label which i want that is called a uh, profile first of all so let's add a profile okay and i'm gonna use the icon as well so for the icon i'm gonna you know render one component like this and we're gonna uh, render uh, okay let's do like this and i'm gonna return a direct component and we want some kind of this profile icon right uh, this profile icon so i'm gonna search for the user kind of icon so let's search user so uh, which icon looks pretty well so i think icon of font awesome is looking pretty well so we can use this font awesome user icon so let's go there and i'm gonna um, you know i'm gonna add a font awesome and before that let me import the font awesome as well so i'm gonna copy this paste line i'm gonna do Control d paste with the font awesome and i'm gonna name as a you know uh, the name of this icon will be what uh, user all right and uh, we're gonna define the color size the size will be what icon sizes dot uh, medium md yeah pretty well and now we are not able to see it right so let's add a color as well uh, now we can say pretty well not previously colors dot uh, icon primary and let's check it out uh, we still not able to see man font awesome uh, why we are not able to see it okay that's weird for me uh, I'm added the label as a profile as well and let me reload it once more okay I make a mistake like you know color it should be color not colors now we are able to see it right awesome now after this label uh, I'm gonna add a one label style as well so after this icon okay so i'm gonna add label style okay and i'm gonna add styles dot uh, label style okay label style i'm gonna copy this okay now uh, let's go to the uh, again there's one more thing which i just want to that that is called style and we can have a 
styles dot uh, drawer item style dot uh, drawer item and i'm going to copy this and i'm going to copy this as well let's go to the bottom and once we go to the bottom here i'm going to add one property that is called label style for the label style i'm going to have a font size as a font size dot medium my bad font size is a medium now if you see that label style we can't see any color so let's apply the color as well so color will be colors dot uh, colors dot uh, text primary okay now are we able to see any yeah we are able to see that as well and uh, font family let's apply the font family as well so font family gonna be a uh, font uh, families uh, dot uh, medium so i'm gonna use the medium font family uh, which is looking pretty well not so bad okay and we're gonna add uh, some you know drawer item so we are having a drawer item styling as well and uh, i'm gonna just add a margin vertical and it's gonna be a spacing dot uh, small spacing dot small all right now if we go back here okay so we are having a drawer item but you know we need some you know kind of uh, margin vertically as well from this drawer item container so let's add a you know drawer item container here anyway you can add that's totally up to you i'm adding here and i'm gonna add a margin uh, kind of you know margin vertical margin vertical will be spacing dot extra large which i prefer right now and i think it's looking pretty well what do you think it's looking pretty well mm, yeah now let's see let's compare with the figma quickly so we can guess that it's looking well or not so we are having a profile yeah the it just space font size if you want uh it's increase the font size you can but i think it's looking pretty well so we don't want to uh increase the font size okay now after this uh we need some more icons and some more text the after that we need a liked song okay so let's copy this liked song okay uh, i'm gonna just you know copy this uh, drawer item again but before that let me explain you what we had done okay let me copy this again and then after that i'm gonna explain that what we had done okay so first of all uh, let's close this all the file let's go to the app.jsx currently we are rendering the drawer navigator as a root navigator okay inside the drawer navigator we had having a drawer screen here we are rendering the stack navigation okay and inside here like the drawer contain is a property a uh, props where we can you know de define our custom drawer content so we went, we created one component called custom drawer content and here we are having a drawer content is called view so if you want to make it is called view so you can if it is much more items so how we are getting this code all the code so there is one article uh, of this here custom drawer content which you guys can also refer to it like custom drawer content you can see that uh basically and this is how we can make a custom drawer content drawer content is call view drawer item and drawer item list will be like you know by default your all the items all right and uh, you can read further about this as well so you have to just spend some time on this and you will get that all the stuff it's, it's too straightforward and you can you know you can see that lot of uh, property a lot of props is also there you can use it like overlay color you want let's suppose if i want overlay color so let's try let's give a sort and uh, let's go to the app.jsx let's go to the drawer navigator and i'm gonna add up here overlay color as a transparent now if i click on wait and currently uh, we can't see overlay color because if it's on the top then it will be uh, i think visible to us okay and now if i uh make this like this default status close and now if i show you overlay property uh let me click on this uh i don't think it's working anymore okay let's close this you know uh, let's make it, it, it as it, it, it as it was all right now we are working on this uh custom drawer content so let's continue working on that now uh, let's go to the custom drawer content and uh, what else the next content which we have like the next menu we have that is called heart icon okay so for the heart icon we're gonna search uh, font awesome uh, let's search heart icon quickly mm, yeah so we have a heart icon so i'm gonna use this uh, font awesome uh, heart uh, font awesome heart icon will looks pretty well 
uh, what do you think guys uh, yeah I'm gonna use this you know this icon uh, not I'm gonna use this and design hot toe icon okay so let's use that icon so here I'm gonna use uh, uh, you know uh, which icon is gonna be and design icon so let me go here copy this name import the and design quickly uh, like this replace with control D and add and design after that uh, let's scroll down uh, and uh, we're gonna have name is and design and the name will be Hotto and the profile name will become liked song if I'm not wrong all right like liked song so let's make it liked songs if I'm not wrong all right now if I reload it and if you see that there is some error we had uh, done right now import uh, import import uh, what is the mistake I okay I mistake some here something like this uh, what's the mistake I'm not able to understand font awesome has it been already been declared all right so where had making repeat pro now let me reload it once more okay I'm gonna remove okay okay I've already import you know have already and design so I'm again you know doing this uh, and design stuff that's why it was throwing some kind of error now you can see that the icon color is secondary color and I was by default making it a primary color so let's update the icon color as well so icon color should be icon secondary my bad I'm totally uh, sad okay icon secondary and hair as well on this top as well so we're gonna have a icon secondary now after this liked song we're gonna have uh, another item uh, okay before that we're gonna ha also have a one one thing that is called on press so if you want to you know remember user click on on press and if you want to navigate it so we're gonna have props so do we have props yeah we have props and we have we're gonna have called props dot uh, navigation navigation dot uh, navigate and whatever the screen we want to navigate so I want to navigate to the like screen okay now if you user click on like screen it's not uh, behaving anymore let's reload this app and mix maximum date update exceeded so let me try again update it okay uh, let's comment this code for now okay okay the mistake which i had done right now like you know directly i calling the function which is pretty like, you know blunder mistake it should be like this all right and let's give a sort once more okay now we are able to see the like screen now let's go back and it's working pretty well okay now let's go on the browser and we're gonna have a long ways uh, component so let's use that as well so I'm gonna copy this whole code and we're gonna name as a long uh, instead of having a liked song uh, long wage uh, long wage okay long wage and we're gonna name this uh, name as a long wage long wage and do we have any icon with a long wage no so let's search the long wage icon uh, on the react native vectors icon and we're gonna use this uh, font awesome icon okay so let's use this font awesome language icon all right and uh, yeah now after this we're gonna have another item that is called uh, that is called what contact us so let's add a contact us as well so quickly let's add the con contact uh, contact us okay uh, that's looking well contact us and FAQs uh, let's copy this again and and we're gonna have a called FAQs FAQs okay and after that we're gonna have a setting icon so let's copy this again and we're gonna have called uh, setting text setting okay settings not settings and let's add the icon quickly as well so after this so i'm gonna you know i'm gonna already search some icons so for the context as i'm gonna write envelope envelope dot o and now yeah it's looking pretty well and for the epic use i'm gonna use this icon that is called question okay let's search for a question circle uh question circle and dash o yeah looking pretty well and for the setting i'm gonna use uh, another icon that is called uh, coz icon and let's give a sort cog 
and yeah awesome we had done with that and uh, you know whenever user click on this close the drawer should get closed so we have also integrate that as well so let's go to the drawer navigator before that let's close this default status as open because we don't want anymore and now let's click on this reload the app now after this we are having on the home screen now when user click on this it opening the drawer navigator when user click on this it should get closed right so let's add that functionality as well so let's we have to go inside the drawer navigator and let's go to the custom drawer content and inside that uh, i'm gonna add called const uh, const toggle uh, drawer all right const toggle drawer and we're gonna have a function like this and i'm gonna write props dot uh, navigation dot uh, toggle uh, toggle drawer all right so we had created one function called toggle drawer and we what we are doing here we are just calling the function props dot navigation dot not navigation i think it should be navigation here if you see that uh, props dot navigation dot toggle drawer not okay so i make a mistake that it should be navigation dot uh, toggle drawer and if you want to see that right you can also search on this uh, react native drawer documentation here uh, yeah here here we are gonna have a toggle uh, drawer all right and we're gonna have a multiple way to toggle the drawer as well like props dot navigation okay uh, okay cool not a big deal so we're gonna have a props dot navigation dot toggle drawer and let's call this function whenever user click on close icon so i'm gonna add on press event and i'm gonna call this function now let's give a shot let's click on this and we are able to see that it's working pretty well all right so if you talk about this all this stuff let's see let's close all the file let's see what we have done so whenever user click on this player it will start opening the player screen we had uh, completed this uh, uh, what you call this uh, drawer navigator as well we had also work on this uh, menu as well user click on like song it went to the like song page as well all right now let's go back now before that let me explain all the code whatever we had done it so it become easier to for you to build this project okay so first of all inside the app.jsx initially we are having just a stack navigation now we are having also drawer navigator so now we are just having castle handle root view inside that we are having navigation container after that we are having a drawer navigator now if you go to the drawer navigator okay we are having a drawer dot navigator okay and inside that drawer dot navigator we had passed the skin option like we don't want to show header zone as a false and the drawer type we are defined as slides basically what the slide means so you can see that the rest of the content is also sliding okay so if you want to make a different kind of like you know back front whatever you can uh you know uh, add it as well so i'm gonna for now i'm gonna you know the slide uh drawer as well after that we had created one property another property that's good called drawer content name is a custom drawer content now if i open to the custom drawer content here inside the custom drawer content we had created this drawer custom drawer by def you know from scratch so first of all what we had done here we are importing drawer content is called view from this uh from this react navigation drawer and after that we are having a one view and inside this view we are having a two icon the first icon is close icon then after that we are having a sun and moon icon okay now as you can see that uh, this uh, header icon contain as a flex row justify contain space between align item center after this you know drawer content is called view uh, we are having a, a you know inside the content we have also given them background color is padding also we have given and after this header icon container we are using this uh, another view inside that drawer item container out there and we are just given the margin vertically and after that we are having some drawer item as you can say profile like and we are having a label icon we are running the icon we are running the label we have also defined the label style so if you want to customize this you know from medium to large you can customize the font size totally up to you but yeah i'm preferring the medium size for now okay so yeah this is the all the things and if you want to navigate from you know from one screen to another screen so you have options called props dot navigation dot navigate and we are getting the props from the here and we are passing the props here and we are passing the props to the this component from this drawer content like this all right and if you click on close so it get closed so yeah this is the all things which we had created so so if you see on the figma what we had done at at so we had completed this home screen 
all right we had completed the toggle player as well all right and we had also completed this like a screen and the player as well and we had also completed this uh what you get draw a navigator now we have to add the functionality on our app basically we have to add a list of songs all right and we have to add a functionality to play the music okay so first of all what we have to do we have to you know create a data okay so we have to create a data so i'm gonna create one folder called data inside the uh, data folder i'm gonna create another file that is called songs uh, with category songs with category dot js okay and i'm gonna you know create one variable uh, export export const uh, songs uh, with category okay so basically how it's gonna data will be gonna look like so it's gonna be one object and inside that it's gonna be a title like what is the category name okay the title so let's suppose uh, if, you, if you are working for if you want the category name will be recommended song so we can have a, a recommended uh, recommended uh, songs recommended uh, okay let's do like that recommended uh, recommend recommended for you all right so let's make it like this and we're gonna have uh, some songs so i'm gonna add a uh, songs like this and look how we gonna add a uh, songs right so that's one of the most important thing so before that uh, we also gonna use one package that is called react native track player okay so let's search for react native track player now if you scroll down this is the web type, website rntp.to you have to open with this weapon this website so click on get it started so basically whenever you are using this uh, uh, you know to play uh, like you know if you're working on music player functionality so you have to, first of all you have to install this so we will install this later before let me make the data first of all so the data which we want we want you know the url title artist okay and the artwork like this okay so first of all what we need let's suppose uh, for this app i'm gonna using this you know ncsmusicwebsite.com so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let's suppose uh, i want to add these songs like popular release category and let's suppose if i click on this song okay after that i'm gonna click on download track so it will get downloaded as you can see that once it get downloaded i'm gonna also you know op open the image in, image in new tab it bit low quality i think okay no problem open image in new tab i'm gonna copy this link okay before that you have to go to the, this website react native track player like this okay let me again you have to visit this, this website click on get started after that you have to click on uh, getting started and you have to copy this object okay so i just copy this object and after that here we are having a one songs array inside the song array we have to create one object like this and we have to paste this all the things okay now here let me explain you guys what we need uh, what is the one of the most important things for app uh, so let me tell you guys so first of all uh, the, the url the ideal file url the artist uh, basically this uh, artist you know and album we don't need we can get rid of generation uh, artwork okay so in this form we have to pass the data basically these keys are required okay that's a, like you know main funda like if you are using react native track player it won this all the key pair okay so first of all uh, let's copy the okay so we have to let's suppose i'm using this uh, song royalty okay this song my bad uh, let me copy this song name uh, this this is a song song name right so i just copy the name i think royalty is a name if i'm not wrong yeah royalty is the name of the song so i'm gonna title with royalty and the artist name is what the artist name is uh i think let me copy this only is god the first artist name artist is as god and the thumbnail url the artwork means the thumbnail url we want so let me copy the thumbnail url like this copy this url and after that i'm gonna add this in the artwork all right now we want the music player url right this uh, music url okay so how we can get this music url we are not able to get the music url here right so first of all i downloaded this instrument uh, this track after that you have to open the superbase or you can open the uh, you know uh, firebase as well so superbase has one thing that is called firebase sto storage so you have to click on superbase the open source firebase alternative once you click on that you will uh, went to this this website 
okay so click on start project start your project so why we are using uh, superbase basically we are going to use superbase to store our musics okay now click on new project and click on uh, like my organization if you had not created a superbase project uh, superbase account it's too straightforward uh, you have to just sign up with uh, google sign up with a uh, github whatever you are comfortable once you're done with that you will get to the, this project this interface here we can see all project so you have to click on new project okay and you have to click on choose yourself mdl channel or whatever the username your and i'm going to create like you know ncs uh, music okay ncs music the database password gonna be uh, I'm gonna just copy this. I'm not gonna use database. I'm gonna use only one service. That service, you know, uh, uh, basically, uh, what do you say? I'm gonna. I'm using this only service, uh, storage service. So I don't. I'm not using database service. But yeah, let's create a project. So I just create a new project. After this, once you create a project, you will see on the sidebar uh, options. Okay. So you can see there is one option called storage. You have to click on the storage on this button storage so let's click on storage once more and all right uh, after that uh, okay so as you can see that currently project is set up setting up the project so let's wait for some seconds once the project is set up we will click on this uh, storage and on this storage we are going to upload our music make sense so basically uh, you can in the storage we can upload our music uh, images whatever you want you can upload that image and you will get the url make sense and after that we are going to add that url all right clear so before that uh, you can see that uh, what we had done right now we had created one object song with category okay inside this uh, title we define the title uh, the title is like recommended for you and after that we are having a songs and inside the songs we are having url the what is the song url the title whatever the title gonna be artist name it could be here and the artwork is thumbnail basically and uh there's one more thing that is url which we are gonna add it after some seconds so as you can see that our project is successfully uh set up up and after that you have to click on storage once it's created storage now after that uh you have to click on new bucket okay so let me create on new bucket quickly uh so i'm gonna make a, a name of bucket gonna be uh my app or anything like ncs uh ncs like that and i'm gonna make it public bucket for now and i'm gonna click on save anyone can read any object so i make it public so i can any user can read the songs okay now as you can see that we had created our bucket so upload your file you can just drag your file here all right like drop your files here or you can also click on upload file button and upload your song let's upload one song here so as you can see that it started uploading one file but we are getting one error we are getting error because you know that this song name you know the name of the if i show you the song name it has a special character which uh super base doesn't allow so it should be you know uh, in the camel case or it should be like this if i show you so it's, it should be song like this okay so this in this manner the song name should be like it should be a one casing like there should be no extra space like that okay so if i click on upload file uh, another song in this file name one.mp3 it will easily get uploaded so let's wait for some seconds so as you can see that the file get uploaded all right now after that once the file get uploaded you have to click on this icon and you have to click on get url okay the you had copy the url once you copy the url you have to go here okay and you have to just add this url okay now as you can see that we had uh, you know created one object of this recommended for your songs here we added the song url okay and after that uh, we had added the title artist and the artwork okay now like this we are going to download some more songs and uh, going to add some more songs all right so first of all i'm gonna close this tabs to the right and i'm gonna search ncs uh, music okay once i search ncs music i'm gonna open on this website and let me close this click on this logo ncs and after that i'm gonna download this uh, this uh, music uh, so let's click on this music cradles and click on download track okay so it will start downloading okay now as you can see that the file is has been downloaded and i'm gonna name as a two for now and i'm gonna create on bucket now let's upload file and i'm gonna upload the second file as well all right the second file is also get uploaded in some seconds now after that let's go to this website open image in new tab 
copy the image url but it's bit you no know, low quality okay okay let's try with the another image quality because i don't prefer the low quality image okay so i'm gonna copy the name uh, the name is suburban the name is cradles okay so i'm gonna copy this name again like you know copy this whole object all right and i'm gonna name as a uh, cradles and the artist name is uh, if i show you the artist name is suburban okay so let's add the artist name here okay and uh, we want the you know uh, what we want uh, suburban and we want the uh, song url so let's go to the bucket let's click on right click on this get url after that close this add this uh, song url here like this and let's add this any image so for the image what i'm gonna do guys let's go back and i think this image uh, looks quite bit well so as you know that i'm using one extension that is called view background image so let's click on this and i'm gonna use this image okay and let's replace this image url with the new one or else what you can do now if you don't want to you know use this url you can just download the image save images and once you download that you can just you know upload any kind of file and use it on you will get the url all right now after that uh, you had created two object okay so what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna create one another file that is called songs.js okay and here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one uh, object like you know export uh, to make it much more readable for you got guys const uh, recommended song recommended uh, recommended songs is equal to an array like this and here i'm gonna copy this whole array like this cut this array from here okay and we are going to the song.js file and i'm gonna paste this like this my bad oh 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 oh, oh my bad my bad so i'm gonna copy this whole object like this so let me collapse this and i'm gonna cut this okay now let's go to the song.js and i'm gonna add it here like this all right and if we go here we are having a recommended song category like key let's go to the song with category here we're gonna import that array of data awesome now we're gonna add some more songs here and we can have a as you can see that here we had it just two items so like this i'm gonna add more item so so let's add this song a donor song so i'm gonna click on this after that click on download track the song will get downloaded and this is how you can you know add the more song so i will add some more songs so let's upload this file uh, click on this uh, i'm gonna make it three for now and i'm gonna upload this file open so the song will get uploaded and i'm gonna open image in new tab okay it's the image looking pretty well which i loved it and after that i'm gonna replace this image uh, with this uh, new one and the song name is almost uh, Dona, so let's copy the name Dona, okay, and uh, Dona, and the artist name is uh, only I'm taking the first artist name. Sorry for that, bro. But yeah, <laughs> Sondi. Okay, this is how we can add uh, more item. But yeah, let's add the song, uh, you know, as well. So I'm gonna clicking on this, click on this, and get URL. Once I get the URL, and uh, let me add it as well. All right. Now what we had done here, let me explain you guys. I'm gonna close all the tabs okay so first of all we had created one you know one object one array of object one array of objects here we are calling this ob array of object called song card with category the first key is called title inside the title we are having a naming as a like recommended for you and another key is called songs and inside the songs we are having a, a, a like you know we are having an array of objects that is called recommended songs and here we are having url title artist and the artwork so the url is like you know uh, the song url which we had uploaded on superbase and get that url the title of the song and the artist uh, name and the artwork artwork means image all right now uh, after that what we are going to do we can have a much more data so i will add some more data you know bef uh, under the hood so i'm going to stop my screens here and like i will upload some data on superbase okay and we will like you know uh, make it like much more cooler so once you add the data it's gonna be look pretty well so you can add download the date songs from here upload the songs on a music player and you can get the image by click on image url and you can have some data like that after that what we are going to do we are going to render that data here dynamically and we will add the functionality 
so let's add let's add the data and after that i'm gonna add this uh, functionality on the home screen all right uh, so as you, i told you that i had i had added some data so if i show you guys inside the source we have data directory inside data directory we are having songs.js and we are also having songs with category.js file here i had created one category that category name is called recommended for you and here on the songs we are passing this recommended song as you can see that and in the recommended songs i added some data like almost five datas okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add some more category but the song is gonna be same okay so i'm gonna just copy paste this all the things and i'm gonna make it like you know uh, let new release uh new uh, release new release and it's gonna be uh, another song called uh, you know Alan Walker or uh, NCS uh, songs all right like this so we had created this kind of category after that uh, you know this is the data so let me make once explain you guys how it's gonna be basically uh, we are going to render this column so as you can see that in the first flat list we are rendering this array of items so it could show the four uh, you know four looping of this song with category details Okay, so if I draw you with the Excel C draw, like you know, there's one. If I explain you by drawing this, so Excel D. Okay, so I'm gonna open this website, and I'm gonna draw you something, guys, quickly. So let me open this website. So the data structure which we have. Let me you know delete all the things, and if I explain you guys, so how it's gonna be like this. So we are having this, you know, our screen. Okay, and inside this we are having a song with category. Okay, so if I show you guys, if I just copy the data. Let me copy the data and I'm gonna add the data here to make it simpler for you guys. And I'm gonna add a one text. Okay, so as you can see that we are having a title, right? So first in the flat list, in the first flat list, flat list, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just render these items. So in, in the flat list, we are passing this data. Okay, so we are passing this uh, data, all right? That uh, we are just passing this uh, data let me write like this okay so we are having a data and if we are passing this inside a flat list okay so it will loop the data right in a what is like in a column direction so basically it will loop the first item second item third item like, like this so it's gonna be first items uh, after that second okay let me copy this again okay copy paste it's gonna be second item and so on all right so after that if you see that uh, we are just rendering this song all right but we also want that the song should be horizontal direction like this okay so it's what is gonna happen we are uh, we need another flat list right which is you know handling this uh, list of song inside of one row okay so we are you know trying to do a nested data right so how we are supposed to doing like you know write it so basically first inside the flat list we are passing this data okay and after that on the second of after that uh, we are having another flat list so if i show you guys on the home screen so if you see on the home screen we are having a flat list okay and we are just looping this song card with category right so it's just looping this uh, this component this is a one component that is called song card with category we are looping that item make sense so it could be you know uh, here what is going to happen here the data this is the data which we are going to pass this data and we are looping that items to the four like you know whatever the size of an array items so we are looping at that point of time like it's currently we are having seven times so we are looping this song card with category almost seven time all right now after that uh, what we need now we need in a horizontal direction right uh, like you know the song card should be also in a horizontal direction so for that inside this flat list this is a parent flat list uh, if i explain you guys so this is a parent flat list okay uh, let me do it. this is the parent flat list like this is the parent fl flat list okay this all is a parent flat list and this is a children flat list okay so it's it's, ki it's like kind of that so basically we are like you know inside a flat list item we are again having a flat list so if i explain you once more so first of all what we are trying to do we are having a data we are passing this data and we are rendering this data in a column right so we are getting the first item second item and the third item and so on and inside the flat list item we are again having one flat list which is handling the horizontal direction make sense so the if i explain you guys this is the uh, this uh, this one stuff this is a one flat list okay this is the one flat list item inside this we are having this uh, songs songs items like this okay and this is how it's gonna be like this make sense so let's code it and explain you guys but before that let me explain you once more 
uh, the data structure which we had followed so inside the songs with category we are having the category name like title of the category and the song so currently we are, I'm just you know created one only one song uh, like array of data recommended songs here we are having some data so we are having a URL which uh, I get the URL from the super base I uploaded the audio file on the URL and after the title artist and heart uh, artwork but you know guys uh, what else I'm gonna do I'm gonna also provide this uh, JSON as well so you guys can also copy paste and you don't have to again create data all right and you can see that this is the data which we have URL title artist and the artwork okay so make sure this all the key should be there you can't be another key because in the react native tracker it is required to mention that url key should be there for the audio file title should be the song name and the artwork should be for the image so make sure to use this all right now let's go back so this is the song card with category we are exporting that as well and inside the songs there we had created an array of data array of objects and we are also exporting that so let's go on the song with song with categories so i'm going to copy this all right and i'm going to go inside my home screen so let's go to the home screen and as you can see that currently we had passing this static data static array of data now i'm going to pass this uh, songs with category and i'm going to import this as well so as you can see that i imported the song card with category all right now as you can see that currently we are just looping this item three times because the currently we are just having a three titles like three categories that's why it's you know it's uh, rendering three times all right now i'm gonna comment you know i'm gonna remove this and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a component like this okay and i'm gonna pass the item like this uh okay so uh, you can also pass the component like directly if it's totally up to you but yeah let's uh, pass as, as so i'm gonna making is like you know as it was already and i'm gonna go inside that song card with category component so first of all what is happening we are having a flat list which is looping the item of uh, four times like whatever the size of the array so we are looping that and inside the uh, this flat list item so let's go to the flat list item we gonna have another flat list which is render the item in a horizontal direction okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get the item so this is how we get the item in a flat list once we get the item uh, we gonna show the title so how we can show the title so i'm gonna remove this recommended for you static text all right and here i'm gonna write item dot title all right and if i show you guys so if i reload this let me reload the app and let's check it out does it change something mm, yeah it changed you can see that now we have recommended for you we are having new release song a new release and ncs songs all right now let's change the image as well to change the image what we are going to do basically and here uh, if you see on the data so i'm gonna close others file so if i show you the song card with category so we are having the title and we are having the item dot songs okay so currently we are renting the item dot title now here we have to pass the items on songs for the uh, flat list item so i'm gonna write item dot songs like this okay now if i reload this uh, currently uh, we are having a same kind of item right but the count get you know change maybe now let's go to the song card component inside the song card component i'm gonna get the item like this okay now once we get the item what i'm gonna do i'm gonna change the title so currently we are having a static title so let me first of all think the like item dot uh, artwork so i'm gonna go to the song with category sorry i'm gonna go inside this data uh, songs with category and here we are having a recommended song so if i open this key so here we are having uh, artwork so i'm gonna copy the artwork because that's the uh, how we can read the image item dot artwork and now if i reload it guys for you say so let's see oh, boom gonna be changed all the image is gonna change right and this is looking pretty well what do you think guys pretty well yeah and this image like looking so weird like monster go home it's too horrible so i'm gonna change this item uh, i'm gonna make this item in the bottom instead of having on the top because it's looking so uh, you know horror kind of so i'm gonna let's go to the recommended song and i'm gonna you know uh, cut the uh, you know this item and i'm gonna move this item in the last because i don't like that item <laughs> for now okay and uh, i'm gonna remove this i don't know how i make this okay now if you see that it's looking pretty well which i feel guys all right now uh, let me reload this once more now 
inside the song card we are getting the item and here we are rendering the item dot work at work and here we can also render the item dot item dot uh, title all right now let's see we are able to see the title no we have to reload the app again and let's check so as you can see that we are getting the title as well as you fade away cattle dessert take me away outside the box royal all the songs and here i'm gonna add this uh you know artist name as well so i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna replace with artist okay now i'll reload it once more okay now we are able to see the artist name as well awesome looking good yeah i think so it's looking pretty well and if you want to suffer it like you know if you want to pass the different data like if you want to uh, you know you want to pass a recommended it's a place of recommended songs like for the new release you want a new array so you can create a new array you can dump the data but now i'm gonna use the same item all right because i don't want to create a more data for now guys so that's why uh it's looking like this okay so first of all let me explain you guys what we had done till at uh, and it is one of the most crucial topic to uh, understand and I also spend a lot of times to build this kind of UI if I explain you once more guys what is happening so here we are having a home screen inside the home screen we are having a flat paste okay and the data we are passing like songs with category data as you can see that uh, we are having a title in the songs basically uh, this is like the data and we are passing this data all right and after that uh, we are again the, the item is like song card with category so we went to the song card with category here we are getting the item as flatly split on the item so we are running the title this is a title and after that we had created a flat list which is the horizontal flat list and here we had passed the list of items which is rendering in a uh, you know horizontal direction as simple as that and after that uh, we are having a you know song card component inside the song card component we are getting the item and we are running the item dot artwork basically the image and the title and the artist name all right so after that what we gonna do once uh, after that we have to work uh, for this you know player screen so we're gonna work for player screen along with the react native track player setup okay so what i'm gonna do guys right now i'm going to install this react native track player so let's search a package called react native track player npm okay so basically what uh, what we are going to do first of all uh, uh, we are going to add a you know song play functionality like when a user click on this song it will start playing okay now once we're done with that after that we are going to work on this player screen okay so let's uh, work like you know let's see how to play song using react native track player make sense so let's go on the browser and we are going to the, this website react native track player npm click on this once you click on this uh, you will see a command npm i react native track player so let's copy this command and after that let's stop the emulator and paste this command and hit enter okay so once you hit enter it will start uh, you know installing the react native track player after that let me start the npm start okay so it will start the server and if it's scrolled down as you can see that has installation uh, stuff all the there is there like so basically first of all what we have to do we have to set up the track player and after that we're gonna add the track player dot add and we can play the item okay so this is the simplest way to play that song in react native so we're gonna see that how we do that so let's click on this home page so once we click on this home page uh, we went to this website after that let's click on this website rntp.dev click on get started and meanwhile let me start the you know installation of app as well so here we can see that how we had to set up the react native track player or you can just you know follow this website as well so what you have to search just search react native track uh, player to set up the react native track player once you search it you went to this this website rntp.dev click on this website once you click on that click on get started after that i had i had already run this command so i had set i had installed the react native track player this is the ios setup so we are not setting the ios for now we are just focusing on android after that you have to click on getting started okay so what they are telling that uh, first you need to register a playback service after after uh, register the main component by your app typically index.js file okay so you have to uh, create one file that is called service.js and you have to uh, you know inside the app.js file you have to register your track player okay so i'm going to create one file that is called service.js 
okay so let's create one file in the root name is a service.js okay now after creating a service.js file uh, we have to you know copy this line of code for now and i'm going to just add this you know empty module this service needs to be registered for the module to work but it will be used to later in you know, a receiving event so we're going to use this you know we're going to add some uh, co code data here as well in a future but uh, after that what we're going to do we're going to register this so i'm going to copy this line of code and we're going to go inside the index.js file and after this app register company uh, register component i'm going to paste this line of code track player dot register play pack service and i'm going to import this as well so I'm, i imported the track player from the react native track player okay now if i reload this again and uh, let's see uh okay perfect now once we're done with that uh what you have to do uh we have to copy this line import track player import uh, react native track player and await track player sort setup okay so let's copy this line of code quickly so i'm gonna copy this line of code and i'm gonna go to the app.jsx okay and i'm gonna add this line import track player from the react native track player and to set up the track player we have to copy this line of code okay so let me add one code uh, we will like, you know make it much more you know we will uh, improve the code mode in future so first let's work on this functionality so we're gonna add this line of code await track players or set up player so i'm gonna import this uh, track player and before that let's add a you know async function as well so i'm gonna make this async okay like this and i think we can't make it async this function so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create another function that is called const uh, setup uh, player okay and here i'm gonna make this async function and like this and i'm gonna move this code here all right and i'm gonna call this function inside this use effect perfect sounds good now if i reload this uh, i'm gonna call this function once it's set up so track uh, player uh, set up successfully something like this and let me reload this once more okay so as you can see that i had track track player has been set up successfully now if i go to the browser so as you can see that uh, adding tracks to the player uh, playback queue uh, we are having some data so this is how we can add the data so if you are having a multiple data so you can add it like this or you can uh, just you know add one object as well so what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna just for playing purpose so i'm gonna go inside my uh, player screen uh, okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna open my source i'm gonna open my component and here we are having a uh, this called a uh, song card so i'm gonna go inside the song card and here whenever you click on this uh, container so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add click one i'm gonna create one function called handle play and here we get the item right the whatever the item we had clicked so let me add a console here as well okay so and when we call this function i'm going to add on press event and i'm going to call this function on whenever the user click on touchable opacity now i'm going to click or i'm going to press on this touchable opacity and let's see currently uh have to again again install my app because it's become disabled now basically to you know play a song in you know if you're having just one item so you what you have to do you have to just pass like this uh where's the example okay let me show you guys to just play one song let's suppose you are having one object so what you have to do you have to write track player dot add like this and you have to just write away track plot dot play if you're having multiple data let's suppose you are having data in a uh, array of uh, array of objects so you can use like this and after that you can use uh, track player dot uh, play like this okay now let's see now if i click on this song cradle so as you can see that we are getting the item in a very weird manner okay uh, let me see that what I'm getting right now. Uh, okay, so I'm getting this item Which is looking too weird. Okay, so I'm gonna pass this function pass this function like this. So Handle play and we're gonna pass the item like this Okay, now if I reload the app and again click on this uh, item and let's see what we are getting We are getting this artist artwork and this kind of image. All right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to play the song like this here so to play the song what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write here uh await await track player okay dot track player dot add okay and here i'm gonna pass the item okay and we have to make this function as a async so let's make this async okay and after that i'm gonna write a code that is called 
track player dot play so i'm going to write await track player dot play like this okay now let's give a sort and let's see if it's working or not so i just reload my app and you can see that track player setup success and let's click on this song uh not as you can see that it started playing all right perfectly you can see the song you can hear listen the song right uh, so i just mute the song of this emulator all right so this is how we can play the song in a simpler manner what you have to do you have to just add the object or wait track player dot add and after that you have to just play the song now let's suppose if i want to play the out i want to stop the song so how we can stop the song so here we are having called track player dot pose okay so i'm gonna just copy this line of code and let me add it so i'm gonna increase the song So as you can see that whenever user click on this, you know, on this card, we are calling this function called await track player dot pause, and it will pause the song. All right, and make sure to use await as well. I missed that. Okay, so to you pause the song, we can use like this. So basically, what we had done first of all, we add the item using the await track player dot add. After that, we are using await track player dot play to play the song. All right, and this is how we had make a simpler version of our music player all right now what we have to do we have to handle this song to play the list of song all the things all right and to make this uh, much more better right so what we are going to so if i make it uh, you know uh, in a bottom let's it's not a scroll okay now after this what we are going to do we're gonna see that how to play the song in a queue manner all right so currently what is happening we are just you know try with the one object now we have to see that how to play song for a queue right so basically we are going to add the song in a queue and we're going to learn that how to play song in queue all right recently we had learned that how to play a single song so let me explain that code once again so what we are doing there so first of all we add the song like we add the object whatever the object we want to play and after that we are calling the method away track plot track player dot play and it will start playing the song all right but now what we are going to see that we are going to see that how to play a song in queue basically we are going to have a one you know queue and we are going to play the song in a queue right so let's see that uh, to do that what we have to do we have to just search react native track player okay so i'm gonna open this website react native track player and you have to open this website react native track player rntp.dev after that you have to click on get started click on getting started okay so we have seen that uh, this is stuff already but uh, if you see that here what we are doing okay so here you can see that like a lot of methods like track player dot play pause reset seek to set volume we are also going to use this all skip to next skip to previous remove uh, in track index uh, remove two tracks from the queue all the things but we which i am focusing right now that is called playing the song you know uh, in a queue right so let me see yeah you can see that first of all what is happening we are adding a track in a queue like this and after that we are able to play that okay so let's do that first of all what i'm gonna do i'm gonna you know uh, we want a queue right we want an array of songs right so for that what i'm gonna do so let me explain you the code before that so we are having a home screen so let's go to the home screen here what we are doing here here we are rendering the songs uh, with category we are just looping a component songs with category and song card with category and we are just passing in an array of data all right now let's go to the songs with category okay here we get the title and we are here we are getting the songs right now what i'm gonna supposed to do guys basically here whenever user uh, you know uh, user uh, we wants an array of songs right and the array of songs is air right so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna create create a function and create a function that uh, will play a song in queue that will play a song play a, a song in queue okay so we are going to do here so all right so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write a function called handle play track okay and we're gonna have a async function all right now after that inside this function what we are going to get 
we are going to get uh, basically selected track selected track like whatever the user like let's suppose if i'm clicking on this song so this song will get selected so we are getting that song and after that we are also getting this uh, songs okay so how we are getting the songs let me explain you guys and let me see that how we can how we are going to do now here we get the selected track and here we want songs all right so how we are supposed to do basically here uh, inside that you can see that we are having a song card component so i'm gonna you know uh, cut this code i'm gonna create a one function like this okay and here we gonna passing a component all right now here i'm getting the item so let's add an item and we are going to pass this item to the song song card like this okay now once we pass the song uh, item like this inside the song card component i'm gonna also pass this function as well uh, handle play handle uh, handle play okay and what does this function gonna do basically uh, let me create a one function handle play it is a function okay and which is like gonna do basically what is gonna do it will get get the song selected uh, selected track it will get the selected track okay here okay now i'm gonna console this selected track as well here all right now as you can see that what we had done inside the uh, song card with category component here we are having a uh, you know flat list inside the flat list we are just rendering the song card now what we are doing now we are destructing the item and we are passing the item to the song card component and we are passing one extra function that is called handle play where we are getting in the argument selected track all right now what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna copy this uh, you know uh, comp you know function name and i'm going to the song card component and here uh, i'm gonna just paste this uh, function name as well okay now whenever user click on this any song whenever user click on song we will call this function like this okay we are going to call this function like this okay now initially what were initially what we are doing here, we are having this function handle play we moved it we moved this function handle play function to the top to the parent component all right now i'm gonna remove this line of code from here okay now once i remove this line of code uh, what i'm gonna do guys so let me explain you once more what we are doing here first of all uh, we had created one function handle play and we are passing that handle play function to the children component and here whatever the user select uh, like whenever user uh, you know whenever user click on any song we are calling this function along with that we are also passing this item now let's suppose if i click on any song and let's see what we are getting here all right so let me close others tab now re reload this now if i'm click on this song dona song so as you can see that we are getting this songs on the selected track here we are getting this selected track okay and that's this uh, sound artwork all the things we are getting this data all right now after that uh, i'm gonna call this function i'm gonna call this uh, another function that is called handle play track okay this function what does need handle play track need uh, basically selected track so we are having a selected track and we have to pass this item dot songs as well all right now first of all let me explain you what we are doing once again because this is quite bit uh, tough to understand uh, because this is kind of props we are doing state uplifting kind of stuff so basically what we are doing here inside the song card component we are passing one function that is called handle play and and here we are reading the handle play function and whenever user click on any card we are calling this function and we are passing this argument or item okay now once we get the item we are getting the item here after that once we get the item we are calling another function after this that is called handle play track inside the handle play track we are getting the selected track uh, inside the handle play track we need selected track and the songs so we get the selected track and we get the song right like this okay now once we get that what we are supposed to do guys once we get that what we have supposed to do if i tell you guys so first of all we have to uh, make a queue make a queue okay and play the song play the song all right so how we can do it let me do it quickly so i'm gonna write const uh, uh track index so we want to find a track index like which songs this user has clicks so i'm gonna write songs dot uh find index songs dot find index and here i'm gonna get the uh, track all right i'm gonna get the track and once i get the track i'm gonna check that track dot url is equal to the selected track dot url selected uh 
selected track dot url basically what i'm gonna doing guys so as you can see that we are having a songs this is a songs on you know, this array of songs we are having here and i'm checking that songs uh, songs uh, i'm finding the index of this track you are inside our this songs array of data all right now once we find that songs uh, index let me console let me see that what is the index we are getting now let me reload the app now after that i'm gonna click on any song let me if i click on this song donna song uh okay so we are not getting anything why uh why we are not getting anything let me again click on this still we are not getting anything that's too weird uh we are getting this selected track we are getting the item dot songs okay now if i comment this code for now track dot url is equal to selected track dot url so as you can see that we are having a find index method inside this we are getting track track dot url is equal to uh, selected track dot url okay and uh, we are not getting any console right now and uh, let me comment this code for now and i'm gonna console the selected track what we are getting so i click on this selected track we are not getting anything because this function is not calling that's why so why it's not calling guys so i'm gonna copy this function again i'm gonna call this function again here okay and we are calling this selected track item dot songs let me reload that app once more uh we click on this yeah we are now it's working so we are getting this selected track i don't know why it's not working initially so as you can see that now we are getting this selected track from here as i can if i add dot 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 and again if we click on this now it's working uh let me reload the app once more now if i click on this uh this item now we're getting the selected track so i'm gonna remove this console and i'm gonna uncomment this line of code track index code so basically what we are doing here here we are having an array of data we are finding the index of this selected track url so if i click on this oh my gosh let me reload the app uh yeah it's re reloaded possible and handle promise rejection id find index of undefined so the songs which we are getting that is coming as undefined why guys okay it's, uh, it's telling that item dot songs is undefined uh, let me add a console here songs and if i click on this let me reload the app once more and now if i click on this songs songs is coming as undefined and that's quite quite bit weird for me why it's coming as undefined okay let's do like this uh why it's coming undefined because here we are defined the item okay and uh, inside the item we are having a you know item dot songs is undefined that's why we are getting uh undefined all right so what i'm gonna suppose to do guys here the mistake you know what what we are doing the item is like you know this is item and inside this item we are checking that item dot songs but it should be checked inside this here item dot song this is the item dot songs okay inside this we have to check okay so on uh, what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna make this uh, something different so i'm gonna remove this line of code for now okay and i'm gonna read the uh, direct item dot songs from the here okay direct from this this prop so i'm gonna write like this songs is equal to item dot songs okay make sense let me reload the app basically what does need now it's need and uh, songs is the array of data we want an array of data here what we are have what is happening now here if i do the console item dot song so it is undefined because item dot song is on the parent not on the children that's why it's what uh, it was throwing as undefined but if i console here songs uh, inside here we are gonna get the songs if i click on this now you can see that we are getting an array of data all right so i'm gonna remove this console and okay let me explain you once more because i make it messy but let me make it easier for you guys so as you can see that we are having a flat list right here we are having a song card component we are passing a handle play function we are getting the selected track whatever the user clicking on that after that we are calling a function that is called and handle play track here we are getting the selected track whatever the user has been selected okay and after that we need a songs right so to how we can need how we can get the songs we can get the songs like this if i if i'm gonna remove this line of code from here and i'm what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write like this const songs is equal to item dot uh item uh, dot songs like this item dot songs okay we can also do like this so we get the array of songs all right array of songs 
array of songs like this and after that we get the track index now if i reload the app okay i just reload the app and now if i click on any songs let me click on donna so as you can see that we are getting track indexes of one and if i click on this we are getting track indexes of one all right if i click on this track indexes is two all right so this is how what we are done till at we had just reading the song we are getting the selected track after that we are having an array of songs we are finding the index of this selected track song okay now once we get the selected track track in track index what we are supposed to do okay before that we check that if a uh, track doesn't exist if this track doesn't exist if track does not exist so what i'm gonna do uh, that will return a uh, minus one if track index is equal to uh, minus one then what you guys have to do you have to just return it not do nothing return it we don't have to move further because this song doesn't exist which i click on this item that song doesn't exist because we are finding the index like does uh, match basically we are checking that that's uh, like you know in the songs we are does we have same url like we have any items like with this song okay now after that what we are going to do we are going to create one a uh, queue okay we have to create a v queue so what i'm going to do i'm going to write before tracks before uh, tracks okay so i'm going to create you know previous song so i'm going to write songs dot slice songs dot slice here i'm passing zero comma track index zero comma track index all right so it will return the before songs if i console it before tracks and reload the app and if i click on any songs let's suppose if i click on this songs donna songs oh my gosh let me reload that quickly now if i click on this songs donna songs as you can see that we are getting the <coughs> the first song sub urban songs okay this this song is like you know uh, previous songs now if i click on this as you fade away now as you can see that we are getting the two songs sunday and some kind of songs all right and after that uh, what we are supposed to do once we get the pre before track song and we have to also get the uh, after track song so uh, i'm gonna write const const uh, uh, after tracks after tracks is equal to songs dot songs dot slice okay and it it will be track index track index plus one okay so what we are doing here basically what we had done we had created two array we had created a two array okay the before like let's suppose if i click on this song so here we are having a previous uh, songs array and here we are having a uh, next songs array all right from starting with this okay now what we are supposed to do we are going to add a track player dot add so i'm going to write await track player okay track player track uh, player dot okay before that what we are supposed to do we have to reset the songs it, let's suppose if there is already some songs is playing some songs in the queue so we have to reset that reset that all the songs once we reset the songs we have to add await track player track player dot add all right and we have to add a selected track first of all once i add the selected track okay now after that we have to add uh we have to add a you know new songs await track player <coughs> track player dot add uh, after tracks after tracks all right now once we're done with that we have to add a await track player dot before track song track player dot add before tracks before tracks all right so let me explain you guys once more what we are doing here this is the logic for adding the song once we add the songs in a queue i'm gonna play the song await track player track player dot play simple now let me explain you guys quickly so what we are doing here here inside the song card component inside the song card here you can see that we are having a flat list here we are just looping the song card component okay and here we are getting a one where we are passing a one function that is called handle play so whenever we click on any songs so we are calling this function handle play and we are calling again inside that handle play track with this uh, selected track parameter so we are getting the inside the selected play track and uh, you know let's make it much more simpler so uh, instead of having a uh, songs here i'm gonna co cut this line from here and i'm gonna write like this so basically uh, we are reading the songs from the uh, we are reading the songs from this you know uh, argument item dot songs 
and we are just declared a uh, you know uh, uh, declared a you know default value like if there is no value is coming so it will took the item dot songs okay now after that once we get the song like we once we get the selected track once we get the array of songs what we are doing here we are finding the track index we are finding the track index like which uh, what is the index of the item which i selected so if i click on this so i'm finding the item of this uh, this track As you can see that currently whenever I we click on any uh, any songs it started playing currently I just make the sound as a zero that's why you can't hear you I think so now so let me explain you guys once more so whenever user click on any or uh, any song so we are finding the index of that song like this once you find the index if you check that if track index doesn't means if the item doesn't exist in the array so we are just returning is a like just return the function after that we are creating an array of data okay so first we are creating a uh, songs like before tracks okay before the selected track we are creating creating an array of data and we are cre creating an after the track songs okay so we get the two a uh, two uh, you know two uh, uh, two array okay now after that if there is already song is playing so we are re resetting the song okay once we reset the song after that we are adding in a queue we are adding the selected track as a queue the first item go to the selected track so if i explain you with the excel excel sheet draw let me explain you guys uh, this is like you know quite bit interesting to understand as well so i'm going to uh, remove this so as you can see that we are having this uh, this our phone and we are having some data like this is a first song second song uh, second song and let me copy this uh, okay let me copy this uh, copy paste 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 okay so we are having like you know this uh, kind of songs so let's suppose if user click on any songs uh, let me you know move it bro okay delete it right now okay now if let's suppose if user click on any songs if a user click on any songs okay let's suppose if user is clicking on this song okay this is the uh, so what we are doing here we are checking that what is the index of this uh, uh this songs inside this array so we are getting the zero one we are getting the one okay once we get the one what we are doing here we are creating a uh, array of data we are creating what we are creating uh we are creating a uh, you know before tracks before tracks let me copy the code uh we are creating the before tracks and after tracks okay so first of all we are creating a uh, okay let me copy the code let me yeah so we are creating out two things the, the first thing is called before tracks so using this index like suppose if it's one index so we are creating one array which is like you know which is returning this before track songs so we get the this item all right this this one array and we are creating another uh we are after that we are again creating another array using the songs of slight method that will return this an array okay so we get the two array okay now after that uh, if there is already song is playing so we are doing the track player dot reset once we reset that uh, we are playing the track player we have the first queue the first song in the queue gonna be track player dot this selected track after that we are adding in a queue this uh, after track song and after that queue it's gonna be uh, previous uh, before track song so what is gonna happening uh, it will you know make a queue so the queue gonna be look like this uh, for now so we are having a queue like this so it will uh, first uh, it will first uh, you know in the queue the first song gonna be this one and after this song this songs and or and the last it's gonna be uh, this songs okay like this or uh, it will become a like kind of queue okay mm -hmm. now let's understand that as well so this is how uh, we are doing the songs like and after that we are playing the song now if i increase the song as you can see that Now you can hear he, now you can hear the song perfectly, right? Now once we done with that, uh, now what we have to do is you can see that we are having a uh, this floating player. But here what we have to do here we have to do much more things. We will also help you to understand that. But if you see that we have to work on this floating player, right? So let's work on this floating player the, for the functionality, and we'll also see that how to optimize this you know function. 
okay so we will see in the last basically but let me know guys if you understand or not it's too straightforward basically what we are doing inside the handle play track we are getting the selected track we are getting the array of songs we are finding the array of index like whatever the song you have selected we are creating a two array before tracks and after tracks after that we are resetting the track player we are adding the first song using the await track player dot uh, add method after that we are getting the after track song and in the last we are adding the before track songs and after that we have started playing and it become a queue all right now let's play a song so i'm gonna play the song from the bottom this song okay let's click on the song so you can see that it started playing but before we started uh, working on this player screen so we have to work on some stuff the first stuff is that if you see that whenever we, we slide this song so as you can see the draw draw and navigator is opening right it's a bug we have to fix it right so whenever you can see that i'm trying to uh, slide this song but uh, you can see that it's uh, opening the drawer all right so we have to fix that okay so how we can fix that first of all uh, let's go to the drawer i added some thumb width so i'm gonna remove that as well as it was okay and after that i just search on the google that stop drawer gesture okay so i will get this article uh, disable swipe gesture from opening the navigation drawer i get this article and here we have to scroll down and you can see that at inside the screen options we have to pass one property that is called swipe as with zero all right so i'm gonna go inside my drawer navigator inside the screen options i'm just paste this line this paste this line of code and let me reload the app and now if we swipe the player you can see that now it's not opening the drawer navigator all right this is cool and let's play the song uh, so you can see they started playing and we are able to draw you know we are able to okay i think some bug is has been come okay let's give one more shot now let's play one song and now after this let's swipe this okay and it's, you can see that's working very well all right so we had solved this problem all right awesome so how we solve this problem basically we had add just one property that is called swipe as with a zero so it will not open the drawer all right now it, it, it we can just open the drawer by clicking on this and we can uh, uh, close that by swapping as well all right now after this uh, let's close this drawer uh, after this what we have to do we have to do some uh, things as well so let me close all the files and if you go on the app.jsx so as you can see let's play if i play a song this song so you can see that when we click on go back it's not behaving like a queue okay it should go to the last item right so we have to work on that functionality as well so let's go to the app.jsx so currently you can see that the the way i set up the player like you know i'm just calling this setup player function and it is had done the setup so we gonna you know do much more configuration here like great configuration here so like caching all this stuff so I'm gonna do that right now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create one folder that is called hooks okay and inside the hook I'm gonna create one hook that is called use uh, setup track player track player dot jsx okay now after this I'm gonna create one function that is called const uh, uh, you know export uh, const export const use uh, setup player all right it's gonna be a uh, uh, like this okay and after that uh, what we are doing here uh, once we get that here we're gonna add the logic add the logic for setup player okay add the logic for setup player okay now first of all what i'm gonna do that i'm gonna write here that uh, another function for setup player so on the top i'm gonna create one function called called const const uh, setup player all right and here i'm gonna make this uh, function async async function async arrow function like this after that i'm gonna write await so i'm gonna move you know copy this line of code from here this line await track player dot setup player and i'm gonna paste this line of code okay now let's import the track player so i import the track player all right and after that here inside this object i'm gonna add one object and here i'm gonna add one property that is called maximum cache size a okay so i'm gonna you know uh, cache the size like you know whenever we start playing so we will do some caching as well so i'm doing the cache of almost 10 mb like almost 10 songs all right and after that uh, we're gonna add some property as well so i'm gonna add await track player track player dot dot update option update options okay now inside this update option i'm gonna add one property that is called 
rating uh, type rating type will be rating type uh, rating type uh, dot hot okay and all right and after that we're gonna add some capabilities the capabilities means basically you know uh, whenever the user on the log screen on the notification screen it has some capabilities so i'm gonna add that capabilities as well so inside the capabilities i'm gonna uh, add this you know from the where i'm gonna see the code so if you have to go into this react native track player website uh yeah this website click on this intro click on installation we have click on getting started and here if you scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down more further so here you can see that inside the update options we have uh, some capabilities so i'm gonna just copy this all the code okay inside the capabilities okay and you can see the capabilities that will show when the notification is in the compact from an android okay so i'm gonna copy this capabilities and add it here okay now we have to import the capability as well from the react native track player and after that we media control capabilities this is all the media control and we gonna have use this capabilities as well compact capabilities compact capabilities mean compatibilities that will show up when the notification is when the compact form on android okay so let's add that as well compact capabilities and after this we can also change the icon as well if you want to change the icon but uh, we don't want to change the icon right now so after this uh, capabilities uh, let's collapse this so first of all what we had done i had created one function called con setup player inside this i'm gonna set i'm i'm set up of the my player and inside this i'm gonna app him one property that's called max cache size so it will cache some size as well after that i'm gonna you know using this update option property inside that i'm passing some rating type rating type uh, I don't know really what yeah let's rating type dot hurt I'm passing to I think like to rate the our app and some kind of like this and we are passing the capabilities capabilities dot play pause next this all the capabilities gonna be on the notification is screen as well as on the lock screen and we're gonna also pass this compact capabilities for the compact notification all right now after this capabilities uh, we're gonna uh, you know set the volume if you want to set the uh, track player set volume as well so you can set the volume as well so set volume uh, you can set as well so let's add a set volume by default so i'm gonna set the volume by default 0 0.7 so it's gonna be almost 70 percent you can make it 50 percent or whatever you want so whenever the user open the app and play the song by default it will become 50 percent all right now let's play a song so when i play a song and when i click on back icon so it's not going to the back right but in the queue like it should go to the last song right so how we can handle that to so handle this we gonna see that uh, basically we have to add one line that is called await track player okay dot uh, set repeat mode set repeat mode and it's gonna be repeat mode dot queue okay so what is gonna happen it will you know it will become a queue okay and it, whenever you use a click on back so it started working for that we have added this line await track player dot set repeat mode and repeat mode dot queue all right and after that uh so what we had done till it so first of all we had created one function that is called const setup player and we are having a, this async function okay and here we are checking that track player dot setup player okay we are set, just set up of the player and we are passing the max cache size and uh, we are passing the like you no know, uh, almost 10 mb and after that we are having one options that is called away track player dot update options here we pass the capabilities and uh, compact capabilities and by default we set the value as at 0.5 and set repeat mode is repeat mode dot q okay now we are not calling this function right we have to also call this function okay so let's call this function inside here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a one use effect hook here okay i imported the use effect hook and here i'm gonna pass the dependency array as empty array and inside this uh, use effect hook i'm gonna call this function setup player okay like this and once we call this setup player we are calling dot then method okay inside the dot then i'm gonna uh, you know uh, tell that uh, you know console dot log uh, setup player success setup uh, player success something like that you can have okay now there's one more thing uh, which i'm gonna do guys uh, basically uh, here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create one uh, variable th that is called is initialized okay is initialized is equal to use ref uh, use ref as a false okay so we what I done like you know it's in initialized is a false by default and once uh, it gets initialized basically once the setup player has been successfully set up so I'm gonna make that it's initialized value make as a true means setup player has been successfully set up okay 
and if we get any error let's suppose if you're getting any error like here we are having an error block inside the catch we will get the error right and here i'm gonna copy this line of code and i'm gonna making it false all right now after that uh, we are you know uh, we are calling also we are oh no okay now we are done with that okay so first of all what i had done uh, i created one variable that is called is in sliced like this and by default user value is false so we are high we had created one function use effect of uh, method we are using use effect and inside that we are calling the setup player uh, method and after that we are having dot then after that we are making initialize value is a true and if you're getting any error so we are making it false all right and we are getting if any error so we also gonna error console that error as well so let's add a console here okay and now i'm gonna copy this code i'm copy this use effect use setup player hook name and go to the app.jsx and here you can see that uh, initially we had written this of line of code setup player and we are using use effect hook so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna you know uh, remove this uh, line of code okay before that let me pause the song and i'm gonna comment this line of code and here here i'm gonna just import that hook name and i just import the hook and after that i'm calling this hook cool nothing else it's simple it's straightforward okay so uh, what we had done here like you know if you see that AI we had also set up the use effect hook inside that we are calling the setup player inside this hook we are also doing the same mistake but it's also much more readable manner okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get rid of this code quickly and we're gonna this uh, call this function name uh, uh basically use setup player track player setup okay track player setup okay so if i explain you guys once more here so what we are doing here here we are having a one hook use setup player inside that we are calling use effect hook and inside that we are checking that we are calling the setup player function where we have a logic for setup player okay and after that we are just in a slice we are making it in slices of false and uh, or true whatever the condition is it going okay there's one more thing which i'm gonna do that is called on uh, i'm gonna create one function that is called on load so once the setup player has been loaded so i'm gonna pass one function on load okay and it's gonna be an array function and track player successfully track player uh, setup okay so i'm gonna call in this function so uh, let's go to the user setup uh, player function and we're gonna destructure this function as well like this and once we uh, initialize once the setup player has been done so i'm going to do this on load function like this awesome now if i reload this uh, you can see that uh, when we, whenever i reloading this so we are getting that track player setup successfully and again if i reload this so what is happening uh, again we are getting the track player set setup successfully and let's play a song quickly now you can see that it started playing as well now you can see that if i start playing this first song and if i click on this previous button so you can see that it went to the last song okay and it become a queue this is possible because hop we had created this property that is called track player dot set repeat mode repeat mode dot queue okay and that's why it's it uh, you know behaving like this uh, queue and like we can work on this okay now let's play this song and we can click on back it went to the last song awesome 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 now let me summarize it once more because it may be complicated for first times so before that uh, you can see that now we are all to able to see this you know in the notification due to our compatibilities we have passed inside the compatibilities okay initially we are not able to see on the notification now we can see it on the notification as well okay now uh, let's go to the again uh, and, and try to understand that we are having a called use setup track player let's go that here what we had done first we are called we are reading this property that is we are reading getting the function called on load and inside that we are having a variable that is called const initialized by default you we are using user of value and by default the value is false after that we are having a use effect hook inside the use effect hook we are calling a function that is called setup player once the setup player has been successfully done we are making initialize as a current as a true and we are calling this function on load as a on load function and after that if you're getting any error so we are making initialize as a current as a false and we are just consoling that error for now and after that we are calling this function setup player so if you go into set setup player function 
we are you know importing the st uh, track player or setup player and inside that we had passed the max size size is uh, almost 10 mb and after that we had passed the away track player dot update options and inside that we had passed some uh, property the first property is called rating type rating type dot hurt and after that we had passed the capabilities what is the need of capabilities so if you try to understand that whenever we uh, slide down the notification so it has uh, some capabilities like you know we can play the song pause the song skip to next and skip to previous and uh along with that you know uh, skip to next if i just try to copy this line of code whole line of code and if i you know let's copy this array of objects and if i paste this here and now if i reload the app now let's see what is the difference between is, is there any differences let's play this song okay now open the uh, this uh, tr uh, notification now we can see this all the button play button a uh, pause button skip to next skip to previous and stop button as well all right and this is possible due to because of uh, capabilities but if you stop this song you can see that it's not stopping it's not stopping because we have to add some you know service file okay so we will also see that how we can do that but if you see that let's play the song You can see that it's the song is started playing. We are able to see this all the capabilities like play icon, pause icon, skip to next, skip to previous. This compared capabilities for the notification. This capabilities for the on the lock screen. All right, but it's not working. Wha how we can fix it out? Uh, we will see that as well. So we have to do some changes on the services file, and after that it will started working well. But uh, if you see that away track player dot set volume, we have set the volume by default, and we are also set the set repeat mode as a repeat mode dot q. Repeat mode dot q means like you know once the last song has been completed, start will you know be coming a queue like you know it it will loop uh, that queue. That's why uh, it's now you know whenever we play this song first song and when we click on back icon, it went to the last song. This is possible because of this line. And after that, because you can see that we had just set up the track player, nothing else straightforward. All right, now let's close all the files, collapse this folder, and let's go to the service.js file because our this notification button is not working. How we can fix it out? To fix it out, we have to you know register some services. So if I click on this playback services, so here you can see that the playback services keep running when the app is in background. Okay, so it has some tasks like you know it help us to play the song in a background mid that mood in a background. That's why you use playback services. Now, if we scroll down here, you can see that we have we're gonna add uh, some funds like track player dot add event listener and so on. We can add it, but uh, but we can add it directly like this. I think so. Let's give a shot. Uh, if I copy paste this line of code and let's go to the our services file and here I just paste the code and we have to import track player my bad i have to import this track player and if i reload the app okay so i just re reload the app and now let me play a song okay now i just play the song and now open the no no notification now let's click on play icon it's still it's not working okay because of we have to let's uh, i should just search something and i got like you no know, react i just search something react native uh, track player logi uh, logic rocket something like that and uh, this is the website like log rocket you have to open this website and here we have services file so i'm gonna search service okay and you can see that there's a some services file okay and uh, let me see playback service playback service okay and here i just saw that they have set up the services file so let me quickly copy that line of code so we don't have to uh, you know again write it as well so let me scroll down scroll down uh, playback service 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 uh, okay yeah here we got it so here as you can see that we are having this all the services so I'm just copy this service you can see the playback service and I'm gonna paste this line of code okay let me paste that all the line of code and now I'm gonna app install the app once more and we're gonna see that does it uh, started working or not now let me play the song and if i open this still not working that's too weird we will see that okay all right now if you see one one more thing uh what we had done till at so we had uh, done the you know uh, whenever we play the song it start playing like this okay and we had also work on this floating player uh all the things we had work on this play pause next button icon as well 
the app installing let app the open uh now let's wait for some second now after this we're gonna work on this in a player screen let's play this song property event doesn't exist where we are using the event uh event uh property event doesn't exist oh, yeah here we are having a event uh event yeah we have to Im import the event as well so i'm gonna import the event from the react native track player so i'm gonna remove this line of code and i'm gonna import event like this and i'm gonna import the track player uh like this okay and now if we click on this now let's reload this uh okay now let's play the song okay now let's open the navigate notification click on back click on pause icon click on next icon now it's working well all right this is possible because we have to imp you know add this event initially it was not working and now it's working so what you guys have to do you hi guys have to just you know go to the this website uh, you have to just search react native track player logic rocket or L log rocket my bad <laughs> log rocket so you will get this article here you have to search playback service like just search playback service okay and you have to just copy this line of code and just paste this line of code here and it will you can do the all the fun study like remote play pause all the things and now you can see that we can handle this from the here remotely all right now let's stop the song and after this we had what we had done till that we had work on this uh home screen now whenever we play a song it start playing and uh, we had work on this uh, previous icon play icon pause icon next icon and the queue icon queue functionality as well now we have to start working on this uh player uh player screen now let's start working on this player screen so before that uh, start working on this player screen what we had done till it so we had you know created the app.jsx inside the app.jsx we had created a, created a custom hook that is called use setup track player here we had added the logic for setup track player and after that uh, we had also created update the services.js file which we had created we had updated the services.js file because you know on the remote remote means uh, which like you know if you are using your bluetooth or it's if you are hand if you want to handle this song from the notification so you can handle it from the notification that's why you are using this services and services help us to for the remote pause remote play remote next all the things and we can also this handle on the lock screen as well and that's why it's so important and and uh, apart from that yeah we are uh, uh, okay before that one more thing like you know we had passed the capabilities this capabilities allows us to show the icon on the top and that's why we are using it all right now as you can see that we had completed this home screen when we click on any song it is start playing it working all the stuff as we accepted now when we click on this uh, uh, floating player it was opening the player screen now we have to work on this player screen so first of all what we are going uh, we are going inside the screen inside the screen we are having this player screen component okay so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm gonna update this image so what we have to do i'm gonna use this hook that is called const active track you know uh, it's called active uh, track active track using the active track hook all right now we get the active track and if i console the active track let's see the console uh, if i console the active track what we are getting uh, we are getting okay let's click let's play the song let's click on this so as you can see that we are getting on one object all right now after that once we get the active track what we supposed to do we have to write active track dot title all right so let's uh, write that as well so i'm gonna copy this line of code and here uh, the place of uh, title as you can see that i'm gonna add active track dot title okay now as you can see that now it's become uh, the title we are able to see that and after that uh, if heavy uh, the artist name let's update the artist name as well so active track dot artist okay now as you can see that it's working well now we have to also update the image so let's update the image as well so active track active uh, active track dot artist not artwork and now let's check it out now as you can see that it's uh, showing the active track uh, okay now if you know that uh, here we have to add this uh, back button uh, you know back button uh, functional so what we have to do i'm gonna create one function that is uh, gonna be called const handle go back handle go back handle go back and we're gonna have an arrow function like this 
and I'm gonna write const navigation is equal to navigation const navigation is equal to use uh, navigation use uh, navigation all right and we're gonna call this like this and after that I'm gonna call this function navigation dot go back all right now after this I'm gonna call this function on this back icon on press so and on press handle go back now let's click on this song okay now let's click on this floating player okay now you can see that uh, property artwork of undefined because we are getting right now at active track is undefined so what I'm gonna do if active track is undefined if active track is not there then I'm gonna show one activity indicator to show the activity indicator what we have to do we have to you know return one view inside this view we're gonna have a uh, activity indicator so I'm gonna import the activity activity indicator like this okay the size gonna be uh, almost uh, let's see the size size gonna be large and we're gonna define the color as well so I, I'm gonna define the color as uh, colors dot uh, colors dot uh, uh, maybe prime text prime color primary text color or like okay let's do the icon primary color okay now as you can see that now if I click on this now we are able to see this all right and I'm gonna make this you know style is equal to flex as a one okay now basically what is happening let me show you guys how it's gonna be look like uh, now you can see that uh, let me reload the app now we are able to not to say see anything I'm gonna make this justify content center uh, align item center as well let's let me show you guys justify content center align item center and now we are able to not see it anything because the icon primary not it should be uh, gonna be like you know uh, maybe another color like background color I'm gonna make it for now so as you can see that now we are able to see this uh, text right uh, so what should be ideal approach so I'm gonna make this uh, color this way icon primary and I'm gonna add a background color so background color will be uh, colors dot uh, background colors dot background okay now if I show you now guys let's click on this now as you can see that this is the you know uh, uh, loader will see when the when that when the active track is loading all right when active track is not there or when active track is loading now let me reload the app now as you can see that now let me play one song so if I play this song and when I click on this song as you can see that uh, initially it will took some second like some kind of millisecond at that point of time we are trying to show a loader kind of stuff okay so that's why we are you know create this active track if there is no active track like you know if the active track is loading or processing so at that point of time just show a loader like this okay so the background color is colors dot background and we are showing activity indicator that for us some kind of one to two millisecond that's not more than that okay now after that uh, what else we can do here you can see that we are, here we are having a speaker icon you know volume icon we have to work on that functionality all right so how we can uh, you know do that as well let's see that so if you see that uh, we had added the image so let's uh, okay before that if you if you guys know that we are using this uh, for this for these three icons we had created one component that is called uh, go to previous button play boss button and which we are using here also all right and we have already added the functionality like you know on handle go to previous we are calling this function tr track player dot skip to previous and we had also added this functionality play pause button as well okay now if you click on this uh, previous it's you can see it's working well all right now let me play the song But if you see guys here we have to work on this functionality this timing and slider and this all this stuff now let's open the player screen inside the player screen as you can see that we are having this uh, you know volume icon okay volume x and volume one okay so we have to work on this functionality that when user click on this it get mute and when user again click on that it will get unmute okay so for that inside the touchable opportunity i'm gonna add uh, one function that is called on press handle uh, toggle volume okay handle toggle value I created one function and now let's create one function quickly here so const handle toggle value inside that what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create one state that is called is mute or not so const uh, is mute okay 
is mute set uh, is mute okay and i'm going to create a one state call use state as a by default false so it by default it will be on mute okay now after that when user click on toggle that so what we are going to do uh, we are going to see that like you know track player dot set a uh, volume okay we, will, we are just setting the volume okay by what if it's mute is true okay if it's mute is true then i'm gonna make the uh, you know uh, what i'm gonna make the volume is a one otherwise i'm gonna make the volume is a zero all right now let's click on this now let's click on this icon nothing is changing right because uh, we are updating the uh, you know updating the volume but we are not updating the state all right so i'm gonna update the state as well so i'm gonna make the set it mute is equal to you know uh, is mute opposite value so if it's true and then it will become false if it's false and it will become true now let's click on that and let's see that it's working or not so before that i'm gonna reload this app okay let's play the song Alright, as you can see that our mute and mute functionality is working perfectly. Now we have to start working on this uh, repeat functionality. Okay, so let's add work, start working on repeat uh, functionality. So as you, as, you, as you can see that we had created a separate component for uh, repeat toggle. So let's go to the player repeat toggle. Okay, so inside this if you guys see that we are just having a one uh, one component inside the component we are having a touchable opacity and inside that we are just rendering one icon all right so what we are going to do guys here so here we are going to do uh, you know here we are going to add a logic for the uh, repeat so it could be a repeat a uh, queue repeat one or repeat a uh, track all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna add uh, we're gonna use one hook that is called use a uh, track player use track uh, player uh, repeat my bad I'm gonna use one hook that is called uh, use track player repeat mode so before that I'm gonna create that hook that is gonna be a custom hook so let's create that hook use player track repeat mode so I go inside the hooks directory I'm gonna create another hooks that is called use uh, use track player repeat uh, mode dot JSX okay as you can see that we had created one hook that is called use track player repeat mode so I'm gonna write export uh, const use uh, track player repeat uh, mode all right and it's gonna be an arrow function like this and we're gonna create one state called repeat uh, mode okay and we're gonna create set uh, repeat uh, mode set repeat mode and by default use state value gonna be null all right and after that we're gonna what we're gonna do we're gonna create a function that is called change uh, change repeat mode change uh, repeat mode and this function is responsible for updating the uh, repeat mode so i'm going to use the use callback function and inside that i'm going to use async function like this okay and after that i'm going to open this uh, curly braces okay now here i'm going to write await track player dot uh, track player dot repeat uh, set repeat mode set repeat mode okay as a repeat mode okay repeat uh, mode okay so basically what we are doing here if you see that use hook call does not exist when call okay so what we are supposed to what we are doing first of all we are using a uh, use callback hook okay so we are have created one function that is called change repeat mode here we are using use callback hook inside that we are having a async function and after that we are having a repeat mode we are getting the repeat mode as well repeat uh, mode okay once we get the repeat mode we are updating the track player repeat mode as a this repeat mode all right and if you hover this we can react hook uh, use effect use callback doesn't exist when you call this only when argument did you forget to pass an array of dependency okay so we are pa forget to pass a dependency so let's pass the dependency as well now it's working well so basically what we had done first we created the repeat mode state repeat uh, mode state okay so it could be by default uh, repeat mode state will be null or undefined and after that we had created a function created a function uh, function to uh, change uh, repeat mode so whatever the repeat mode we are passing that is gonna set that all right now after that uh, what we gonna do we gonna use use effect hook okay like this and here 
we're gonna set that track player dot uh, get repeat uh, mode okay we get the get repeat mode and after that once we get the repeat mode dot then i'm gonna set the re repeat mode okay like this okay so basically we will get the response and that response we are just updating that okay and we add also import the user effect hook and make sure to pass dependency array as well all right so after that we are returning inside this hook do things that is called repeat mode and change repeat mode function nothing else okay let me try to explain you once more what we had done first of all we had created one state for repeat mode and after that we had created another function that is called change repeat mode and inside that we are using track player dot set repeat mode okay so basically we had just created created a function we are using use callback hook you can also ignore it if you don't want to use it use callback hook but use callback hooks uh, used to uh, make the things you know much more optimized manner uh, it it help it help us to you know increase the performance that's why you use use callback hook okay and after that we are having a we are calling the use effect hook so we are getting the uh, get repeat mode what is the current repeat mode and we are just updating that here all right and we are just returning the repeat mode and change repeat mode function okay now uh, i think it's simple right so we had defined define the repeat mode state change repeat function so it will just update this state and update the track player state all right and we are getting the get repeat mode state perfect now let's go back to the this player repeat toggle screen and he uh, here we're gonna call this function use track player repeat mode all right like this and after that we gonna call this function the first function is called repeat uh, mode repeat mode and uh, another funs another thing another key is gonna be change repeat mode once we get that all we have to uh, add the logic all right how we can add the logic basically uh, let's uh, see that how we can add that okay for that uh, we are gonna be uh, uh, what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna see that what is the repeat mode we are getting let's add a console for now let me add a console and here if you see guys uh, in the console by default we are getting repeat mode as a null and after that it become two okay so we are getting repeat mode as a true all right so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna remove this line of code and now after this i'm going to create another function that is called toggle repeat mode const toggle repeat mode all right and it's gonna be an arrow function like this all right now after that what i'm gonna do guys as you can see that we are getting repeat mode okay so i'm gonna check that if repeat mode is null all right or if repeat mode is null so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just return that i'm not gonna do any further task okay and when we call when we go into call this function we, we will call this function whenever user click on this you know on this icon so i'm gonna add this on press event here and we're gonna call this toggle repeat mode all right now after that once we get the toggle repeat mode here what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna uh, you know get the index of the uh, repeat mode so for that what i'm gonna do before that i'm gonna create one array that is called const uh, repeat order repeat order all right and here we're gonna have repeat uh, mode dot dot of repeat mode uh, dot uh it's gonna be track okay and repeat mode dot uh q repeat mode dot q all right so as you can see that i had created one array called repeat order the first it's gonna be repeat mode dot of repeat mode dot track and repeat mode dot q all right we had created an array called repeat order after that you know when we, whenever user click on this uh icon we are calling this function toggle repeat mode and after that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna check that uh, const current index okay so how we can get the current index so i'm gonna see that repeat order all right inside the repeat order i'm gonna search for the index of repeat mode okay so what i'm doing right now uh, on the repeat order this is the array on the repeat order i'm checking the index of repeat mode okay i'm checking the index of repeat mode like what is the index of this uh, repeat mode so if we, I, if i console that you know if i console the repeat uh, mode and if i console the current index so what we are getting right now let's see let me reload the app now once i reload the app and let's click on this song and after that let's click on this and if i click on this icon so as you can see that the current index is 2 
okay we are getting the current index as a 2 right uh, 0 1 2 because by default as we have already seen that repeat mode dot q has been applied that's why getting the repeat mode 2 and the current index as well so if i just console you guys now like it's gonna be 0 it's gonna be 1 if i just console the value of repeat mode dot op what is repeat mode dot op value so let me show you guys let me console this repeat mode dot op and i'm gonna uh, add a console so you go is like you know you feel that this is a value this is a basically uh, one what is the value let me show you guys let me click on this song now let's click on this so as you can see that repeat mode dot off is just returning a zero nothing else it, it is just a zero and it's, it is a one and it is a two as simple as that all right now let me remove this console okay now we are getting the current index like whatever the current index is it the current index is like almost zero one two all right now after this once we get the current index i'm gonna create uh, another variable that is called const uh, next index next uh, index and we're gonna have current index plus one okay all right so what i'm doing here like i'm just you know doing the plus one and after that i'm gonna use the modulo operator okay and i'm gonna so pass this repeat order dot length so if you guys know that now whenever we have to you know we have to do a cyclic operation like you know the whenever the length get increased let's suppose we are getting the current index plus two is returning two right so two plus one become what three and three modulo by three what is gonna be it's gonna start from uh, you know zero it will return a uh, zero right so this is for the use for the cyclic stuff like you know if you want to do that stuff in the repeat like you know first it's go to the uh, you know first repeat mode off then repeat mode track then repeat mode dot q and after the q it will come to the repeat mode dot off so that's why you use this modulo operator all right so we are getting the next index so next index will return zero because uh, after the two we are getting the zero all right so if i just console you guys quickly to understand much more in a good manner so what we are getting the current index will be two and the next index will gonna return zero now let's see what is the value am i right or wrong now i play the song i open the song and let's click on this so as you can see that the current index is zero uh, two and the next index becomes zero because we are using this modulo kind of operator and it will start from the if we went to the last item so after this uh, that it went to the start item okay now after this uh, next index what i'm gonna do i'm gonna call this function that is called change uh, repeat mode here i'm gonna pass the next index all right now once we pass the next index so let's go to the, this function so we are getting the next index so gonna be zero so it went to the change repeat mode function all right so let's go to the change repeat mode function here we are getting the repeat mode value right so it could be a zero one so currently we are getting the zero and it will set the track place or set repeat mode become zero all right and if you notice that we are not updating our repeat mode state here all right so let's update our repeat mode state as well so set repeat mode will become a repeat mode all right so i had forget this line please add this line please add this line i had forget this line so sorry for that guys so it will update this value state all right now let's go back here what i'm gonna go do guys uh, i'm gonna create a one a switch case all right and we're gonna be her uh, repeat mode we're gonna check uh, ch take the repeat mode all right and here we see that if repeat mode dot off is there then we're gonna make the icon name so we're gonna create one icon name basically uh, let's create one icon name and icon name by default is gonna be repeat icon by default uh, okay so first of all what we are doing here, here we are getting the repeat mode value right initially it was turning to right so what i'm gonna do if repeat mode dot off okay then what i'm gonna show that i'm gonna show the repeat uh, repeat icon repeat oh sorry my bad i'm gonna show the repeat of icon if it's off right so let's see uh icon and the uh, react native vectors icon so i'm gonna search react native vectors icon directory uh, let's open this and i'm gonna search uh which one repeat of uh repeat uh repeat of do we have any icon repeat okay i went to this icon and we have you can see that m metallic community icons so i want this icon repeat off so let's copy this line and we're gonna return this repeat off okay after this switch case i'm gonna break this okay so i'm gonna copy this line of code quickly again and if repeat mode dot uh, you know q q is there okay so what we're gonna show we're gonna just show the repeat icon okay 
and as, as you can see that this is the repeat icon if it's queue by default we are having a queue uh, repeat so this icon will be by default gonna be so and in the last what we gonna be we gonna have a track means if we have repeat uh, one song you know if repeat mode is like you know one song single track so we gonna use repeat once icon repeat once so let's update this as well all right now let me remove the white space okay and uh, we're gonna have an icon name i'm just copy the icon name and i'm gonna replace here awesome now uh, let me reload this app and uh, let's see what is gonna happen so let's play the song okay now let's open the song and as you can see that by default it's uh, having an icon of repeat mode dot q that's why we are able to see this repeat icon okay now if you click on this icon it's become repeat uh you know repeat mode off now if i again click on this it become repeat once now currently we have made the repeat once now let's go back uh, let's go back okay now let's slide the song and let's see what is gonna happen so i just slide the song in the last and as you can see that once i went to this last it again started from playing the, the from beginning let's suppose like this and after this song it will start again from the beginning let's see all right uh, okay now let's go back okay so let me explain that about the player repeat functionality once more because it's quite a bit complex to understand in a first go uh, let's and try to understand so first of all let's go to the source and inside the source we are having a screen inside the screen we are having a player screen inside the player screen we are having component called player repeat toggle let's go inside the player repeat toggle here we are having a repeat mode okay before that we had created one hook that is called use track player repeat mode hook let's go inside this use track player repeat mode so we had created one state called repeat mode okay so by default we had set the repeat mode state as a null okay and after that uh, we had created a function that is called to change repeat mode and we are using use callback hook that's totally up to you if you don't want to use use callback hook you can ignore it you can just create a normal arrow function async function and you can after that you get the repeat mode inside the change repeat mode so it's gonna be zero one two value all right and after that we're gonna set the we're gonna set that away track player dot set repeat mode as whatever the value we are getting once we set that on the track player we also updating this state at the as a new value set repeat mode as a new value after that once we uh, also once we when rendering this component we are making this uh, use effect and we are getting that current track play dot get repeat mode so we are getting the current state and after that we are setting that state to the this state dot then because we are getting inside this uh, dot then data we are getting the repeat mode and we are updating that state all right and inside after this this is on this hook we are just returning two things the first thing is called repeat mode and another thing that is called change repeat mode function okay now once we return that let's go to the back uh, our component play repeat toggle component here we are getting this both value repeat mode will return the repeat mode and change repeat mode is a function which help us to update the change repeat uh, you know change the repeat uh, method a uh, mode all right now after that as you can see that we are having a touchable opacity and we are having icon name so whenever user click on this uh, icon we are calling this function toggle repeat mode okay so we went to the uh, we went to the toggle repeat mode and what we are checking that if repeat mode is null okay so we are not going to do anything because we don't have a value of repeat mode like track player has not been set up correctly or there is no repeat mode so that's why we are returning null we are not doing we are not going to do any other operation for now if if there is repeat mode value so what am i gonna do i'm checking that current index so repeat order dot index off so i had created one uh, array of no array array of repeat orders so you can see that we are having a repeat mode dot off by default it's gonna be zero value repeat mode track repeat mode dot q okay so after that uh, as you can see that we are finding the index of this repeat repeat mode so repeat order dot index of repeat mode okay so repeat order inside the repeat order i am finding the index of repeat mode okay so once we find the index so what we are doing here we are finding the next index like which item gonna be next which item like let's suppose if we are right now on the queue so the next item gonna be off method okay if it's on off then it's gonna be track it's, it's if it's track then it's gonna be queue right so we are finding the next index once we find the next index i'm gonna update this change repeat mode to the next index now here's a question like you know this is the quite bit tricky to understand but let me explain you so this is an on the next index we are just doing current index plus one modulo by now repeat order dot length so if i explain you guys so let's suppose if you're on a zero like current index is zero then uh, zero plus one be gonna be next index perfect no problem 
but if you want the uh, first index so then it's become first one plus two and it into the this icon all right on the this mode but if uh, on this uh, two icon like you know on the index number two so what is gonna happen two plus one become three right and if it's become three then it went with it went to the out of the array right to make the like once this uh, reached the this end it should start from the zero right for that we are using this module so what is going to happen if went to the two item like second index to two plus one become three three modulo by three like repeat order dot length is three and three modulo by three become zero and it again start from zero all right that's why you use this modulo operator all right and after that we are calling this function change repeat mode and after that we are having an icon name so using this, this switch case so we are checking that rep repeat mode if repeat mode dot off is there then i am setting the icon name as a repeat off so you can see that repeat mode we are getting the repeat mode from here okay and we are checking that if repeat mode value is like you know zero one or like two or like whatever the value is that according click that we are updating the value so for off i think uh, it's the value is zero for q is uh, two and for the track it's one okay so if you can console that as well and we are just updating the icon all right there's one more thing which I, i'm gonna again tell you guys like you know last time i had forget to add this set repeat mode so whenever you are updating the change repeat mode uh, we are updating the track play dot set repeat mode along with that you have to also update the state to you know see it on the ui all right so we had done with the repeat uh, toggle repeat functionality now the next thing which we have to work on that is called uh, shuffle functionality uh, in the last we're gonna work on this uh, like functionality because it's gonna be a use of async storage so uh, let's work on this uh, shuffle functionality for that i'm what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna go inside the source a screen player screen okay as you can see that we are having a component called player repeat uh, toggle we had we are done with that now let's, let's go to the play shuffle play shuffle toggle all right here what gonna happen whenever user uh, click on shuffle so we are gonna be shuffle that you know we're gonna you know update the array like you know we're gonna uh, if if the let's suppose if the current song is on zero index then we're gonna move it to the fifth index fourth index right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one function called function called shuffle shuffle uh, songs all right and it's gonna be in, uh, like this and we get the songs like this uh we get the songs okay now after that once we get the songs so what i'm gonna do guys uh what i'm gonna do uh, guys for here so once we get the song so i'm gonna check that uh okay there's another way let me much more make much more simpler so if you went to the, this uh, this website uh, logic rocket so here we can search shuffle uh s h f l okay i'm not finding that shuffle uh okay let's do uh, let's search for the shuffle so here if we go to the top 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 uh, i think there will be some yeah okay you can see that to shuffle the song so here you can see that like this so you have to cop first of all what you have to do uh we're gonna remove this line of code first of all to shuffle the songs we gonna have to uh like do let q we have to find the q like let q is equal to await track player dot get q uh, all right so i'm gonna add async function here async function all right once we get the q okay we are getting the array of songs after that i'm gonna reset the song like if it's uh, there's already some song is playing so i'm gonna re reset that song using the track player dot reset after that i'm gonna sort that song in a different manner okay as you can see that we are gonna sort the song q dot sort mat dot random like this and after that we're gonna add the queue and once we add the queue like this and after that we're gonna play the song so let me see that let me show you guys quickly uh let's click on this song okay now let's click on this song now let's click on this shuffle i but we are not calling this function let's click on let's add on press and on the on press we are going to call this shuffle songs now let's click on this you can see that uh, the, it's the song is get shuffled but it's not playing okay so we're gonna also play that song away track player dot uh, play all right now after that let's shuffle on this once more okay now you can see that it started playing as well let's uh, let's see with the sound all right as you can see that what for the shuffle what we had done we had just you know uh, created one function called shuffle songs function and we are calling this function whenever user click on this shuffle icon 
okay so first of all what we are getting what we are doing here we are getting the queue like let queue is equal to await track plot track player dot get queue so we are getting the queue once we get the queue we are resetting the track player if there is already some song is playing so we are resetting the song and after that we are you know so you know making the uh, queue in a different manner okay so if, if the song is playing in a different manner so we i'm gonna change that array you know we're gonna move the array items and after that i'm gonna add the track like i'm gonna add this queue in a track player and after that i'm just playing the song now if i click on this uh, uh you know shuffle icon let's click on this now as you can see that we are getting the array of songs like you can see that the queue is like array of songs all right now let me remove this and this is how we work for like we had done for this repeat mode and we had done for this uh, all the kind all those things right now after this what i'm gonna do i have to work on this uh, slider functionality but before that let me explain you once more guys let's go to the player screen and inside the player screen we are having this player shuffle so shuffle toggle funds component and inside that we are having a touchable opacity and here we are calling this shuffle songs uh, function so whenever user click on shuffle songs function what we are doing here we are uh, getting the queue like whatever the song is currently playing playing we are getting that queue after that we are resetting the track player so if there is already some song is playing so we are just resetting from the cache or like you know whatever the from the current track and after that i'm gonna update this array of songs in a different order so i'm just you know randomize that sort like i'm sorting that song in a different manner and after that i'm gonna I'm making the track player dot add i'm gonna just add the song in a track player and after that once it's added i'm gonna play it. i'm i'm playing that song all right and this is how we had done with the uh what you said this is how we had completed shuffle functionality all right now after this what i'm gonna do guys uh let's go to the player screen now we have to start working on this player progress bar okay for the player progress bar what we gonna need we gonna have to you know uh it's quite a bit tricky so let's go to the player progress bar and see how we can do it so let me close others file okay now first of all we have to start working for this you know this uh what you say progress bar we have already worked for this on the on the you know floating player so let's start working for this as well the same code gonna be here as well okay so we gonna again import that const um, duration from use progress hook once we get the uh, duration here like duration and uh, what else we gonna get we gonna get the position like this all right now we get the duration and position and after that we can see that we're gonna have a progress value mean value max value and we're gonna have one more value called is sliding is sliding and it's gonna be used shared value and by default it's gonna be false okay as you have already done in the floating player but yeah let's do again because it will become strong for you guys all right now after that uh, i'm gonna do one thing that if uh, sliding dot if sliding dot value is false okay then only i'm gonna update this uh, progress progress value progress dot value will be what progress dot value will be uh, duration if duration is greater than zero all right then i'm gonna what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do position my bad position divide by position divide by duration all right and else i'm gonna make it zero okay now let's play the open the player screen now play the song you can see that it started you know uh, the progress is uh, started happening you know increasing all right now after that what we are going to do next the next thing is that if you go on the slider here we can see the our slider here we have uh, here we are having a progress but progress which is working we are having a minimum value maximum value pretty well now after that what we have to do we have to start on working on this on sliding functionality whenever user on sliding start so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make this like this i'm gonna make like is sliding dot value is sliding dot value will become true so whenever the user starts sliding we are making the on slide is sliding dot value become true so at that point of time the progress will get stopped so if i you know as you can see that if i move this the pr progress will get stopped all right now after that uh, one on sliding start after that on value change props we are having so inside that we are gonna get the value but uh, i'm gonna use this async function right now and i'm gonna get the value like this and once we get the value what supposed to do basically guys here we have to use await track player track uh, player uh, track uh, player dot uh, seek we have to seek to what is the duration we have to do seek to uh, value into 
value into duration value into duration like this so basically what what whenever the value is changing so we are just seeking this like this all right now after that uh, what i'm gonna do guys uh, on value change after that i'm gonna have on another function that is called on sliding complete okay so uh, here is going to be here you're gonna be async function we get the value okay and here i'm gonna check that if uh, is sliding dot value is false then i'm gonna just return it i'm gonna return this like this okay now after that uh, if sliding value is false then i'm gonna i'm gonna return it right and otherwise uh, i'm gonna otherwise after that i'm gonna make in that is sliding dot value is sliding dot value will become false okay basically what i'm gonna doing guys whenever the sliding is gonna start so i'm making the sliding value is a true so when the sliding is complete i'm checking that if it's sliding is value is false means the value is not been slide it okay so i'm just returning else uh, i'm just returning this and otherwise if sliding dot value is true then we are making it false and we're gonna do some operation that is called await track player dot seek to we are just seeking to forward and value into duration whatever the value we are getting all right now if you can see that we are able to seek that but we can't see this duration so let me see uh, let me play with the sound you can see that it's perfectly working right now after that let me reload the app quickly now as you can see that we had completed the sliding as you can see that we had completed this sliding stuff now you can see that the sliding is like you know the progress is also happening now the thing which we have to work on this is called this you know the tricks track timing all right so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna you know first of all here i'm gonna show like you know how many seconds has been played and how many seconds has been left so we are going to show that so first of all for that what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna create one uh, variable that is called const track elapsed el track elapsed uh, time all right and it's gonna be like format i'm gonna create one function that that task has been gonna be simple like format seconds to minute so i'm gonna pass the second and it will return into minute all right so let's create a function uh, for that uh, i'm gonna go inside this uh, utils uh, so we, do we have utils okay let me collapse this my all the folder and inside the source i'm gonna create one file that is called utils and inside the utils uh, i'm gonna create one file that is called index dot uh, index dot js okay and if you before that let me explain you guys like if i show you duration like let me show you duration right now okay let me reload the app and okay let me comment this code line of code as well now let me reload this okay as you can see that current duration is coming is 209841 this is the total duration which we are getting right and if you show the position so position will show the how many second has been played so let me show you the position so it will start updating okay so let me show you so as you can see that currently of uh, the position what we are getting the position the position is like 97 98 99 100 something like that all right so first of all uh, i'm gonna go inside the index.js i'm gonna create one function that is called const uh, const format uh, second to seconds to minute all right uh, for a second to a minute and here we are getting the seconds like this and inside this I'm gonna write const uh, minutes like this and I'm gonna write math dot floor math dot floor and we're gonna divide the seconds by 60 to get the minute this is normal math right we get the minutes and after that once we get the minute we're gonna get the seconds also remaining uh, remaining seconds remaining seconds and it's gonna be math dot floor uh, math dot floor so to get the remaining second we're gonna use like this uh math dot flow seconds divide seconds modulo 60 so it will return the remaining seconds now once we get the remaining seconds we're gonna format the minute so we want this value like this should be visible like this so i'm gonna write formatted uh, minute formatted uh formatted minutes like this and i'm gonna write a string inside the string i'm gonna pass the minutes okay and dot pad start there is one function that is called pad start so that will return the value like this okay if i show you guys example for that let me show you example that as well 2 comma 0 2 comma 
zero so basically it will uh, add a two times index so let me show you example for that i'm going to create one coca new file so let's suppose i'm having console.log and here if i just copy this line of code uh, let me copy this line of code for you guys and i'm going to add this console and if i make the minute as a 10 so a string okay let me do like this so if i show you guys so what we are getting we are getting 10 right let's suppose if you are having a one okay so we are getting the zero one like this manner okay if you are having two so it will return the data like this like it will add it it will make a two time okay if it's uh, zero then it will become zero 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 so it, it it is just adding the zero all right so that's why we are using this pad start function let's go here so as you can see that we are having all this uh, formatted minute string we are passing the minutes and dot pad is start two times so it will adding a two zero if it's not and just normal like that after that we're gonna do for this uh, format second as well const uh, formatted uh, formatted seconds is equal to a string like this and remaining seconds dot uh, pad start and again two comma zero all right now after that we're gonna return this we're gonna return this like this uh, we're gonna use the template editor like this and we're gonna write formatted minutes we go want like that and after that we're gonna need a colon if you see on this uh, image after that after the colon we're gonna have another stuff that is called formatted second formatted seconds uh, all right and we are just returning this awesome now uh, let me export this ex as well so export uh, const so what this function is doing basically formatting seconds to minute so first of all we are getting them we are converting into minutes so whatever the seconds we are having we are converting that into minute let's suppose if you are having 120 okay i make a mistake here math dot floor math dot floor so whatever the seconds we are getting uh, we are converting to minutes let's suppose you have a 120 seconds so it's returned two minutes and if it's having 125 seconds so what is happening so it returned two minutes okay and it will return the remaining second is a five seconds okay so after that we're gonna format that into minutes so it become uh, two second will become like this uh, zero two okay and formatted second will become like you know uh, zero zero five all right and after that we are just adding zero two colon zero five all right now let's go to the player progress bar and here uh, what i'm gonna do guys if you can see that we are having formatted seconds to minute okay now if we go here and what i'm gonna do here basically and let me remove this line of code quickly and here i'm gonna call this function formatted seconds dot minute and here uh, what i supposed to do if you know guys uh, i'm gonna add you know track elapsed time okay for that if i pass the position if I pass the position so that gonna work as well but uh, let's pass the position position all right now if we go on this here okay now you can see that for message seconds to minute doesn't exist so let's import this as well all right now I import it as well and let's open this now as you can see that five six seven eight nine ten is increasing all right now again we're gonna have this again uh, another stuff so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create another variable called track elapsed time so whatever the song has been played it's gonna be track elapsed time and we're gonna paste like this okay and we're gonna call this track elapsed time okay and track remaining time like what remaining time has been okay so gonna write const track remaining remaining time all right and again call call the function form is second to minute and we're gonna pass this duration so whatever the duration is total duration and minus whatever the song has been played position so we're gonna have a remaining time we get the remaining time all right now we're gonna have track remaining time so as you can see that the song uh, has been played 55 seconds and it's already only left three seconds now if we seek forward it's played 159 if we move forward so it play has been 325 minutes all right now let's click on forward it went to the forward icon and we can click on shuffle it shuffle that if we click on this repeat it will start repeating now no, currently it's repeat mode is off and if we click on this uh, repeat one and let's see i went to the last uh 323 second has been left and again it will start playing from this song as you can say that all right awesome so we had done with this uh you know mute and mute functionality we had done with the we had done with the repeat functionality we are done with the shuffle functionality we have also completed with this player progress bar along with this player control 
now before working on a like functionality i i notice one bug so let's see the bug so let's suppose i am playing this song all right and let's click on this song so let's suppose i may i mute this song okay and currently it, it's on mute right uh, and let's play the song okay the song is mute but let's see you can see that the song is mute but you know the this icon is still uh, you know not mute icon all right so this is the bug which we have to be fixed basically when the complaint get unmount and we are again coming so it's become again true so let's see that how we can fix it so i'm gonna open go into the source say source we are having a screen here we are having player screen okay so as you can see that we are having a mute state is mute state so we have to maintain that okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna import the use effect hook okay and inside this use effect hook uh, i'm gonna create like this and set i'm gonna create one function that is function gonna be uh, basically you know update the value const uh, set uh, set uh, value all right and it's gonna be async function like this and after that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna check that const value is equal to const value is equal to await uh, track player dot uh, get a value volume okay i will check that if volume value is uh, you know so what i do set is mute will be like this if volume is equal to if volume it is equal to zero then i'm gonna say set is mute is equal to true otherwise i'm gonna make it false make sense so what i'm gonna do like what i'm doing right now here i'm getting the volume okay and regarding that i'm setting the i'm updating the mute value so i'm gonna copy this value I'm going to copy this function name set value and just calling this function. All right. Now let me reload the app. And now if I reload the app, now let's suppose if I click on this icon, the song is started playing. Now if I open this, you can see that the mute I unmute icon. Now if I mute this and let's go back and let's open that, it will still mute. Okay, this is because we had fixed this bug. All right. Now let's see how we can start working on this like functionality. The like functionality is gonna be like this. Whenever you use a click on this, we're gonna like it and uh, this hot icon will get highlighted and after that if user click on go back and user will click on this like song here the user can see that all the song all right so we have to work on that so first of all what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna close the app because the app did crashed and let's see how we can do it so first of all uh, now we're gonna do what we're gonna do we're gonna use uh, two packages the first package is called async storage and the another package that is called juice stand so i'm gonna using the do, do stand what is do stand if you guys know uh, you know we have like redux right the same way we are having redux use context so use stand is also but it's so straightforward all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna you know search for do stand uh, do stand okay and once we search for the do stand after that what we guys have to do you have to click on this do stand npm not do stand let's click on this after that you have to copy this command it's too straightforward if you don't know about juice stand it's too easy to understand for you guys so i'm gonna just install this package npm i juice stand as you can see that all right now as you can see the npm i juice stand after once it gets installed uh, we're gonna make the store okay and let me start the server as well and let me make the size as as it is it was all right now after that inside the source i'm gonna create one uh, one folder that is called store okay basically why we are using justin justin is a global state management okay so if we state you know if we store the data you know we can access it from anywhere so let's suppose if we are we can set the state update the state from anywhere because it's gonna be a global state okay so how we can uh, see that like you have to just create a store and you can use like your store is a hook your store is a hook and you can put it anything primitive object function state has to be updated immutably and set function message merge so let's suppose if you want to you know we are having one we are state and you want to just update the value you can update like this and if you want to update like this like this it's too straightforward so i will guys I guide you guys so first of all we have to create a store so inside the store i'm gonna create another file that is called uh like store okay like store dot jsx all right and after that i'm gonna create uh, one hooks hook like use like songs okay and after that i'm gonna create i have to import the create from the juice stand like this and inside that we have to get the pass the callback like that all right now after that we have to return another function and inside this function we're gonna return one object 
straight forward look, looking straight forward so first of all what we had done we had created one function that is called use like songs it's kind of a hook okay you can think of a hook use like songs and after that we also call hooks so you can call hooks uh, or store that up to you but yeah we had created one store inside that we are created a uh, some kind of hooks and inside that we first call the create function let me type it again for you guys first we have to write uh, create like this okay inside that we have to again write a callback function like this straightforward and we have to return this inside the, this argument we're gonna get the set state okay and after that we're gonna return a simple object perfect now inside the simple object we're gonna define our initial state so so i'm gonna define my initial state like like songs gonna be an empty array and after that we're gonna uh, create a function that is called add to liked okay add to liked my bad add to liked it's gonna be a function okay and inside that uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one async i'm gonna create one function quickly like this and after that what we have to do it's gonna be an arrow function okay so we get the song whatever the uh, song gonna be like i'm gonna get the new song or like song okay and now here we have to add the logic okay so i'm gonna add a logic basically set we have to use set inside the set i'm gonna write uh we get the state and inside the state what we have to do guys let me open a curly basis like this so here we get the set function inside that we are getting the state okay so first of all we have to check that check that uh the song already exist on or not already exist on states or not okay because what we are supposed to do basically we are having one light state inside that whenever user click uh, light so we are checking that that this song is already exist or not inside our light state if exist so what we gonna do we gonna uh, don't do anything otherwise we will update the state okay so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do like this uh basically this is gonna be like this we're gonna return a state like we're gonna have to return a state like this and we have to write like songs is equal to is equal to and i'm gonna you know it's gonna be like this and i'm gonna just you know spread my uh this new like i'm gonna do like this uh state dot like songs so let me write okay first of all we have to write new song and after that i have to spread the old state okay uh state dot state dot like songs all right so before that but you, you can see that here what we are doing here we are just updating our uh, you know this like song state right but we are not checking that uh, that already exist or not okay so we'll see that how we can check that uh, but before that uh, what we guys do gonna what we are going to do let me explain you guys once more what we had done first of all i created one use like song uh, com function here we are using the juice stand i'm creating using a create method inside that we have to pass a callback function like this here we are getting the set method and after that we have to return one object so we are returning an object like this inside the first we are having a key called like song this is our initial state okay and after that we are creating one method add to liked uh, add to liked okay and it what what is gonna do basically it will add the song add the song you know this like song is state okay now once we uh, what we are doing here we are getting the set method inside the set method we are getting the state okay inside the state we are we have to return our object make sure that and here what we are doing like we are just updating the like song state like we are in the first uh, we are having a new song state and we are just spreading the whole state like this okay and here we have to check that uh, the song already exist or not okay so we have to do that as well but yeah now it's looking pretty well so what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna just copy this uh, function use like song okay and after that i'm gonna go inside my player screen so let's go to the player screen okay and after that i'm gonna uh, write like this and i'm gonna import that function okay does i export this no i had not export this so let me export it as well export default use like song all right now once i export this use like song hook let's go to the like play screen and let's import this uh, hook all right so as you can see that we are returning two things here if you see that we are returning two things the first thing is called like song and second thing is called add to like okay so let's read that as well so i'm gonna read like songs and the function as well all right now if i just console the like song what we are getting here so let's click on this as you can see that currently we are getting like song as an empty array because we don't we have not added any data let's suppose if i add any data dummy data id is equal to 
something like that fj and let's go as you can see that we are getting this data all right so this is how whatever place we want we can access this data like this as simple as that all right now uh, let me do undo here let me do the undo data and now let's go to the player use like song state and here uh, what we are doing supposed to do basically guys uh, whenever user click on this hot icon this will uh, add to the like button okay so here you can see that uh, we are having this uh, hot icon okay so this is a hot icon right and we're gonna call the on press event here and add to like state okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do like this add to and we're gonna call this function add to like and i have to pass this one object active track okay so what we are doing here whenever on the on this hot icon whenever user click on this i'm calling a method add to like method and we are just passing this object now let's go there add to like the state and if i console the like song here now you can see that we can see uh, one items inside this array and if you again click on this and it will become two item and if i can click it become three item all right so basically what we are doing here we are just updating it to the add to like state now let's go to the, this uh, like screen so first of all i'm gonna go to the like screen here and here what i'm gonna guys do basically uh i'm gonna re read the state to read the state from the uh, that use like storage so we have to copy this line of code all right and here on the like screen we have to uh, import the use like song hook all right now once i imported it i have to remove this uh, I, i'm not using this add to like function so here we are getting the array of songs right now after that i'm gonna at the place of data uh, at the place of data all right i'm gonna pass this data like this like song and now if i click on like song you can see that uh, item dot work of undefined let me reload the app once and uh, let's see once more let's give a one more shot okay before that you, you get the item here okay and we have to part the pass the item like this as well from the hair okay now let's click on like song again okay let me reload the app uh, okay again it's not opening so i think we have to install reinstall the app okay let's give a sort once more so again i'm gonna click on this drawer okay now let's click on like song now as you can see that currently inside the like song we don't have any song so let's add the state so as you can see that this is also not working this back button icon so uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add one function const handle go back it's gonna be like this function okay and i'm gonna use the navig navigation hook const navi navigation is equal to use uh, navigation and i'm gonna write a function like this const navigation dot navigate navigation dot uh, navigate dot go navigation dot go back okay and now if i click on this it's not applying that's weird okay let's give it one more shot navigation dot go back my bad <laughs> it should be like this navigation dot go back and now if i click on this uh, it's not going back again let me reload this okay now if i click on this like song let's click on go back it's not working okay so let's okay 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 why it's not working because we had not added this on press functionality on this back icon so let's add on press as well bro that's why it's not working okay now let's click on this now as you can see that when we click on like song and let's click on back so it went back okay but whenever we are opening this like song we are getting a empty state we are not getting any data okay so let's add one data so let's i'm gonna click on this okay now this song is started playing let's click on this i'm gonna let's click on this liked icon the song had been added to the like and let's go back and after that let's click on like song now you can see that we are getting the this song here but there is one cache you know if i you know click two three times what is gonna happen this song is gonna be liked multiple times okay two four six times seven times almost right i click on seven times so it's added seven times in like this is not a bad practice the song should like only once right if it's already exist so you can't uh, like is like this some kind of that okay so what we guys can do basically uh let's do so uh add to like basically what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna check that does all if it already exist then don't add the song okay so first of all i'm gonna create one function that gonna function has a simple task that is called is exist that will check that 
the uh, the function exists or not okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one function quickly here mm, okay so let's create one function in time the inside the utils we are having index.js so i'm gonna create one function called export const is exist okay and here we get the array okay and here we get the item okay so basically array means the we get the list array of items and we get the one item okay we have to check that it will return like we have to check that songs uh, we get the array right array dot uh, array dot sum method I'm gonna using the sum method and I have to check that uh, item is equal to okay let's do like that instead of having an array I'm gonna make it songs and I'm gonna write track that will much more understandable right I'm gonna check that songs dot uh, song okay I will check that if song dot URL song dot URL is equal to uh, track dot url okay if the same then it means it's like the song is already exist okay so this is the way like you know if, if the same means it exists all right so it's gonna return like that and let's go to the back and here what i'm gonna do guys uh here what i'm gonna do here i'm check that before updating this state like before adding to the this state i'm gonna check that uh like const uh updated const updated update uh, updated songs is equal to here i'm gonna check that if exist if exist uh, here we have to pass this state dot okay here we have to pass two things right uh, the first parameter is called state uh, dot uh, state dot like songs like songs and another thing is called new song okay so here we can see that we are passing this uh, okay before that we have to import this it exist function as well so here we are passing two things uh, the songs state dot light songs and the the track all right so it will return true or false it means if exist will return true means the song is already exist okay so what we have to do we have to just make the uh, you know updated songs will look like only uh, you know the new songs like this not basically it's, it will be just like a normal array right so what i'm gonna do guys uh, if that it's same okay so here what i'm gonna do guys uh i'm gonna check that let is exist i'm gonna create one variable uh, let is exist okay so here i'm gonna again create one other variable called updated songs if exist if uh, songs exist uh if exist uh okay here instead of having a let i'm gonna uh is already exist is already exist okay if the song is already exist on the state so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just you know return this state like this it's, it should be like state dot uh, like song nothing else otherwise uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy this line of code okay and paste like this okay so basically what i'm gonna do uh, and let's add like this okay so if it is already exists is true then i'm just you know uh, state dot like song okay state dot light song i'm doing like this okay if the song is already exist otherwise uh, i'm just you know updating the songs like this make sense so uh, that's a simple right any problem on this okay okay my, my bad okay let's do like this if the song is already exist so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove the song i'm gonna remove this song from that property you know from that list so i'm gonna write state dot light songs dot filter okay and okay let's do later removing remo removing the songs will be do later but yeah uh, so what we are doing there here if the song is already exist okay so i'm getting one exist a uh, one variable called is already exist then i'm gonna just the new song will be state dot like song otherwise it's gonna be new song and we're gonna spread the old song all right now let me reload the app now once i reload the app let's click on this now let's decrease the volume okay now i'm gonna click on this okay now after that let's click on this like icon okay now let me click multiple times to the this like icon one two three four five six okay now let's go to the like uh, screen here if you see that still we are having just one uh, you know one song here because we had added there if the song is already exist then you don't have to add a new song okay then you don't have to push inside this array you don't have to push inside this array 
okay as, as, as you can see that if already exist then just updated song will be state dot like you know previous value if it's not exist then i'm just adding a new song and uh, uh spreading the uh, new uh, spreading the old state if i click on this let's add this song as well okay now let's go back let's click on like song now you can see that we are having two songs perfect now if you see that here is one catch there is one catch uh, whenever we are reloading the this application what is happening whenever we are reloading the application the state is lost right we we'll, uh, we lost the this you know this liked song so how we can persist this right we can persist this by storing the this data on database another way could be to store the data on local in our phone so using the async storage so as you if you are away from web background so we are having a, a you know local storage some same way in the phone we are having the async storage so we're gonna set up the we're gonna use the async storage so we store the song all right so let's click on react native async storage npm page once you click on this you have to copy this command okay and after that let's paste this command as well okay once you paste this command it will install the react native async storage let's understand how we do the crud operation in react native uh, using the async storage so you have to click on this okay once you click on this uh, you can see that uh, nothing here let's click on this home page okay let me uh, install the app as well npm start okay so the app will get installed installed in some second here if you see on on github repo so here is one link react native keys uh, something like that let's click on this link now you can see that here we went to the this react native async storage website let's click on get started now we have installed this uh, react native storage all right now after that click on use this once you click on storage you can see that this is how we set the item await async storage dot set item and to get the uh, get the item we can use this uh, get the item we have to just pass the key all right now uh, what i'm gonna do guys let's install the app basically whenever we are you know updating the state here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna update update the data in a async storage as well all right so here what i'm what i'm gonna do guys here i'm gonna write one key of each okay, async storage we have to import the async storage dot set item and i'm gonna write a key like uh liked songs okay and the state will be like this json dot stringify we have to stringify this data and i'm gonna split like this updated songs okay and as you can see that await expression only allowed with an async function so we have to make this function async as well so i'm gonna make this function async okay now if i reload the app okay the app is started reloading okay so basically whenever we are updating the song so it will update inside the async storage as well now if you see here inside the like song we are having no song now let's like this song okay by clicking on this like icon so the song get liked all right now let's go to the this screen here we can see uh here we can't see the like song all right that's weird now let me try once more let's click on like song let's go back still we can't see why am i doing any mistake hmm so let's see let's figure it out so here you can see that here we are having a await uh, i'm using the await await async storage dot set item uh, json stringify and we are storing uh, returning this if, if i just you know remove the await and uh, i'm gonna you know click on this uh player again let's click on this uh, let's, let's click on this again and let's click on this heart icon let's go back let's go here like song still i'm not able to see that that's weird uh initially it's working well let me comment this line of code okay for now and uh, what i'm gonna do guys okay and uh, what i'm gonna do let me try once more let's click on this let's click on add to lagged let's go here still it's not updating so let's add a console here updated song for now okay and uh, i think so what mistake i'm doing yeah the async method i got it i got it the mistake which i had done guys what the main mistake which i had done which i'm thinking the async could not be used here that's why it's throwing error we you don't have to use async here here you have to use the async at the top on this parent component on the parent function like this okay now let's give one more shot let's click on liked and if you see now we are able to see we are doing a typos okay so that's why we are not get able to get that and now we can use await able easily you can use 
okay let's do it like this we can we don't i'm not gonna use a bit right now because it's also update the song without a bit as well now let's click on this once more now let's click on this let's click on that and after that let's check on this like song we are able to see awesome awesome but if i reload this state still the state is you know get lost if i click on this we can't see that song right so let's update that as well so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one fun another thing that is called another function uh, another that is called load uh, liked songs okay and it's gonna be again a, a, a async function okay basically what i'm gonna do guys right now explain let me explain you basically whenever user click uh, whenever user uh, open the app we're gonna uh, get the data from the uh, async storage and we will update the state here okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write like this i'm gonna use the set method and inside set method i'm gonna get the state okay inside this state i'm gonna open this block and i'm gonna write const uh, uh basically uh you know const okay before okay let me do like this let me remove this line of code first of all we're gonna get the song so const uh, liked uh, songs will be await async story dot get item and we have to pass the same key as we uh, have passed let me copy the key name and pass that once we get the liked song after that we will check that if liked song is there if liked song is there then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set the state like this set set liked song let set like song is equal to oh, json dot pass json dot parts uh, liked song all right so basically what we are doing here we are getting the uh, songs from this async storage and then after that we are updating this state on this liked song state all right now let me copy this load like uh, songs function name and let's go to the app.jsx so let's go to the app.jsx and here what we have to do here we have to do like this load like songs and we have to uh, call this of uh, uh, you know function name so the function name is called use like songs all right on after that uh, the hook name is called use like song and we have to call this function so whenever the app get load so whenever the app get load as you can see that th whenever this will function will trigger whenever the app get load right whenever the track player has been loaded successfully at that point of time we are calling this function right now if i again click on this and if we click on load like song we are able to see that data is persist right let me close the app and now uh, let me open the app as well now if i open the app now you can see that the data is persisting right awesome now if you want to if you want to you know uh, if you want to uh, if you don't want to call this function on after on load on track player loaded you can also create one use effect like this use effect and inside this inside this you can pass if you don't like to pass this uh, on load like song function here inside the lo on load function so you can create you know on use effect hook and you can call this like this as well that totally up to you guys and make sure to pass comma instead of having a dot i just make a mistake okay now if i click on this you can see that awesome so yeah this is how we can uh, you know uh, uh, you know do a functionality of like song but uh, if we see if let's add some more songs now let's click on this let's like this but what we want now now let's suppose if like if i like this song okay so what we have to do we have to uh, highlight this hot okay so how we can do it let me go to the player screen okay and here as you can see that we are having liked song and the active songs okay so as you know that we had created one function that is called is exist okay so we're gonna use this function here so let me scroll down let's go to the hot icon where is the hot icon mm. okay here is one hot icon here i'm gonna copy you know i'm gonna import that function is exist so it exist function take two things the first thing is called song so i'm gonna pass the liked songs and after that i'm gonna pass the active track okay now uh, if i click on this now as you can see that if it's like then we are showing the liked hot icon otherwise i will show the outline icon but what i need now when we click on this uh, if it's liked and when we click on this again this icon it should get removed from this uh you know liked uh it should get removed from this here okay now if i click on this okay let okay my bad let me dismiss that okay now if i click on this let's suppose if i click on this again hot icon it should get removed from the liked how we can do it uh, let's go to the like store here if you see guys uh, if the song is already exist so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do state dot like songs dot filter 
okay and here we get the item and what i'm going to do item dot uh, item dot uh, id item dot id uh, is not equal to uh, this uh, basically a new song new song dot url my bad is not to be item dot id it should be item dot url okay now again if i click on this you can see that the it gets removed from the like right so this is how we can do that as well now let me play this song don't know okay let's click on this let's click on this again okay now whenever we are clicking on this you can see that uh, this uh, this get song get liked and if you click on this it will get removed and now if you see on this uh, liked song as you can see that currently we are just having one song all right now let's add this liked song let's click on this let's add this song like this song and let's uh, see that okay we are able to see this on the like song now let's unlike this song uh, i'm gonna unlike this song and it's get removed it should get removed from the uh, this liked song let's click on this let's go there and now you can see that we are just having uh, this all right so we had also done the liked functionality with the juice stand and the async stories right but let me explain you guys once more what we had done i know it's uh, I, I i make it like much more faster but let me explain you guys once more from scratch so it become easier for you guys so what we have to do we have to go inside source inside the source we have uh, first of all we had installed the juice stand library okay inside the juice stand we had created one uh, store that is called like store okay how to create a store in juice stand it's too simple it's too easy so if you go this browser here is a website called juice stand let's suppose you want to make a crud operation or you want to uh, make the state globally okay that will be accessible from anywhere that's why we use a global state management it could be a juice stand or this could be redux redux toolkit use context hooks there's a lot more like require you can use it up to you but currently we are using a uh, juice stand because it has very minimal system setup we don't have to do any setup so first of all what we had done this is how we can create our store so here is, as you can see that we have to create use based store and we are having a create a uh, function inside that we are having a set method uh, inside the callback we are just returning uh, uh, you know on object here we are defining the initial state and here we are defining our method okay so whenever we call this method let's suppose uh, whenever we call this method we will uh, like set inside the set state we are having like this and state uh, brs dot state dot brs plus one okay so basically it will increase the population so basically inside the state we are getting the br and we are just getting the previous value state dot brs okay and we are just updating that and again inside the set we are just updating at zero this is how we do crud in, st in, in just an storage store but let me explain you guys what we had done first of all i create i import the create from juice stand after that uh, i create one you know uh, use like song hooks okay inside that i created one create function the create function will take a one callback function the callback function is returning object so as you can see this is a callback function where we are getting set method and inside that we are returning an object okay the first object key is called like song the initial value and initial value is like you know empty array awesome now after that we had created another function that is called add to like so whenever we are clicking on this icon we are calling this method add to like right so for that uh, we are using this add to like uh, method so inside that it's a async function for now because we are also using uh, a wait as well so we are having a async uh, function and inside that we are having a new song so we are getting the new songs okay and once we get the new songs uh, we, have, we are getting the new songs like whatever the user click on that we are getting the new songs after that inside that set method we are using the set method that is coming from this uh, here like you know inside this create inside the set method we are getting the state inside the state we are having the previous state okay so i'm using this state and after that i'm opening a curly braces like this but this function is returning an object as simple as that and here we added some logic so first of all what i'm going to checking that i'm going to checking that is already exist okay so basically i'm checking that in my state in the like state song this, this song is exist or not okay so i created one function uh, okay so inside this is exist function i'm passing two things the first is the things that you know i'm passing this array of songs and after that i'm passing one object this new song okay now if you go to the is exist function so inside that we are having our you know songs and we are getting the track 
okay so i'm going to checking that songs dot sum is equal to songs dot url is equal to track dot url basically inside this songs array do we have a, a url which match with track url if yes then return true otherwise return false as simple as that okay now here we get that is already exist if if the song is already exist then uh, i create one variable called a uh, const updated song okay so the const updated song is like this if it's already exist is true okay uh, means the song is already liked okay or you can see like you know is already liked uh, is uh, already uh, is already liked okay so if the song is already like so what i'm going to doing i'm doing just you know i'm removing this song from that state so i'm going to writing state dot like song dot filter i'm using the filter method item dot url is equal to it should not equal to the new song url basically i'm selling that bro you have to create a new array where the item dot url should not be equal to the new song url okay and after that uh, else otherwise if the song is doesn't exist and what i'm going to do what am i doing then add the song the add the new song and split the old songs okay and after that i'm also updating this state to the async storage basically i'm setting this state to the async storage and i'm returning i'm ret okay you have to use await right you should ask question bro you have to use await it's a async you know async storage should always use await so currently we are not using await because uh, uh, if we add await so it become uh, it will not working so but without await is working as well okay because we are not reading this data here so that's why now after that what we are returning we have to return object so we are returning uh, this uh, one object where we are having a like song and we are having this updated songs array all right this is how we had done add to like uh, fun method okay and now if we go to the uh, you know uh, inside the player screen let's go to the screen here we are having a player screen inside the player screen if you see that uh, yeah we are using use like song hook inside the use like song song hook we are importing we are you know as you can see that we are having two through three state like three keys so we are reading the first key second key so i'm destructing the first like song state and add to like function okay so once you get the like function now whenever user click on add to like whenever user is clicking on this heart icon so i'm calling this function add to like and i'm passing the active track okay now let's go to the add to like so which we had understand right now right so we are passing the add to like and it will check that if the song is already exist then we are removing the uh, songs from the state if the song doesn't exist then we are just adding the song in the state all right now after that we had also created another function that is called is exist it will check that you know as you can see that if the song is exist then we are showing the hot filled icon otherwise hot o icon o means outline icon so here we are checking that if exist uh, here for the exist we are passing the like song array which is coming from this juice stand and we are passing the active track if it's you know if it's true then we are you know showing the filled hot icon otherwise outline hot icon all right now after that i created one another method as well that is called load liked song okay load like song this song has simple basically what we are doing here i'm checking that con i'm getting the item from the async storage so const like song is equal to await async storage dot get item after that i'm checking that if like song is there then what i'm going to do i'm just setting this i'm just setting this state to the like song is equal to json dot parse like song okay now if you go to the app dot jsx here you can see that we are importing the use effect hook okay and before that, uh, that we had also import this use like song hook and here we destructure the load like songs uh, method all right and after that we are calling this uh, function uh, method as well whenever the app is get loaded awesome awesome right so this is how we uh, we had work on this like song functionality so if you guys have any doubts please let me in the comment section and please you know also comment on the video if you're liking this video you can comment anything your name awesome wonderful that's great how whatever you're feeling right now or if you're facing any kind of doubt it, you know it's quite a bit simpler you know you have to just spend some time it's become easier for you guys so please spend some time understand the code we'll send the report link as well so you have to understand that okay now after that if you see that whenever we have to work on this on the like whenever we click on this the song will get start playing so let's go to the like screen inside the like screen uh, we have to work for the song play functionality right so how we can do it so if you see uh let's go if you go on the song card so here we are having a handle play function so we have to pass handle play function and that will return an object okay so i'm gonna create one function that is called handle play here and it's gonna be now uh, uh, like this and we are getting the item okay here we get the item once we get the item 
what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create one function const uh, handle uh, play okay so if you if you go to the home screen let's go to the home screen we have already uh, written this code so let's go to the song with category inside uh, not there songs card with category here you can see that we had cre created one function handle play track so I'm gonna copy this line of code again okay let's go to the like uh, screen okay and I'm gonna pa paste this line of code nothing else okay now after that what I'm gonna do guys here I'm gonna just import the track player okay I imported the track player and after that I'm gonna call this function okay here you can here we can see that the song is equal to item songs item dot songs here we have to replace with liked song okay let me copy this name and let me replace with liked songs okay or uh, after that we have to call this function handle play track uh, when where we have to call so as you can see that here we have to call this function handle play track and here we have to pass this item okay now we are getting the selected track and we are getting the songs array okay so here we are having a const track index we are finding the track index using the, this songs dot find index and if the song doesn't exist then i'm just returning otherwise before track after track reset adding the song which we have already seen that now if i click on this this song so as you can see that the song is started playing and now we can click on go back nothing is working the same because we have just one song like everything is working but now let's add this song as well okay let's this add the song okay now let's go back now let's go to the like song now we can see uh, two songs now let's play this song don't know now let's click on this it went to the this song and now let's click on again this song it went to the first song okay all right awesome okay so we had completed this like song functionality as well so if you guys having any doubt on this just please let me know so what till at we had completed so let me close the app quickly and let me open the app as well okay so so far what we had completed we had completed this home screen along with this floating player uh, whenever we click on this floating player it opened with this player screen as well we had added all the functionality we had fix this bug as well which we are getting you know while sliding this uh, whenever we are you know sliding this progress bar we are getting this you know uh, drawer navigator so we have also fixed that bug as well now when we click on this uh, it opened the drawer navigator very nice animation and when we click on like song it went to the like song now the next task which we had left that is called dark theme and light theme functionality okay so let's work on this dark theme and light theme functionality all right now we have to work on this light theme and dark theme functionality right so how we can do it so let's search on google there's one thing uh, let me close others tab and i have to search react native navigation uh react native navigation uh theme okay once you click on this you will get this this website themes react navigation all right after that you have to open this website as you, here as you can see that you have to create a default theme like this color default theme like this and if you uh, scroll down here you can see that is a lot of other stuff as well okay and this is how we make you know theme and we can use basically what we have to do inside the navigation container like if you go to the app.jsx so here we are having a navigation container okay inside the navigation container we have to uh, you know pass the theme object okay we have to pass a theme object so if the theme if the you know if theme uh, if, uh, basically if it's dark mode then you have to pass the dark theme otherwise you have to pass the theme for the light theme all right so how we can do it guys uh, uh, you know it's too simple to do it uh, let me explain you let me explain you guys so first of all what what we are going to do inside the source i'm going to create another folder the folder name going to be theme okay and the first file name is going to be dark uh, dark theme dot jsx okay and after that i'm going to write export uh, i'm going to write export const dark theme like this and inside that we have to create object okay now if you see on this website uh, if you go on the top like again so as you can see that my theme and here we are spreading the default theme so i have to just import it and i'm going to spread the default theme how we can imp import the default theme so let's import the default theme from the react navigation native once you import the default theme there is another ob object which we have to import that is called colors object so let's copy this color object as well and here we have to paste that as well 
okay default theme dot colors now here we have to add our all the colors code okay so how we can add the colors code uh, if we go here inside the colors we had created a colors inside the constant we are having colors so i'm gonna copy this whole color object like whole color value okay and after that inside this uh, colors we are having we have to paste this colors all right now as you can see that we are having background uh, text primary text secondary we had copied this from this our colors object all right so what we had done let me explain you once more first of all i created a one folder theme inside theme i'm created one file called dark theme and i created one file called one object called dark theme inside that we are just spreading the default theme and inside the colors object we are spreading the default theme dot colors awesome now after that let's go to the app.jsx here as you can see that on this example they are passing the theme like this my theme so we have to also pass the theme like this inside the navigation container so i'm gonna theme i'm gonna pass the th dark theme directly okay so i just pass the th dark theme okay now again uh, what we are supposed to do guys now let's suppose if i want to pass the light theme okay so let's create another theme as well so it's gonna be a light theme as well so i'm gonna copy i'm gonna copy this file okay let's copy this file let me remove this file okay and after that i'm just copy paste this file and gonna rename this light uh, theme dot jsx and I'm, okay light theme dot jsx and i'm gonna make it uh, light uh, theme dot jsx okay and i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna add here light theme dot jsx and i'm gonna import this as well now let's go to the light theme dot jsx now if you see that here we have defined the background color so we have to go under this figma and let's go to the light mode if you see what is the background color of this uh, this is the background color f7 so i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna add the background color now let's see what is the text primary color so we have to select the text let's copy the text color okay so this is the text primary color now let's see the text secondary color so let's select the below text okay now let's copy the select text and let's paste that as well now let's go to the icon primary the icon primary color is this color okay this, this is the black color so we have to copy this uh, color code and add this color code as well now let's go to the second primary color that which is this one now let's select this uh, second primary color as well so let's add that now after that if you see that we have also minimum tint color and maximum tint color so if you select this this is the minimum tint color so let's add that as well the maximum tint color is this one so let's uh, get that as well so i'm gonna you know select this object so how we can get this you know this uh, color code so i'm gonna create one object and here we have to click on this and after that you have to choose this you have to zoom this figma and click on this you will get the color code copy this color code and after that you have to paste that as here once you copy the all the color code of the light theme as you can see that we had copy all the color code like background color text primary text secondary icon primary icon secondary and minimum tint color maximum tint color all right now after that what we have to do now we have to pass the uh, you know light theme we are passing the light theme but uh, the content the background color has not been changed right so let's see how we can change it so first of all let's go to the uh, you know drawer navigator inside the drawer navigator let's go to the stack navigation and first of all let's go to the home screen now here what we have to do if you see uh, on this website uh, let me close this chrome if you see on this website how we have to use this to use this uh, here we can see that we have to use like this const color is equal to use theme okay so first of all i'm gonna use like this const color is equal to use theme okay now currently if you see that on the app.jsx we are just passing the light theme we are not passing the dark theme now right so let's go to the this uh, home screen and what we had done first of all we had imported the colors from the use theme okay now as you can see that initially we are you know importing the constant colors from the constant so we are not going to use that colors so if we have colors so i'm gonna remove this colors from the top because um, we are not going to use that and we are going to use this color okay now here you can see that here we have been having a background color so i'm gonna cut this line of code basically what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a one array here and after this styles dot container i'm going to add a property called background color and the color value will be colors dot uh, background background like this okay and we can get rid of this uh, you know line of code because we are making this light mode all right 
Now after that, uh, if you see that, we are able to see the background in the light mode, but the song title and all the things is, is still in a uh, basically, uh, you know, like we are not able to see. So let's go to the header first of all. Now let's see that. Now again, I'm gonna remove this color from here, and I'm gonna use the uh, you know color from this this here const color is equal to use theme. We have to import the use theme from the React Navigation Native. After that, let's copy the color and you can see the colors dot icon primary perfect colors dot okay so it's you can see that now it's uh, looking pretty well awesome now let's go to the home screen now after that let's go to the song card with category component here also i'm going to remove this color component color import and we are going to use our color from this use theme so i'm going to import use theme here as well and after that whatever place we are using colors uh let's see so here in the heading text we are using color so let's go to the heading text here we gonna you know add a one array after that we gonna add a comma we gonna add a you know object inside that object i'm gonna copy this line of code cut this line not copy and paste that line of code now let's see uh still we can't see that let me reload it reload the app now colors dot text primary okay let me reload that once more uh, are we using colors anywhere else mm, that's very really weird why started getting uh, error i'm pretty confused okay let's go to the song card with category let's go to the home screen so what i'm gonna do uh, whenever we have to use a hook inside a uh, you know flat list item component we have to pass we have to make the component like this so first of all we get the item like this after that we have to make this like this song card with category and we have to do like this all right and we have to pass the item let's pass the item and let's see now you can see that uh, now we are able to see this uh, recommended you know title text perfect now let's go to the song card with category the error we are getting because we are using this use theme hook and inside the flat list item so whenever we have to use flat list item make sure to pass the component like this or uh, when whenever you are using hook inside a flat list item make sure to pass the component like this all right now let's go to the song card with category here we get the color and the title is looking pretty well now let's go to the song card component here again i'm gonna get rid of this color import okay uh, okay now let's import like you no know, let's use const uh, color is equal to use theme we have to import the use theme okay once i import the use theme we have to uh you know you know fix this so first of all we have to cut this line let's go to the title where we have title yeah here we have title and we're gonna add an array and we're gonna have one object and paste that line of code after that let's see what else place yeah we are having our inside the artist as well so i'm gonna cut this line let's go to the artist line make an array after that add a comma make a object paste that line of code awesome now we can see this awesome now after this uh once we're done with this uh, home screen okay now you can see that we are able to see let me app close the app quickly and let me open the app once more now if you see that we are able to see this horizontal is called indicator which i don't like it so let's get rid of this as well so we went to the song card with category here i'm gonna write a horizontal scroll indicator make a false i don't want to show it bro make it false okay now let's see now yeah we get rid of this awesome awesome now if you see uh it's looking well well now we have to you know let's design this floating player as well so i'm gonna close all the file after that let's go to the floating player so inside the component we are having floating player okay now here you can see that we are having a colors uh, we are importing the color so let's remove this line of code and we're gonna use you know this comp this line of code const uh, use theme const colors is equal to use theme and let's import the use theme as well now after importing the use theme uh, let's see whatever place we are using the colors uh, we will gonna update that as well so first of all we are using inside the title so let's cut this line of code and let's go to the title uh title is where 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 yeah here is the title so i'm gonna make like this and after that add a comma add a object paste that line of code okay now if you see on the artist name as well we are using color so let's cut this line of code and we're gonna make it in line uh artist yeah we're gonna add an array add a comma add an object paste that line of code awesome now still we can see that object or not valid 
uh, object or not valid as a react child component of with a keys color hmm that's weird why we are getting error now let me see that once more uh, colors so we what we had done first of all we had import the use theme inside the use theme we are getting the colors okay and after that uh, we are having this you know let me reload that once more mm, okay now let's play the song okay let's close the app again let's click on this song here we are getting that object or not valid react child found with an keys uh, you mean to render a collection of children use an array instead okay okay not bad not bad where we can get the error active track dot title oh, 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 oh got it got it basically this is the mistake which i had done here uh, i add you know i have to add this styling here i had style i had that styling to the text that's pretty weird man so after that let's copy this and paste that here okay and we're gonna get rid of this error okay and my i'm really sorry guys like you know we have to add this styling here instead of adding to that place okay so now i think pretty looks good okay my bad now as you can see that we are able to see this uh you know this uh, floating player well manner now let's update the icon as well let's go to the go to previous button okay now we gonna get rid of this color object okay now here what we're gonna do we're gonna paste that line of code const uh, color is equal to uh you know this const color is equal to use theme let me copy this line of code again and i'm to import the use theme okay now we can see the colors dot icon primary mm, colors dot icon primary okay and here we are getting the error as well so let's import it as well okay now in the below as well because still we are getting the error and yeah pretty well now you can see that light theme is working well on this uh, home screen so inside the home screen we had added this all the like screen theme now let's click the player screen now let's make the player screen as well so let's go to the player screen here we are gonna get rid of this color object color import so i'm gonna remove this color object and after that uh, i'm gonna you know create this const color is equal to use theme let's import the use theme after that whatever the place we are using colors so let's mac let's fix that as well so as you can see that uh in the bottom we are having a background color so i'm gonna cut this line code let's go to the container uh, my, let's go to the container on the top and here we're gonna add an array like this and we're gonna like write like this background color awesome now again we are having a header text let's go the below and copy this line of code cut this line of code let's go top header text so here we are having a header text and let's make an array okay awesome let's paste that line of code as well okay now let's go to below as well so we are having a title as well so title 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 yeah the title error so i'm gonna cut this line of code for the title okay cut this line of code and search for title okay so here we are having a title let's make an array to so this is style let's add a comma and add in line style awesome let's go back again here we are having a uh, another thing that is called artist if i'm not wrong uh yeah artist let's cut this line of code let's go back and here we are having a called uh you know artist one so where is the artist text bro yeah where we have artist let's you know make this uh an array and cop comma make an object and colors dot sec secondary now we are able to see that as well awesome all right i think most of the thing is sorted now as you can see that the we have to design this player progress bar as well so let's go to the player progress bar okay now we went to the player progress bar we're gonna get remove this colors object we're gonna use this line of code const theme is equal to const color is equal to use theme let's import the use theme from the react navigation native copy this line of code and after that uh, we're gonna you know make this uh, changes so whatever place so as you can see that the time text we're gonna update that so time text whatever place we are using okay here we are using the time text so i'm gonna control d make an array make a comma 
add object is the line of code awesome now we can see looking quite good what do you think guys looking good awesome now the next thing which uh, we have to work on this uh, you know this uh, drawer navigator let's close all the file let's go to the custom drawer content again we're gonna remove this color object okay and here i'm gonna use const color is equal to use theme import this line of code after that uh, we're gonna update the background color as you can see that uh, let's go to the below cut this line of code and let's go to let's go on the container so i'm gonna go inside the container on the top and here i'm gonna add like this style dot container and paste this line of code background color is equal to colors dot background and we're gonna have a label style as well so i'm gonna cut this line of code okay and let's add a label style as well so if you see that we are having a label style a lot of places we are using so what i'm gonna thinking guys how we can do it so i'm gonna select this uh, style dot label style control d control d control d control d awesome now once we selected all the style dot table add style using the control d i'm gonna add an array after that add a arrow comma object paste the line of code okay now we can see that awesome and yeah pretty looks looking good it's looking well i think so now we can close the icon as well and yeah we are done now there's one more thing which is left right now that is called like song as well so let's uh, fix this as well so we went to the like screen and now let's remove this uh colors object okay let's remove this and after that let's import this uh const theme is equal to uh const color is equal to use theme all right and let's import the use theme okay now let me copy this color and let's change the background color as you can see that we are getting some error so i'm gonna cut this line of code let's go to the container mm, yeah this is the container make an array like this comma add object awesome now let's go back again we are having a heading text let's cut this line of code mm -hmm. let's go to the heading text heading text uh, where is that yeah heading text and make an array add a comma and add a object like this colors dot text primary awesome pretty well i think most of the thing is done what do you think guys now we have to do on this functionality we have to create one state global state which is gonna handle the light theme and the dark theme functionality all right so what i'm gonna do guys let's close all the file let's go to the app.jsx currently we had passing the light theme let's pass the dark theme and let's see what's gonna happen if i pass the dark theme you can see the app or become dark theme completely okay now here what we have to do supposed to do basically here we have to add a functionality when we use a click on this it become light if you click on again so it will become uh you know dark mode so for that what i'm gonna do guys I'm gonna create a store for that that is called theme store uh, so let's create a theme store quickly uh, like this theme store dot jsx dot jsx I'm gonna create const use my bad const use theme store okay and I'm gonna use the create method from the juice stand after that uh, let me close this after that we're gonna case the callback you know after that what we're gonna do uh we're gonna you know get the like this create set okay and uh, we're gonna get the callback function like this as well or you can uh do like this you know create and after that we're gonna get the set uh, not like this we can make you know let me do in a different manner so what we can do let's uh go to the react juice stand uh npm i juice stand okay now i'm gonna went to this website so why i'm gonna web went to this website so it become easier to understand you guys for that's why so i'm gonna copy this line of code okay let's copy this line of code and paste this line of code okay now we have to create a you know uh use theme store so i'm gonna make it use a uh, theme store okay by default i'm gonna make it, the app will be by default is dark mode is dark mode will be true okay once we make the is dark mode is true now after that we're gonna create a function called toggle theme okay toggle theme okay so what is gonna do basically it will get the value as well so we will also passing the value okay now after that we get the state 
we are having a state and here what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna make that is dark mode okay or uh, here what i'm gonna do i will check that if the value is there okay maybe if i'm passing the is dark mode true or false if the value is there then i'm gonna make the value otherwise i'm gonna make the uh, you know toggle this is dark mode value all right so for that i'm gonna write state dot is dark mode awesome makes sense so we are having uh, this use team stored inside that we are having create a function a method inside that we are passing a callback function that is called set inside that we are just returning an object is dark mode true and we are passing a toggle talk we are having a method called toggle theme all right and we are having a use team stored and i'm gonna export this as well export const use theme store all right now let's go back let's go to the app.jsx once we go to the app.jsx here we have to add a logic for the theme all right so first of all uh, i'm gonna do like this const uh, we have to write like this use uh, use theme store like this and after that uh, we get the object state okay if i write it completely like this we can you know we can write like this we get the state here and we can return the state like this and it's inside the state uh, uh i'm gonna read this uh property that is called is dark mode and we're gonna read the dark toggle theme as well okay like this as you can see that on this example you can read the directly as well state.ps or you can read uh without using the state as well as we have already done all right now if you console the is dark mode let's console the is dark mode what we are getting now currently you can see see that is dark mode true we are getting because we had set the state as a dark mode true okay so what i'm gonna do guys if we're gonna set that if is dark mode is true then i'm gonna set that dark theme otherwise it should be light theme make sense so after that uh we had update like you know we had created this state is dark mode and if i remove this let's suppose if i don't wanna i don't want this code and if we directly use it and let's see what we are getting uh, directly indirectly if directly we are also getting this is dark mode state okay now after that we're gonna copy this line of code awesome now let's go to the drawer content so let's go to the inside navigation we are having custom drawer content here i'm gonna read this uh you know you i'm gonna use import the use theme store from the store after that we are is reading the is dark mode so uh, as you can see that i've already declared one variable called in dark mode which is local scope okay so i get the get rid of that is dark mode after that we are having one uh, button called toggle theme okay so we are having uh, this icon uh, the sun icon and the sun icon basically now what we guys do basically uh, if we go on the header container here we are having a uh, this touchable opacity so on press whenever you use a press on that i'm gonna call this method called toggle theme now user click on this nothing is happening all right no problem not a problem uh, let's reload the app okay now once i reload the app now if i console this is dark mode and let's click on this again and let's click on this okay so as you can see that nothing is happening right now all right so what else we can do that's weird for me okay let's go to the use theme store inside the use theme store we are having a toggle theme method here we are getting the value inside that value we are just uh, doing the set method okay and i'm setting that is dark mode is true then uh you know uh is dark mode is true then we are updating the value uh otherwise making it okay okay i got it the mistake which i had done like you know state dot create not it should be state dot mark mode you can see that initially i make it state dot create it should be state dot dark mode awesome now let's click on this uh let me reload the app okay and now let's click on this let's click on this and we are getting that is dark mode dispatch target bubble cancel bundle something like that uh that's weird okay let me see that what mistake am i doing guys uh if the value is there if the value is there then make add a value otherwise you know toggle this state dot dark mode okay i think we am doing mist i'm not doing any mistake if i'm not wrong okay so we are just returning an object inside a set method yeah we are doing the same we are getting the state here as well so state and arrow function is dark mode value if there is value then we are adding a value and otherwise if there is value then we are adding, having a value otherwise we are making state dot is dark mode is a false okay 
and we went to the app to joysticks and if i console the dark mode let's see again if i reload the app and uh, okay got it got it got it guys the mistake which i was doing i think so let's on let's uh, you know do like this i was consoling you no know, i'm toggling the theme in the right in the wrong place basically <laughs> i i'm really sorry like you know this time also so let's copy this line of code toggle theme all right and here you can see that we are having on press event right and i'm gonna call this function here like this and toggle theme and i'm gonna make this for now let's uh, make it like true for now if i'm passing the true uh nothing is happening right and if i make it false okay so let's see what is happening it's become light mode all right uh so what i'm gonna do like if i just if i don't pass anything and now if we click on this it's working pretty well let me reload the app mm. let me do like this let's click on this oh my gosh it's working so mistake which i was doing you know if i summarize this what mistake i was doing so here i make it a mistake like you know uh, i was passing something current state dot current it should be state dot is dark mode i was making a typo kind of stuff and let's go to the custom dot content again so first of all what we are doing here we are you know reading the const uh, dark mode is dark mode and toggle theme function and after that if it's dark mode is true then we are uh, showing a sun icon otherwise we are showing the moon icon okay now if we click on the a uh, sun icon a moon icon it will become you know night uh, dark mode otherwise if you click on this it will become a light icon, light mode all right now if you see that uh, there is one more thing which we have to do uh, that is called system theme apply so by default when the if our system theme is like you know dark mode so it should apply to the dark room uh, if it's uh, our system theme is light theme so we it should get applied with the light theme all right so what how, how we can do it okay to do it uh, let's close the all the file let's go to the use of app.jsx inside the app.jsx i'm gonna use one hook that is called uh no that hook name is called const scheme const uh scheme okay use uh use a color scheme okay use color scheme is a hook which is return which what is gonna return it will return light or dark okay if i reload this so currently you can see that the system theme the system theme is my light theme Okay, you can see that the scheme is returning light. It means that by default, currently our system theme is light theme. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, uh, if the system theme is light theme, so what I'm gonna do, scheme is equal to, if right, if it's a uh, light, if it's light, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make the toggle theme as a uh, false. Okay, otherwise, I'm gonna make toggle theme as a uh, true. Basically, uh, toggle theme false means it will make the dark mode state as a false and we're gonna make this uh, toggle theme is true if it's uh, true all right so is dark mode will become false and it otherwise it become true now if i reload this app once more and now we can see that our by default the theme is coming as a uh, light theme now let's close this comp you know let's go to the setting and inside the setting i'm gonna make the theme as a dark theme let's apply the dark theme and now if i open my app so it should uh, you know become the dark theme right let's open the app and now you can see that uh, nothing has been changed because we have to pass this scheme inside our dependency item as well all right now you can see that it's work it started working well so let me close this let me let me close uh you know let me close the setting again and now if i uh of the if i make the light theme and if i go here let's go here and let's see you can see that it's become light mode now again if i go here and make the light theme if i make the dark theme and let's see our app change or not okay awesome so with the help of use a uh, color scheme we can make the app as a light theme or dark theme with a matching with the system theme all right so we are done with the most of the functionality we are done with the this uh, player functionality uh, all kind of stuff all right but if you see uh, one thing which uh, we can do one more improvement that is called let me close that all this stuff okay there's one suggestion which is homework for you guys that is called inside the screen uh, we are having you know on in the, inside the home screen we are having a you know, song card with category here we added the logic to play the song all right so if you see that what we are doing here whenever we clicking on the song whenever we are clicking on song we are creating a, another track you know a, a list of track and we are playing the track right 
not a big deal but uh, let's suppose if i clicking on this again this uh, again this song okay that song is already in our queue right okay because we are whenever we are playing any song we are adding a list of song in a queue right and if we're clicking uh, another song in that queue so that song is already in the queue right but what we are doing here in the code if you see in this code we are again creating a queue from that index which is not a good practice which is not a good optimized way okay which is not optimized way okay so how we can make these optimize more basically okay if if we are if we are playing the song playing the song from the t same category playing the song from same category same category what we gonna do what we gonna do we gonna skip the song we gonna skip the song from some label we gonna skip the song we should not create a another new track list but another we are not going to another queue but we will just skip the song just skip the song uh, till that song basically if i let's suppose if i play the first song by clicking here okay now if uh, again i'm cl clicking on this third song so it should skip the, the first second song because it's already we had created the song for this all list of the data right so we don't have to create uh, another flash list we have to just skip to the two items okay and that's is the optimized way so for this what uh, gonna logic be i'm gonna uh, what we gonna do for that and this is a homework for you guys so if you're not able to do it just let me know i will give you a code snippet as well or we'll let you know go guys in the next video as well so what we gonna do uh basically we're gonna create one uh you know active state active track id we're gonna create our active track id which is gonna be globally active track id which is globally okay which is globally we can create using the juice stand globally using the juice stand or whatever okay now let's suppose if we clicking on uh if we uh, use a click on this uh, uh this category okay on this uh category so we get the you know let recommended category id recommended category id okay so again if you use a click on this uh, recommended category id so we know we the active track id is a recommended category so if user is again clicking on active track id so what we have to do so we have to we have to just uh skip the songs skip the some songs you know skip the some song which uh, the user is not playing like you know uh, we have to some skip the song as simple as that otherwise if user is uh, if the active track id is different than the coming track id let's suppose if i click on this so active track id was my recommended song uh, uh, you know but now we are having a you know, different category so at that point of time we have to create another queue another queue and we have to play the song in that manner make sense all right awesome awesome now how we can do it let me show so, so you some code snippet as well so you have to search react native track player okay and here if you went to this this website here we are having a called skip functionality if i just click on getting started let me go below below so okay so you can see the play pause reset seek to set volume skip to next skip to previous remove get queue okay and where is that progress updates not this not that let's go to the playback service not this background mode not this platform support oh my gosh where is that code man i think there were okay uh so basically uh with the help of you know uh what the logic gonna be like you know skip this thing called skip uh track player dot skip method uh, if i just search react native track player uh skip skip so you will you know you can do you can do with that okay as simple as that uh currently i'm not getting the articles right now i think let's go on this uh, log log rocket article here you gonna have a uh, skip okay so skip 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 okay let's search skip to next skip to previous okay yeah you can see that you have one method called track player dot skip you have to just pass like how many items how many songs how many tracks you want to skip you have to just pass that nothing else and it started working that's how it's simple this is that is a homework for you guys so till that what we had done let me close the app so we had created the music app from scratch okay and as you can see that uh if you open the is call you know open this uh, lock screen notification screen we can see that song as well this all the functionality is working well and uh, after that uh, we can play the song
all right as you can see that we have worked on the most of the functionality as you can see that and if you click on this let's go to the like like song and if you play this song as well the song will start playing and after that if you click on this uh, dark theme with light theme it will went to the light theme as well so we had completed our project okay so how excited like, you know how do you rate this project guys out of 10 and how you're feeling and what concept you have learned and do you like my teaching skills or not just let me know and now after the next thing is that we're gonna push this uh, code to the github as well and let's open my github github mdl channel this is me and i'm gonna create my new repository it's gonna be your uh, ncs uh, music okay now let's create a repository mdl channel is gonna be a private repository for now create repository all right and i'm gonna push this code so let's push the code git remote add origin and after that let's type git push once you write git push you have to copy this line of code paste the line of code and again hit enter okay it started pushing then again you have to write git add before that git add git commit minus m uh, project completed project completed and you have to write git push okay there's one more thing which i forget that Be first of all you have to write git add git commit then git remote add origin and git push all right so now if i reload this here we can see the repository awesome awesome how are you feeling guys awesome so if you guys want want this repository link or i will provide this in a description box you can check it out and uh, apart from that what else i can add uh i think most of the functionality started working we had learned that uh how to about the juice stand about the reactive track player and you know about the async stories drawer navigator along with the stack navigation how to make you know we have learned about how to make uh you know any movable text and yeah a super base we have also learned about the super base as well so th yeah that's all in this video guys we will catch up in the next course uh, keep loving keep supporting and please let me know if you guys any uh, question and please let me know how do you rate me out of 10 and what fields do you have to improve like in the communication or uh, anything just let me know guys uh, what else uh, i have to improve and just let me know what project should be on that all right see you guys uh, and i will also provide this figma link as well so you can guys check a uh, check a reference and you can build at your own as well so see you guys thank you uh, have a great day and keep learning keep supporting keep growing and keep don't forget me as well all right thanks bye